Hey, how's everybody doing? Happy Thanksgiving to those that are celebrating. And if not, hope you guys are having a good evening otherwise. Uh, we're going to start this off about 40 minutes early. Like I said, I wasn't sure exactly when I'd get home, but uh, we're ready to go now. So we'll go ahead and launch right into it. And I'm sure people will be streaming in, so we'll say hi to everybody. Let's get this started so it doesn't uh, bog down too much. So we're going sandbox. No particular reason. I usually just do sandbox. And in this particular case, we are going to play as Empire because we need to simp to Regea, as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail. But it gets even better than that. We've got a custom. I spent a little bit of time building this guy out. <laughs> uh, so if you don't know who this is. Hey, Griff Gaming. Happy Thanksgiving, man. Hope you're doing well. Um, if you've never heard of this guy, just go to YouTube and type in Dimitri the Lover. It's freaking hilarious, man. There's a, He leaves a voicemail on some lady's uh, on her, her phone. Just listen. To it. It's like maybe four minutes, five minutes, and it's freaking great. Hey, Justin Vo, what's up, man? First time live stream. Thanks. I appreciate you showing up, man. And the Chaw, first time catching a live. Happy Thanksgiving, Chaw. Thanks for showing up, man. Yeah, welcome, everybody. All right, so we are we need somebody that's worthy of Regea, and I think Dimitri the Lover is, is our man. So we're going to play as him. Hey, Kaban, what's up? So if you look at the rule set, I've got... Let's see... Let's go over that real quick, just so I before we get into our build, because it is kind of relevant. Hey, Tom B, happy Thanksgiving. So at Clan Tier Two, we have to join Southern Empire. We're not allowed to join. We're not allowed to start a kingdom. And if the king or queen dies and we get elected, we have to abdicate immediately. So we're not allowed to be in control of a kingdom at all. Uh, if any any peace deal, we're not allowed to influence. So if it's if there's if they want like five wars, we gotta let it happen. We're just gonna have to deal with it. Uh personal combat not allowed. So again, that's gonna play into our build. Uh we're gonna use mercenary units only in the very beginning until we become landed. Once we become landed, meaning we get a fief, then we're able to recruit our own troops, but we're not able to just go around the map and recruiting whatever we want. Uh we're also not I don't think we'll be converting prisoners as well. I think that we'll we'll, we'll maybe avoid that. It'll add a little bit more challenge to it. Recruited units from, yeah, no smithing, no cheese, no exploits. And we don't have any mods on other than the basics like RTS camera for speeding up and the better time, things like that. And then we got to give Regea foot massage. <laughs> so anyways, I know I missed a few. Johnny Hamill, Lord Farquaad, Darn Tragedia. And it went M MWK, Mike Knight, Speglas. Hope you guys are doing well. 2 a.m. Oh, yikes. Yeah, I'll... Uh, today probably won't be a 12 hour stream that's a little too much since it is it's about 5 30 my time in the in the evening so i'll probably go to like 12 or 1 and then I'll, I'll hop off and come back again tomorrow and i plan on streaming let's see today's thursday so i plan on streaming friday saturday and sunday maybe 12 hours each day so i don't know if we'll be able to finish this in one go but you know we'll see it's going to be a long weekend in a good way i hope so hey Vinny. And Denise Sawyer, how you guys doing? Turkey Day, yeah. We uh, luckily my family decided to go the pot pie route instead of turkey. I'm I'm really tired of turkey, man. Happy Fourth of July. <laughs> All right, let's uh let's start. Uh, Alexander, how's it going? Captain Vodka. Read the stream rules, kind of scared. <laughs> All right, I, I'm reading a little too much chat. I'm gonna I'm gonna get this going. So we we want to avoid anything in the top half. I don't really care about combat stats because we're not allowed to fight. So we're basically picking anything that gives us social and intelligence. I don't really care too much about cunning either. Uh, we will probably later in the campaign, but early on, not so much. Yeah. So way with people, we're gonna take another point into social. I'm not as worried about the focus points. I'm really concerned about the attribute points. So again, we want social and intelligence. So this one, I think I had. Yeah, actually, I think I did this one. Yeah, because leadership is is not actually it's not that hard to level up early game, but it's it's nice to have a little bit of a head start. 
Hola, señor Armando. ¿Qué tal? Only sent for Arwa? No, we got our sent for Regea today. Hey, Elder. I have no plans since Thanksgiving. Oh, cool. It's all right. Yeah, I, I spent all day with family. I'm, I'm kind of happy to have a, a day or two to myself. So <laughs> it's, uh, man, it, it's great to be around family, but uh, sometimes it's good to have a little quiet time, you know? All right. What are we doing here? So this is the only one we have to take a point into crossbow. All of these have combat skills, but at least this one gives us a point into intelligence and also a focus point into engineering. So this is probably the best pick here. Like I said, we're not going to be using this anyways, but not really any way around it. And I think this one has treated people well. These other ones aren't that good. Yeah, this is the only one that gives us a point into social. So we'll take that. Now, this is the part I wasn't 100% sure on. I'm either 30 or 40. And it's kind of a tough choice because we are for sure going to max out medicine. So we'll have the perks that allow us to live longer. So I'm not too worried about it. But I feel like this campaign is going to run a bit longer than normal just because of the way it is. Let's go 40. Let's go 40. It'll give us a little extra time. Now, this is very important. We need to have a flag that is becoming of, you know, what we are trying to portray. So we are Dimitri the Lover. And we are all about, you know, getting that snoo snoo from our, uh, from, from our, uh, whoever we're trying to target. So we need to woo her. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go for a rose. We're going to offer her a rose. Make it as big as we can make it. And we're just going to, you know, that's for Regea. So... And our clan name is the Lovers, and we are Dimitri. Dimitri the Lover. Get an eggplant as the banner. That would be pretty funny, actually. Make it a peach. That would be good, too. All right, so banner lord difficulty, all the usual stuff. Oh, and somebody asked earlier about what patch we're on. So I did not do the update from this morning because Flasson tested it for me. He said that the mods, some of the mods do not work. I need to have RTS camera. So, oh, uh, Gary Glock, you had to look up Dimitri the Lover. Dude, it's hilarious. It's like 15-year-old meme, but it's it's amazing. The guy actually went to jail too, man. Are we going to get her daughter too? That's the plan, Clueless. Yeah, that's part of the that's part of the plan. Uh, recorded replay or live? It's going to be both. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm recording this on my desktop, and I'm going to edit all this as well. So it'll be on the Let's Play channel, but I, I plan to live stream as much of it as I can. All right, so we're we're in. Let's uh, let's head in, and we need to sell a bunch of stuff. So we obviously don't need any of this. And Dimitri, the lover, needs to show off his package, because that's just the kind of guy he is. He doesn't wait around for anybody. He doesn't play games. He's Greek. He's attractive. He makes good money. All that yada yada. I see on your video you speak a lot of French. Uh, I only know a little bit of French words. Yeah, I, I'm pretty good at mimicking accents, so that may make it seem like I know more than I do, but yeah, I don't know very much French at all. Un petit. <laughs> this is a great addition to my evening, but I appreciate you showing up, Cardos. Hopefully it's a, a fun stream. So we're selling everything we got. We don't need any of it. And let's see, they do have some sheep. Meat is selling for 38. The sheep are selling for 48. So that's an easy win. We'll buy all of it and then immediately go back in, chop it up and sell it. Although we will keep, we'll keep some of the meat because we want to have, uh, we want to be able to get some of that XP. Let's see. So sell that back. Now we can get hired pikes. These guys are awful. Like they're, they're bad. We don't want to take that at all. So, uh, what's the money making strategy? We just got to be real frugal. Yeah, we got to be frugal with our money. You had pot pie too? Nice. Yeah, pot pies, you can't really go wrong with that. And it was a chicken pot pie too, no turkey. Uh, turkey is actually not bad in pot pies, but yeah, I was I was pretty happy that we had uh, chicken. Okay, so there's not really much we can do here other than... I guess we could see if... I, I'm a little scared to buy anything on the first day to, to take it elsewhere and sell it. Just in case we get hosed and, and stuck with this stuff. So let's actually just skip it. We'll go to a different town. 
Did you finish the whole campaign? Yes, it's done. I'm just editing it. It's taken a while. So I, I'll probably... I'm, I'm going to try and get another episode edited. I have to edit it after this live stream. So I'm going to try and get that edited for tomorrow so I can go back on the daily. Yeah, I, I know I missed uh, yesterday. Excuse me, because I was, I was busy... Um, getting this campaign set up. I had to do a little bit of research, get the character model built out, all that. Uh, Perk-wise, we're not doing any tournaments because we can't fight ourselves, so virile, which I, obviously Dimitri the Lover needs to be virile. That kind of goes with his ethos. Uh, let's go ahead and max out intelligence first. We want to do Stuart and Medicine. Those will be our first two. Probably we'll do Charm next and then Leadership. We'll get a couple more points into trade, but maybe not max that out. I don't. We don't need to get a whole lot. Hey, Javier, how are you, man? New to the channel. Welcome. I appreciate it. First time catching one of the streams. Sucio. <laughs> I like that name. Uh, hey, my name is not Bob. Just came back to Melbourne. I'm not playing for a year or so. Your videos off. Oh, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, the solo campaign is fun. Um, I. You pass the streams? Yeah, the, it's the action's starting to pick up in that in that campaign. So, all right, let's uh let's not get caught here. So there's two strategies we can go for when you're using mercenaries in the early game. So we can either go horse archers, and we only need a handful of them, and it'll do really well, or we can go usually low tier. These macemen are pretty high tier though. I guess we could. Yeah, I guess we could. The only problem is it's going to use up all our money. Oh, yeah, Din, new to the channel. Come on. <laughs> how, you, how you been, Din? Uh, let's see. Connor missed the beginning. Can you go over the rules of the challenge, please? Uh, you could re If you rewind a little bit, it'll show up. Or if you go to the description, it's all in there. Yeah, it's 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 not a long list. It's pretty, it's pretty simple. But the main gist of it is... We're not allowed to do anything crazy on our own, and we, we have to be a vassal the whole time. That's that's kind of the main goals. Uh, we're restricting ourselves to no exploits, no smithing. We're going to have to make money ourselves. Um, just kind of the basic stuff. So uh, what I want to do is make sure that we have enough money to get all the different food types. We don't have a good way to earn XP in the early game. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just take the maceman. That's fine. They're pretty expensive, though. These are all tier 5. Oh, no, they're tier 4. So they can upgrade again. We're going to leave them tier tier 5, though. <laughs> TLDR, we simp. Exactly. Uh, what do you want in the next barrel? Uh, I'm not sure, Dominic. I'm not sure. Honestly, I haven't really thought about that. It, it, the game feels like it's in a decent spot. I'm just kind of playing it the way it is. All right, we do need to we do need to take some fights because we, gotta, we got some overhead. No, I don't want to share it, man. This guy's gonna... Yeah. Oh, nice. He actually gave up. Alright, let's follow him. Yeah. Alright, we got it ourselves now. Stay close! Attack! Alright, we don't need to do anything fancy here. I actually don't even want all these guys to survive because I do want to get... I do want to get some XP for medicine, so let's just send him in. We'll stretch him out just a tiny bit, but they, they should be fine. They'll be fine on their own. Yeah, we need to lose a few people so we can get some medicine XP. Oh, wow. Well. We don't want to lose too many. That, that would be bad. All right, we lost three. All right, wow, it's a 2v2. These guys are trash, man. <laughs> How do you lose to looters? They were outmatched only only by two in number. So they should have they should have been alright, but and those were straight up deaths. But it's okay because they're kind of expensive, so. How's the game playing? I haven't played it on Xbox, I'm not sure. I'm Sanity Steve. Thanks for the guides. No problem, man. You conquered 25 clans and seven kids. Wow. That's quite a family. Conquered the whole map. Nice, man. I'm happy to hear that. Are we going to go on a world spending adventure or simping? That's exactly what this is. Yeah, we got to help Regea become the true leader she deserves to be. Whatever that means. All right, let's go sell some stuff so we're not completely broke. And that, like I said, losing some people is good because that reduces our wage. 
Yeah, Outriders are really expensive. Those are the Horse Archers. So we'll probably avoid them for now anyways. And what I'd like to do is try and get these guys mounts. But the problem is it just doesn't leave us with any money. That's all right. All right, let's keep moving. I, I would prefer to find low tier and then just spam low tier because we want to get... Hmm. Yeah, we, we probably want to get more volume. You gain more XP. Uh, the, the steward XP isn't based on the tier units that you're... So, like, if you have a thousand peasants compared to a thousand tier six, you get the same XP, basically. You do get more XP for other things, but uh, for that stuff, you you get the same. Now, can we get some cheap stuff? Nope, it's all pikes. I don't think we're going to be able to do any of these quests because we don't have enough troops. So we got to try and find something like Deliver the Herd, maybe. Crafting materials. I don't like that one. Let's go to Xeonica. So we get that foot massage <laughs> footage. <laughs> yeah, I need to learn how to use Blender, man. That would be kind of a funny video, huh? Escort Merchant Caravan? I don't think they'll let us do it, actually. Yeah, we don't have enough troops. Hired Spear. I think those are not the line that we want to take, either. Now, the Hired Spear will actually go into crossbows. So that's not a bad idea. It's going to chew up all, literally all of our money, though. We can't do that. Yeah, we need to we need to find quests ASAP that we can actually do. Otherwise, we're going to go broke. Oh, boy. We might be in trouble here. No, we're a little bit faster. All right, let's... Oh, man, I can't even... It's just so it's so funny because like I, I'm so used to playing that campaign where I'm just not worried about running into anybody, because every you know soloing it the whole map and now it's like I can't fight at all so I gotta worry about the troops that I have. It's kind of funny. <sighs> yeah, we gotta keep going till we find somebody that we can actually use. Okay, sister. Yeah, these. Not much better than having, you know, looters or tier 1 peasants, but whatever. Alright, so we need to find something that we can actually... A, a battle we can actually win. We could win against three, but... Let's see if we can circle back around to them. This is the main reason I usually like to go Outrider first. Yeah, there's no way we can take on... Um, take on that. Nine we might be able to do. We, we're going to have to do a good job splitting them up, yeah. though. What do you want with them? Or we can go after seven. Seven's a safer bet. You best back off. Yeah, let's go seven first. Archer, move! And move! Move! Everyone and actually, we don't have the luxury of letting her shoot. She she's gonna get a couple shots off. She has to go melee. So the pig money trick it, it does that. Yeah, you can if you. It depends on the spawn though. It's all RNG based. Sometimes you get a good spawn and then you can chop up a bunch of stuff. Sometimes it doesn't. It also depends on the village or the town that you're going to. Some towns are are naturally better than others. All right, let's go ahead and charge them in. We need to keep them somewhat separated. If we can keep these guys busy, then we'll be in a lot better shape. Oh, look at the sword sister. She got a kill. All right, we need to keep this guy from getting game banged. Oh, he's going to die. We're going to die here. Yeah, we actually died. All right, make it quick. Make it quick. That's unfortunate. Yeah, the early game's really tough. You got to be careful because these guys are terrible. The the mercenary units, they're they're just really really bad. All right, we got three hundred and seventy four gold. It's not very much. So I think what we'll have to do is maybe do a little bit of trading until we get back on our feet. Maybe we should probably do that in the first place and just trade if. 
I was trying to back out. Whoops. All right, we'll let, let them finish them off for us. All right, let's get to town. Yeah, it's I, I even had them separated, so it was like a 3v4, but we have, you know, tier 4 and tier 3 units. But they're just they're the mercenary units are trash. There there's no other way to say it. There's no sugar coating it. They're just trash. So it's okay. We'll we'll take it a little slower. I mean, I'm not really in a rush on this one. So we need to find stuff that's cheap that we can carry around and sell. All right, silver ore. No, that's not a good price. So basically, we're looking for things that we can buy for a, a pretty good price. So like this one, the date fruit. That one's a decent price. 74% cheaper than average. We'll take it somewhere else and try and sell it. And then we'll just claw our way back up. All sorts, sisters? Yeah, that's going to be a tough one. Like, I feel like they wouldn't even do well against peasants. Like, maybe equal numbers they'd be okay, but anything higher and they would definitely lose. Right, we'll get a little bit of money back for that. And let's see if there's anything else we can buy. Tools. It's not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. So we're buying it for 110. Now we got to be careful not to get caught because then they'll take all of our loot and then that's basically the only money that we have left. Yeah, I would love to speed through all this, but not much I could do about it. I didn't Pause oh, fast enough, did I? Alright, we could pay him off 140. That's about what we paid for the, the equipment we have on us. So, yeah, man, this is... That's kind of brutal, huh? That's a brutal start. Alright, tools, that's more than we... Yeah, we bought it for 110, we'll sell it for that. Leather looks like it's a pretty good deal. We'll buy two of them. 151. Right, give me one sec. I got a sweater on. It's way too hot. A good strat once you have 100,000 gold. Give it to Rigea. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we'll do that, but. Okay. Let's see. So we paid 150 for those. Let's see if we can get a little bit better price somewhere else. And then, like I said, we'll we'll slowly work our way up. So we're not allowed to fight ourselves. So right now, we're just trying to get a little bit of money saved up so that we can hire a big enough group. I probably should have done that in the very beginning. All right, that's not going to be enough profit. So let's go somewhere else. Uh, if we could save up maybe two, three grand or more, kind of like what we had to the start, but then I probably shouldn't have hired Mace Men. I should have hired a large group of low-tier units rather than you know, a bunch of really expensive ones. I think that would have been a better call. Or just get Outriders and go that. But that one's... Using Horse Archers is really boring. Panzer Shrek, the Dimitri. <laughs> All right, 162, it's, it's still not a great price. I think the further south we go... Wait, what did we buy? Leather, yeah. I think the further south we go, the better off we'll be. They don't really have leather down there. Actually, that's not true. They'll, they'll have leather pretty much everywhere. But that's alright. Yeah, this place should have leather. Oh, that's a pretty good price. Alright, we'll take that. So, 412... Silver ore, that's a pretty good price on silver. Yeah, 79. Now we can also take a mule. We gotta be really careful not to get captured though, because then they'll take our mule. And we just spent all our money on it. So I'm gonna go super slow. So we bought our silver for 83. We gotta go find somewhere else. I don't wanna go south because they do have silver mines there. I think they don't have a whole lot up here in Kazate territory. So we'll head up that way. 
Uh, what's the moon condition? Yeah, Regea owns. Well, not Regea specifically, but just the just the whatever empire we're part of. So we got to join Regea first. Yeah, we got to help her become the true queen. Silver. Oh yeah, that's a good price. All right, we got all our money back for buying the mule, and then now we can buy some more trade stuff so tools that's a pretty good price let's actually buy all that we can there so 93 let's see i think we should probably go back in i once i get a good deal i don't like to go further in in the same um the same area i kind of like to spread it out so we're going to max out uh we have Stuart already maxed we're going to max out medicine next and then like i said we'll probably work on some of the other ones like leadership and charm Hey, I'm back, boy. How are you, man? Uh, sorry, I missed. Uh, do you have a date for your next project, Zomboid Live? I know PZ since the first. Um, I don't know about the live. The last one I did, did didn't do all that well. I'm still recording it offline. I think I'm at month four, and I've got most skills up to level eight or ten. I have just a few more to do. I may do maybe some short update ones, maybe a couple hours just to kind of show how the, the campaign's running. But yeah, I don't, I, I, I'll probably save the big live stream uh, for later when I, when I get, um, when I get further, further into the series. Because maxing out sprinting and nimble is going to take a really, really long time. And same thing with reloading. Reloading is, is awful. But I've got a lot of the other ones pretty close. Some of the combat skills are going to take a while, but the, I'm not too worried about that. All right, this is getting a little hairy here. All right, we're uncovering. We'll probably go clear those out later when we get a decent crew. Any more ideas on KCD live streams? Uh, yeah, I've got a few. I've got a few that I want to... Oh, man, the price went down here. That's not good. All right, we got to keep going, then. Can you marry her? No, the player cannot marry a king or queen, unfortunately. When you have a kingdom, how much? I would say not so much the income, but if you have like two or three million saved up, it's it's probably a good start. I usually try not to do it unless I have four or five million. Unless I'm doing a speed run, then I just kind of wing it. But yeah, you want to have a decent amount of money saved up to do your own kingdom. All right, we're not having a whole lot of luck here with these trade goods. All right, this one, I think we'll do it here. We'll just dump it. Yeah, that puts us up to over 500 at least. All right, wine looks like it's decent. You can buy one more. Let's just buy it all. So 135. Let's see if we can find a better place. Oh crap. Yeah, I gotta stop speeding up because that's how we got caught last time. It's tough because we don't have uh, any scouting skill, so our our range, our vision range is basically zero. It's really easy to get caught doing that. Why are you not looking the trade rumors? Yeah, I could do that. The thing with trade rumors is they, I guess you could go around talking to people in town, but the, the problem with trade rumors usually is that um, you don't get them unless you visited a place yourself. That's or or if you have a perk where your um your caravans or your workshops will get them. So, yeah, I don't I don't normally do trade runs. I find them pretty boring personally. But um, in this case, I had a little bit of uh, bad play there and, and kind of lost my troops. So we got a that was a good one. We're up to almost a thousand now. So you know first aid is actually not that bad it's just it's just a pain because you have to sit in your your base but then there's a lot of them that are like that you know tailoring you're sitting there doing it in your base the whole time yeah a lot, a lot of them are kind of doing that but i did come up with some good strategies for for maxing out some other ones very quickly like farming you can do in maybe a month all right wine is actually a really good price here but we just that's what we just sold all right, iron ore, I don't mind buying. No, it's not, it's not a good enough price, though. 14% less is, is not a good price. 
beer is kind of a risk because everybody produces beer. Yeah, there's not really a good trade good here. So I think we'll just pass. We can pick up a single caravan guard. I think we're going to pass on that. Let's let's get a little bit more money going before we start hiring troops. All right, this guy might catch us. Yeah, we got to back out. It's so it's it's so like uh, emasculating to do this. Because I know even with a crappy bow, like we could take on a group of 50 looters <laughs> and it's just no problem. Now it's like even having equal numbers, higher tier troops, you're still worried about dying. It's kind of crazy. It, it's crazy how fragile your army is when they're, you know, small numbers. All right, 48% cheaper is pretty good. We'll probably do that unless we find something better. Actually, oil is... Man, they have a lot of good deals here. Now, this one we just sold somewhere else. Yeah, see, this is a good one for the trade rumors. So why don't we do the wine? Just because I already know... I already know we could... Um, we could take advantage of it. So, Cyrenea, Onira, Argaron. I think what we can do is go to Epicrotia. I mean, we need to go to a lot of these anyways just so we can uncover the nobles and stuff. Every time you go into a, a town or a thief, you get to uncover the nobles. So that, you know, that's something we need to do eventually anyways. Uh, how do I get rid of all of the kingdoms? We had more fiefs. Uh, Alex, you gotta wait till you're on patch 1.2. They fixed it. It's just, uh, it's not on the live branch yet. Yeah, so if you're on PC or on Steam, you can do it. If you're on console, you gotta wait till they, till they release that patch. Kind of a pain. Oh, did I not, did I not do that trade? I didn't. I canceled it, didn't I? I'm an idiot. Oh, boy. Well, I guess we're doing something else. <laughs> Why did I not do that trade? That's okay. This is a really good trade. Oh, that's a good trade. All right. Tools. Let's buy them all. Up until we're overburdened. So tools for 66. I didn't buy the wine. I, I thought I did, and I, I guess I canceled. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's see. What's your favorite mod? You know, the one that I find myself using the most is RTS. And I only use it for the speed up. I mean, I'll use it in guides for top down just to show, you know, what top down combat looks like. It's a little easier to see what's going on. But for me personally, the speeding up of combat is such a huge game changer for me. It saves so much time. So like a normal campaign, if it takes me 60 hours to do a campaign, if I didn't have RTS camera, that same campaign would probably take me 80 to 90 hours. I mean, it's a significant time saving. So, and then, you know, think about it. If you're trying to play and you're, you've only got weekends, you know, you're working, you got family, whatever, school. Um, it, it's something that's very valuable because, you know, your time. So I would highly recommend RTS camera to speed up the in-game, the combat. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can get better than... No, it's back down to the low price. All right, we got to try and find a good price for these tools. I don't know... It's it's the wood shops that produce them, and I think Sturgia usually has a couple wood shops, so I don't really want to go up there. Maybe we'll go. Actually, Kazate would be a decent place to sell them. I think they probably don't have too many. One hundred one. That's still not really what I was hoping for. Yeah, let's actually. What does that say? Akalat is only eighty five. That's not good at all. All right, let's go, Mekeb. I don't think we've gone there yet anyways. Oh, jeez. Dude, we could have bought them so much cheaper here. 55. All right, let's get out of here. So, because eight's not the place to be. Dimitri the Lover does not stand for these low prices. You couldn't get RTS camera to work even using the version uh, off GitHub? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure why. 
Hey, Terrence, how are you, man? Just finished live episodes three. Nice. Yeah, if you want to see the new stuff, so uh, that one I didn't finish off. I I'm, I finished it offline, but uh, if you check the uh, the the Let's Play channel that I have, there's new content on there from that campaign. It's it's caught up now. So I think if you look at like the last two or three episodes, it's all stuff after the live stream happens. So, oh, here we go. This is a good price. Yeah, and it's red. Twenty eight percent is not bad. We'll probably go down. I was gonna say to a hundred or so, but that's we're already there. So we got seventeen hundred. See what else we can buy here. I, I think maybe we get up to like maybe two or three grand, and then we'll start buying. We'll, we'll start hiring some troops. Leather looks like it's a pretty good deal. We'll just buy two of them, I guess. Wool looks pretty good. Not great, actually. All right, butter and cheese are pretty cheap. We can do a little bit of cheese. All right, what do they have here? Yeah, I don't want to buy... I don't want to buy cat cab in small quantities. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like I'd rather have it. I'd rather have um, foot troops or archers if I'm going to do, you know, 10 or 20 units. Uh, the GitHub. So if you go to Nexus, go to the RTS camera page and then click on the forum. I think it's forums or discussion tab, whatever it is, where they have like their little discussion forum. Uh, click on there and scroll down. It's like maybe half a page or a full page down. You'll see a GitHub link and you just go off of that. Or if you go to my my most recent mod video, I have the, the link in the descri description of that one. That's not great. Yeah, that's not great at all. Let me see if we can find something else that's cheap. There we go. Pottery, that looks reasonable. That's Yeah, that's pretty good. If they have cheap troops... Not gallant. Yeah, I, I'd rather upgrade them myself. I, I don't want... The top tier if we don't have to i'd rather raise them up myself just because we need to have um we need to have high numbers so we can get our stewardship going and then if they die i don't feel as bad because they're not as expensive all right pottery these are decent not great prices but decent let's actually get rid of that one it's kind of i feel like we're not going to get a good price for that anywhere all right, wine. Yeah, why the price for wine is all out of whack. Imperial Cav Caravan Guard, don't want that. Uh, let's actually go through Asteroid Territory and see if we can find some decent deals. Hey, miles away, how are you? <laughs> Dimitri the Lover. Dude, he's so funny. I mean, he's, he's really gross, but he's in, in, unintentionally funny. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to get a good price for cheese here. Oh, that's a that's a really funny idea, vodka. Female mercenary tree. <laughs> yeah, we we what if we're only allowed to hire the sword sisters because we are Dimitri the lover and that's all we attract? <laughs> Velvet selling for 900? Yeah, we could I'm sure we could find it cheaper. Oh wow, Argron and Mazea Umbrella, this is really cheap. Oops, did I, I canceled that, didn't I? Well, let's see if we can find... Let's see if we can find some velvet then. That's a pretty good price. Would Steam achievements work if you have RGS camera mod? No, but there is a mod that lets you get achievements even with mods. Uh, I think it's called Butter Achievements. So look up Butter Achievements, get that, and then you should be able to use it at the same time. All right, if we can get velvet for like 400 or 500, I think that's a steal. We'll buy as much of it as we can. No, but the wine is... No, actually, wine's not that great. Cheese is really good here, though. Okay, we can, we can dump the cheese. Oops. 
But yeah, eight hired spears. But wait, I think that's the one that we can get into crossbows. So it may not be a bad idea, although we can't afford to use all of our cash. So... How much money to save up for starting your kingdom? If you're newer to the game, I highly recommend saving up several million, like maybe three, four, five million, somewhere in that range before you start your own kingdom. Save up a lot of money. Yeah, it's it's going to be tough to do it without because then you could just pay for peace deals if it get, if you need time to breathe. But I, I would not recommend doing it on your own with with very little money. It's it's going to be a struggle. Maceman, that's the same garbage units we bought before and they got thrashed. All right, here we go. Velvet. 858 is not great. Let's buy some other stuff in the meantime. Oops. So they're paying a lot for tools and pottery here. Oil is really cheap. All right, that's pretty good. Rote and Epicrodia are paying a lot. So 115. Let's go to Epicrodia. Wait, what did it say it was? Rote, it's not far. Yeah, let's go to Rote. It's it's probably changed since we've been there last, but whatever. Oh, he almost caught us. Jeez, I should have slowed that down. Yeah, look at that. They're they're not paying hardly anything for for oil. We paid one fifteen, I think it was. So it's still a pretty good price. It puts us over 2k. Hired crossbow. That's the tier 4. That may not be a bad idea. Now, let's let's wait a little bit. I don't want to burn that much cash because then we're going to have overhead. We need to we need to keep the money flowing. We need to have enough money to make money. Otherwise, we're going to be in trouble. All right, they're paying a lot for fur, pottery. Yeah, we bought pottery for really cheap somewhere else. Lycaron. Can we go to Lycaron quickly? It's not far. Let's go to Lycaron. See if we can buy pottery. I gotta slow down. It's just so, like I said, the trading stuff is, to me, is just so boring. Like, doing this is, is not all that exciting. Getting impatient. Alright, let's see. So they're paying good money for pottery at a lot of places, actually. Let's buy a little bit of leather. We paid about 160 for it, and then we're going to Lycaron for pottery. Hey, Aaron Royce. Happy Thanksgiving. You simp. <laughs> well, yeah, we're Dimitri the Lover. We are simping because that's just in our DNA. Now let's do trade. We'll, we'll reset the perks. We'll do wholesaler for now. But eventually we'll, we'll switch it back to appraiser. All right, do you still have it? Party for 81. Yeah, they do. Nice. Leather is actually a pretty good price. Actually, we don't want to sell all of it, though. That's not... Yeah, once it goes to light green, that means you're you're barely making anything. So we were buying pottery here. And then we'll take it straight back. Just buy as much as we can without going overburdened. Oh, there we go. Sell swords. Those are cheap. And they can go into the mercenary maceman, which is the, the dumpy ones that we had. So this brings up an interesting one. No, we can't because we, we don't have any money. Yep. All right, we're going to wait. Hey, Brad. Watch, love your videos. Be fun one. Yeah, it's this one's going to be... I know the beginning is going to be kind of boring, but... We'll, we'll get there. Is your belly sluggish with foul meat and pie? It is, actually. I, I had way more than I should have, but now I don't have to eat dinner. So it works out. Got a little bit of efficiency going on. No zombies today? No, no. I I figured people would rather watch Bannerlord. 
and I've, I'm already working on the, the Project Zomboid kind of offline. The, the problem with the Zomboid video that I'm working on right now is it's just it's just straight grind. That's all it is, is all grind. Which is good because I'm going to use all that info for... Um, actually, let's just go straight. I already know they're not going to want to buy what we would just have, so let's go straight up to Rote. Um, but the Project Zomboid one I'm working on right now is just straight grind. It's not that exciting. Um, I'm going to make guides off of it, and I'm also getting ready for a bunch of really crazy challenges in that game. So this will help with that. All right, we can sell the pottery. Yeah, the pottery is a really good price here. So that works out really well. We still have leather to sell. We could actually add on some leather. I don't really want to, though. Yeah, not a lot of this looks too appealing, so that's fine. We'll leave it. We could take my cab, uh, whatever. Uh, right now, it's just the mercenary only is just to make it more of a challenge. Yeah, no, no, no other reason than to make it harder, because mercenaries are they're less effective units and they're more expensive. So it's like, it's like the worst of both worlds, right? You have to pay more for bad units, but um. It makes it more of a challenge and makes it a little bit more interesting. You kind of have to rely on, on different tactics, which is something that I enjoy doing. So it's, you know, for me, it, it makes it makes it fun. Modded RimWorld is a must. Yeah, Miles. I mean, the base game is fun, but holy crap. Once you start playing with mods, it's pretty hard to go back. Like for me, Combat Extended, it's I, I can't really play RimWorld without Combat Extended anymore. It just isn't fun. It's not the same. Let's buy all the wine. This is a really good price. So 131. We just got to find a better price than that. Let's start going to new lands. We keep kind of rotating this new area. Let's let's go to a new area. Uh, let's see. Early game is nice for money, just boring. Yeah, it is. Do you stream on Twitch? Uh, Galasek? I don't. I don't. I'm thinking about it at some point, but for now, YouTube's fine. I, I don't. Um, I know Twitch, you probably make a little bit more money. But it's just easier to keep it all on YouTube, personally. It's it's easier. Um, yeah. I'd say that's that's the main reason. But I'll, I'll probably add it to the mix maybe next year. Alright, not good. Dimitri the Lover gained a skill point in writing. I, I will probably put a skill point into writing at some point. Just for the fact that I don't want to be on a really slow horse the whole game. Uh, we can't get XP very fast anyway, so it'll be a long time before we can we can level it up decently. But yeah. YouTube takes less of a cut than Twitch. That That's probably true, yeah. For the ads anyways. I think for some of the other stuff, like the subs and the donations, they take uh, 30... YouTube takes 30%. I don't know what Twitch does, but... Are you leveling crossbow? No, I'm not allowed to do any combat skills. The only reason we have 10 in in crossbow, uh, in crossbow is because we had to pick at least one um, one of our background choices. You had to take a combat skill. There's no way around it. So it's kind of a wasted one, but it is what it is. Do mercenaries get to that level? Yeah, some of the mercenaries are, are half decent, but... Oh, nice. Look at this. These are good trades. All right, that looks really good. So that's going to put us above 2k and we still have inventory. So that's that's a good thing. All right, silver ore, that's a pretty good price. Let's actually stock up on silver. Nope, not that much though. Only 2, is it even worth it? Yeah, I guess it is. And that's really cheap. I know we're. I, I don't really want to mess with beer too much, but that's really cheap. Uh, why no combat skills? Uh, because the last campaign I did, I only used combat skills because I had to do it all with just one person, and so I figured this one will do it a little bit differently. And it's kind of fun playing as a vassal. So, uh, realistically, you you can only learn so much doing a single you know solo world conquest, right? A lot of the tactics you use you can't really use on your own necessarily because it's unless you plan on doing a solo world conquest. Some of the interesting things like the politics that I used would be reasonable 
in, in your own campaign, but I feel like doing a campaign like this mimics more what most people's experience of Bannerlord is. And so there should be more to gain, you know, from like making guides and, and just learning stuff. So that's kind of what I, I figured we'll do something a bit different in this one. Now, leather is really, really good price here. Wine, not so much. It's not terrible, but it's not great. Oh, yeah, pottery. That's really good. Oh, fortunately, we we blew through a lot of our money. Now, we could sell the wine. Not at a great price, but at least we'll free up some inventory. All right, Dimitri the Lover is gaining trade XP, so that's good. Oh, wow. Sword Sister followers. Those are the tier three. The only thing that doesn't make me too excited about this is it uses up most of our cash. But I do like the idea of having all the low tier. Velvet really cheap. Oh. And it, I, why, I'm wondering why it says it's, it's near the average price. I'm wondering if Velvet finally leveled out. Because it doesn't say that it's below the average. This is the average price around the world. Yeah, I don't want to get I don't want to get locked in. I bet you a caravan finally hit that one place up. Yeah, we'll we'll leave it alone for now. I think if you don't hit a trade like that quick enough, the the caravans are gonna snap. They're gonna snatch it from you. Um, I'm not on today's patch. No, I I turned my Steam off so it didn't auto update because. Uh, Flisson did some testing and said that the RTS camera does not work on the new one. So I, I have to have it. Otherwise, the campaign is just going to drag. All right, let's sell all these. This is a decent enough price. Yeah, say we could buy velvet, but the problem is I don't know if it's a good price. Let's buy a couple of them. It's fine. We'll deal with it. Linen's pretty good. Wait, I didn't check. If they have like a, a small number of units, we could do it, but I don't want to spend that much. Uh, by a meal, we have one, and we can't get any more. We're going to get overburdened. Yeah, you can only have one per what, per person in your party without getting overburdened. Uh, so what's the backstory? Did you create to RP? So uh, that's going to be for the, the big video. When I do the big video, I'll add a bunch of memes and kind of a backstory to it. But essentially, Dimitri the Lover, um, I'm not sure if you've seen, if you know about the, like the memes and stuff with him. But um, he's kind of one of those those chauvinist douchebags. But he's he's pretty funny and entertaining to watch and, and, or listen so it would just be geared around that. Yeah, him him sipping to regalia because, you know, he's all about women and getting him in, in the sack and all that stuff. So OK, got to keep going. We are getting a pretty nice chunk of money, though, so I think we'll, we need to start hiring troops soon. And then what we'll do is we'll go around doing quests. We need to fight some people so we can get our renown going again. Oh, Regea, let's go, let's go simp. Oh no, we can't simp. We're blocked. Ah, uh, that sucks. That's a decent price. Yeah, I think that's good enough. Yeah, see that that's kind of why I didn't want to do the velvet. If you look at it, it's it, it looks like the the price crashed everywhere for it. So I'm <laughs> I'm one of the only normal guys in this whole kingdom. That's 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 a good one, Griff. <laughs> yeah, we finally found her and she's blocked. I know, seriously. What are the odds? Pottery, we'll take some pottery. Alright, we finally gained a level, and let's put that, actually, hmm. We're mostly doing trading right now, and I want to get up to 125, so let's put a point into trade. That probably would have been a better idea than medicine, but that's alright. Alright, we can buy 10 sister followers. I'm going to do it. Let's, let's go ahead and get... Yeah, let's get that going. We need to buy some food, though. 
Oh, we haven't had a place to sell the beer. Uh, do caravan units count as mercenaries? No, they do not. No, they're 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 tagged in the back screen separately. So, uh, Canadian neo Nazi. Yes, Captain Vodka. That's him. That's the guy. Go on YouTube and and watch a video of him talk. Like you could just tell the guy oozes moron. Like he's such an idiot. But um, you know it's it's kind of fun to watch the train wreck. But you got to watch the old stuff. I don't know about his new stuff. Maybe his new stuff's deplorable, but the old stuff is hilarious. Like he's uh he he's basically a failed pickup artist. And but he th he's very serious and he thinks he's good at it. So it's it's one of those things where you just kind of you watch him and it <laughs> Yeah, like I say he just kind of crashes and burns. It's it's pretty funny. All right, we need to buy some food in each category so we can get we can start getting or uh, stewardship XP. So let's do that. It is going to burn a bit of our cash, but we, we have to do it. Yeah, we have beer already. All right, we got all nine foods. This is perfect. Yeah, we're starting off really, really well on this. Actually, we don't need to buy that much fish. We already have beer. We didn't buy any beer. Yeah, we're good. Okay, let's do it. Oh my god, this is awful. Captain Vodka, are you watching it? <laughs> it's so funny, man. Alright, now we can finally start taking fights. Here we go. Here our first victims. Let's take these guys out. No, I don't want to share. I don't want to share, dude. Just piss off. Let, uh, finally, we get to catch somebody and this guy's going to take him. Alright, let's go after the five then. Oh, this is painful. So painful. Uh, why didn't you play Age of Empires 4? I have it. I played it. I think I've got like a, about 100 hours on it. The game kind of died. I, I was getting into it and then the player count went down to like two or three thousand people it was it was really bad so i kind of stopped because of that all right dimitri the lover is in control of his his ladies look at that we got our own charlie's angels here all right let's try and keep these ladies alive here let's bait bait these guys in thank you we need to get some medicine xp so we'll take a hit or two Hey, look at that. Go cook me a sandwich. It's totally something he would say. Alright, we're gonna make some money. That's all we need to do is make a little bit of cash. We could probably start doing some of these quests, which is gonna make a huge difference as well. Train troops. Yeah, we could do that. It, it's not... Troops that we're gonna keep. So I think that's that's a reasonable one. Like I said, we, we can't hire troops, regular troops, and use other these are just temporary, so I, I think it's it's a reasonable one. Now we need to save up money and get horses. We need to get mounts for them. So have you ever done an auto resolve only campaign? Sort of. Yeah, sort of. Um I had plans to do one before and then when i went to do my testing and i started to make a, a guide video for it they completely butchered auto resolve i think they fixed it recently so it's it's a lot better now but it was bad for a while i don't want to share with this guy oh man you're so slow dude just catch him come on dimitri the lover quit playing with your food and eat it Now they're... Oh, they don't have... I thought... Interesting. I thought they would have had... Uh, the cavalry, but it looks like they only have one tier 2 or a tier 3. Right, so let's get these guys off to the flank. We'll send them in at the last second so they don't get completely butchered. Oh, one of our sword sisters is going to get nailed in the head, watch. Oh. It's coming. 
Oh, they they killed somebody with a rock. Or maybe that was just maybe that's just how it happened. It probably got shot by a crossbow, actually. Alright, get him. Get him, borrowed troops. Don't be useless. Alright, they're not completely useless at least. Just mostly useless. Try the whole game with only Sword Sister Mercenary. That would be a tough one, man. Uh, the dude that has the pickup dating me invite. Yep, Elder, that's him. <laughs> Dimitri the Lover. Oh, man, this guy's... It, it, it's such an easy character to use for me when I do the big edited video because there's so many good sound bites and videos of him just being a, a complete jackass. So it's I feel like it's going to be a really good one to use. Hey, Nikolai, how are you? How's it going? Uh, pretty good. Good to see you live. Yeah, thanks for showing up. I got uh, some free time this week and weekend, so we're going to do a bit of streaming here. All right, we can sell some pottery. It's not a great price, though, actually. Let's hold on to it. Let's get rid of the gear that we have. That ain't much, but it's enough to, to keep us alive, at least. All right, we want to make sure that our food stocks are staying at least two of each. We can make a little money selling the beer, but I think we'll just hang on to it. He's so confident. Oh yeah, he's serious. He's dead serious. The face reveal? Yeah, I, I um I think I got him pretty close actually. So actually can I, can I zoom in here? It's hard with the hat on. Let me take the hat off. So if you look at his, there's a picture that I used to, to model him, and I think it looks pretty good. I couldn't get the eyes. He has some weird, he has some weird facial features. Like his eyes are incredibly small for the amount of real estate of face that he has. I couldn't really get that. Like these eyes are all the way small on all stats. So it's as small as I can get them. But uh, other than that, I think it, I think it looks reasonably close to him. Army of poachers, there's no way we can do with that. It's close. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's keep fighting. Once we once we get these borrowed troops leveled up, we're gonna be in a lot better shape because uh I think that quest pays like twenty four hundred the first time you do it. So it's it's a huge amount of money. But the problem is catching enough troops. It's it's going to be really hard. Let's see if we can catch the 13 then. They're maybe a little slower. Oh, this is so painful, man. I, I hate the early game when you can't catch anything. It's just so tedious. Like, I, I get chased this guy for four days and maybe not even catch him. Or he'll, he'll group up with other bandit parties. And then I still won't be able to catch him. Let's get the six, maybe. Like, we, we just burned through all that money that we made on the other one. Just chasing this guy. It's just so stupid, man. You make your guy look like Danny DeVito? <laughs> Alright, we actually got a perk here. Let's take it because this is going to help us a little bit. So, wages. It ain't much, but, you know. Oh, you know what? We are slow because we have some prisoners. I probably should have dropped them off. All right, we got them cornered though. We can, we can, we should be able to get them. Yeah, we got them. There we go. Only infantry. That's good. Can your wife die from childbirth? Yes, you can. Yes. If you are the the player cannot die from childbirth, so if you if you're playing a female, your character will never die in childbirth. But any NPC can absolutely die in childbirth. Move! 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 Alright, let's get our little borrowed troops over here, see if we can distract them a little bit. Oh they headshot that guy. Alright, go get him. Sergeants in 
charge! Yeah, oh, nice. So the borrowed troops got. They got a kill. The culture, the culture of Dimitri is Greek, but uh, for the purposes of Bannerlord, he is um, Empire. Dimitri the Lover. All right, we need to get one more. Yeah, we got to upgrade one more, unfortunately. Kids can be stillborn. Yeah. Hey, Mundip, how are you, man? All right, let's uh, let's go to Vostrom so we can get rid of these prisoners. It's slowing us down way too much. That'll give us a few more troops. Or uh, that'll give us a little bit more money, I mean. You know, we can have a shield. There's nothing in the rule says we can't have a shield. We can go body block. And we'll keep the armor. If we sell it, it's not going to give us that much. But it'll give us a pretty good amount of protection, at least. And then trade goods. We still have to find a home for some of these trade goods. Let's make sure that our... We want to make sure that we're still earning the maximum amount. Oh man, that date fruit is really expensive. Yeah, we need to we need to get our barred troops a little bit more XP. Alright, we can sell some pottery. I'm just gonna dump it. I don't think it's a great price compared to what we bought it for. And this velvet. Uh, let's just dump the velvet. That's a lost cause. Yeah, I shouldn't have bought it. That was my fault. But that's all right. Now, I do want to start stacking up horses. Holy crap. Only 100. That is really cheap. Wait. Oh, that's right. They changed saddle horse. What am I thinking? This is the cheapest non-pack animal. Yeah, we, we can't. All right. Well, we'll take the money. Prisoners, yes, thank you. 61, we'll take it. Yeah, good call, I forgot about that again. How did you even get money if you can't do personal combat? So we did trading, we did some trading. We started off at level 10, now we're at level 32. So we did actually a decent amount of trade. Speaking of which, we should probably start, uh, we should keep buying. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a good way to make money in this campaign, just in the early game. I don't want to buy too much of any one good. We'll just buy a smattering of stuff. And then also we need to keep... When stuff's cheap, we'll stock up on it. Yeah, date fruit's the only one that's super pricey. With, uh, there's no difference in pack animals. As far... Like, they have a little bit different speed and if you're riding them. But as far as, like, using them as pack animals, there's no difference. They're all the same. Yeah, they all carry the same uh, the same amount of weight. Yeah, we can't get good prices for any of this stuff. But what I want to do is let's go find some bandits. Maybe some over here we can trap them in the mountains instead of chasing them for 10 hours. I do want to find somebody that's got scouting skill as well. That would be a nice addition, but we don't have the cash. So we need to, we need to get this quest done. All right, I'm going to control this manually because I feel like I'm going to ruin it. If I don't. Alright, we need to try and trap these along the edge of the, the river. 4.9, yeah, we're quite a bit slower. Now, if you're not sure about this, if you're on PC, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard. And you can control your party. So that way you can you can get really fine, granular uh, control of, of your party. So what I'm trying to do is just trap them in here. Every time they make a turn, we get a little bit closer. Yep, there's no way out. We got him. And they do have a cavalry this time. So this is going to be kind of a rough one, actually. Infantry! Forward. Move! Archers! Loose formation! Let's actually go loose formation Arch with everyone. Loose formation. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to distract this guy. The cav. How's the foot massage? No foot massage yet. We gotta... We She won't accept foot massages until we're a vassal. <laughs> oh, man. That was a close one. Alright, Dimitri the, the lover challenges you to a, a lover's duel. 
All right, th we're keeping this guy entertained while those our units are just smashing the other ones. All right, let's get let's get our, our tier one guys in there to do something. All right, they should be able to clean up those two. I, yeah, they got him. All right, now we need to deal with this horse. Let's draw him. Let's draw them into our guys. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. We're gonna roadblock. Oh. <laughs> Oh, this Chad right here with the uh, cornrows? Completely smashed that guy. Holy crap. Hey, Eric Kane. Thanks, man. I appreciate you showing up. Just finished Spartacus. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Dude, that... That Borrow Troop guy smashed him. He didn't get an XP... Didn't get XP for it. Oh, we didn't get it. So we have to... We have to wait again. That sucks. That's weird. I swear I saw him smash him. Hey, Philip T, thank you so much for the $5 donation. I appreciate it, man. YouTube unsubscribe me. Thought you stopped unloading. Uh, sometimes they do that. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I appreciate the support, man. And thanks for showing up to the stream. Happy Thanksgiving, if uh, if you're somewhere that celebrates it. Let's do one more point into trade or not. No, let's do medicine. I, I really want to get that up. Let's get both of these up to seven, and then we'll just go back and forth. It doesn't really matter which one gets up first. Hey, Cave Manor. Welcome. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we're we just getting started. What are we, an hour in? It's six 6.30 my time, so I'll probably go another six hours or so, maybe. Something like that. So we got plenty of time left for Dimitri the Lover to get his, uh, <laughs> to get his stuff. Uh, 1.2 live out. So they did a, a hot fix. I don't think it's on the main branch, though. If that's if that's what you're asking. All right, we don't need any of that stuff. No good deals on the trade here. Although we could probably pick up some stuff to trade. Yeah, more oil. And What's our wage? 74. I don't want to buy too much. Let's just slowly pick up animals. We'll pick up a Midlands Palfrey. Hey, Cassandra. Yeah, 1.2.5. This is not 1.2.5 because the mods don't work on it. So I, I went offline so it didn't automatically update. It's not a... It's weird it's 9 gig update, but there's like two or three things changed and a bunch of crash fixes it's, it seems like a very minor fix so i don't know why they maybe they overhauled some stuff i i don't know i don't know how that really works like why one patch is huge even though it's a small change and other patches are small all right let's keep going we really would love to get these these stupid uh borrowed troops leveled up so we can turn that quest in 16 looters they're all gonna die man if we do that it's i mean whatever we gotta do it Dimitri the lover is scared of no one. Yeah, we probably have prisoners. Um, what I'm going to do is actually... Let's get these guys off to the side. We need to go distract and try and do as much distraction as we can. Maybe get... Oh, look at... I'm, I'm going full speed right now, by the way. This is full speed. On the snow, this thing is so slow. Because we have no skill. All right, this is perfect. Yeah, this is this is perfect. Eric Kane, thank you so much for the twenty dollars, man. I appreciate it, man. To get throat lozenges, yeah, dude. That that last stream was was pretty rough too. The uh, the live the world conquest, the solo one. My voice was shot. All right, we gotta try and help these guys. We don't want all of them to die. Oh, they're all gonna die, aren't they? Is there injury? No, they all died. Crap, man. That sucks. Our borrowed troops completely died. So we can't turn in that quest. We only need one to survive to turn it in, too. That's, that is bogus. We didn't lose any of our sword sisters. Damn, they would have had it, too. They would have had the level. That's so much money we just lost. That's 2400. I knew it. I knew that was going to happen though, but you know, what can you do? 
All right, we're going to go with the plus one tr tier recruiting from the same culture. That's going to be very important. It also gives you a little bit of XP drip to all troops in the party. So like we could have just let these guys sit there and, and get their XP on their own. Uh, our lozenge is good. Some of them can be pretty good. The Ricola ones, I like the, the lemon flavored ones. Is They're pretty good. All right, let's dump all this stuff off. I, at least we made money from, you know, doing all this other stuff. Oh, I switched, I switched horses. I didn't realize it. Oh, well. All right, we can dump some trade goods. And we can pick up. Yeah, let's pick up another Midlands Palfrey. Let's pick up two, actually. We only have ten people, so every one does make actually a huge difference, and I will remember to sell prisoners this time. It raises the horse accu the mounted horse accuracy penalty. Yeah, it does. It's it's tournament AI or the deeper you go. Yeah, I'm glad they did that because the tournaments were kind of... I, okay, the last patch they did was pretty good. It, it did make tournaments quite a bit harder. But um, based on the amount of the good prizes that you get, it does make sense that they make it harder like that. All right, Silver Ore, we can pick up a little bit of this. Well, I guess we're... Uh, Picking up quests. Yeah, we can we can do maybe some quests. I would love to pick up but escort the herd. We're not doing bandit base. That's not going to happen. Three hundred days before the main quest expires. Do you need to go to the next phase immediately? You know, Jeffrey, I I've only done the main quest once, so I I couldn't tell you. I almost exclusively play That's sandbox. Um, but I, I bet you somebody else in the in the chat knows. There's a lot of people that have uh, a pretty good amount of XP uh, experience playing the the campaign. So. Alright, let's get in front and block these guys. Or they're just gonna walk right by. Yeah, they're just going to walk right by. All right, we need to get hit by a few rocks so we can get a little bit of medicine XP. Well, our little firing squad worked. So, Jeffrey, the only thing I can tell you that I know from experience is... Um, there's a point where if you don't do something in time, like everybody declares war on you all at once and it's it's pretty rough. So yeah, you, it sounds like you probably should should rush, but I, I'm not again, I'm not sure because I don't have a ton of experience with the with the main quest. You can let it pass and not much will happen. Okay, got it. Yeah, I know there's certain things that'll make everybody declare war on you and then other things you can just ignore and i i just don't know which one's which so All right, we can probably take another no these are really expensive so let's not do that we can sell some trade goods yeah we still we need to make sure we're not running out of this stuff too so let's buy actually let's go three each and then we can just pick up a sumter Uh, definitely not spending that much money for some macemen. Those guys are terrible. Hey, Rat Black, uh, good politics. I would say, um, the diplomacy mod's really good. Yeah, I, I would say diplomacy mod. I don't know if it's a good idea to fight these guys with shields, with sword sisters. So let's try and avoid them unless it's a small group. Yeah, 14 is not going to work. We can isolate seven, maybe. Oh, we did get a perk as well. Let's pick this up. So 
so plus two daily XP or higher tier daily XP. Let's just go the straight XP. I think that's the better call. No, why? What? I clicked on him and it went back. <laughs> oh, you gotta love pathing in games. Uh, anyways, a level roguery beside... Yeah, uh, Siggy, you can do prison breaks. You can have bandit troops in your party. Every kill that a bandit troop in your party gets, that's that's uh, roguery XP for you. You can raid caravans. You can raid peasants, peasant parties. All those will give you roguery XP. There's actually a lot of ways to do it now. It didn't used to be that way, but it's gotten a lot better. Selling prisoners. Yeah, Beanie, that's a good point. I forgot about that one. That one does give you a ton, but you know, if you you're doing it all game, so it does add up pretty quickly. I would say prison breaks are the best way to do it if you want to do it really quickly. Alright, we'll wait till they get in range. Yep, they're in range. Let's go harass with our shield. They're not hitting anything. What's going on here? Come on, ladies. Alright, we gotta charge them in so that they at least they do something. We have enough numbers that I think we can overpower them, but we're probably gonna lose some people here. Alright, we just wanna crowd this guy. Oh, man. Yeah. We lost one of our ladies. Oh no. Uh, did they get rid of that one feature? No, it's still in there. Yeah, you can target. Um, you can target different. What do you call it? Enemy groups now. So we lost two. Only one dead though. That's good. Well, we got to go hire some more people now. Actually, let's see what quest they have. Help with brigands. That would have been nice before I took that last fight. Let's uh, let's get back to a spot where I know we'll be hiring troops later, and then we can we can start raising relationship with that area. Yeah, not not good prices on this stuff. Sword Sister down. Yeah, we lost two of them there, but only one died. That's fine. They're, they weren't that expensive. I think we paid, what, a thousand for ten of them? Something like that. It was, it was actually pretty reasonable. Yeah, there's no way we're upgrading them. Why, you know, why would you spend money to take a bad unit to steal a bad unit? Sword Sister Followers. I think that's the same one we had, right? Yeah, that's the same low tier. Now, if she gets to this one, it's a Hickory. She's currently using Simple Light, and then the top one is Heavy. So, the, I mean, their equipment is decent. They just don't have a freaking helmet. Like, put a helmet on. You must save Rigay if she's captive. That's a good point, yeah. Yeah, we can't really do a prison break, though. That'd be a tough one. Uh, Beanie Boy, I, I like Batania. I just, uh, the their unit mix is kind of adjusted to my playstyle. I like to use heavy foot archers. You know, we don't need more. I think we'll just use what we have for now. Let's see if we can get some quests going. Yeah, it's so funny. I haven't played like a normal campaign in such a long time. That just feels so foreign to me right now doing all this.
Right, let's just get a couple of each. Oh, you know what? That's the other thing we could do. All right, we can get more horses. Yeah, why don't we do that? We'll go down to like 500 each time, and then we'll just keep going until we have enough that everybody's on a horse. Hey, Cobus, 4 a.m. South... Ah, nice. South Africa. Yeah, that's that's pretty early. Uh, qu quick recap. Yeah, we haven't really done much yet. I started with some high tier troops, lost them all, got captured. Basically had to go around and trade as a single unit for a couple you know, maybe two a week or two. Saved up some money and now we're we've got a few units again and we're taking it a little slower this time. Basically we're gonna go around and, and complete quests to make a little bit of money and just try and get a little uh, little bit of XP. Like right now we're getting a decent stewardship because we have all the food items. Probably want to get some medicine going. So we'll start throwing units away and letting them get injured and all that so we can level that up. But uh we're trying to make our way to <clears throat> To be a mercenary, so we can join Regea. That's going to be the key. All right, anything green, we'll buy some. Yeah, I think we just do a little bit of trading here and there. Check this check this one out. I really want to deliver the herds. Train the troops. We already failed it once, but let's see if we can do it this time. Oh nice. They got decent prices. Actually, that's really low still. I feel like we should be getting higher than that. Yeah, the hardwood is decent. The other one's not so much. It's just because we bought these for so low that we're getting a good deal on it. But yeah, I don't want to do that. Uh, Velvet, 170. That's that's really good. Leather, that's pretty good for leather as well. Oh, we don't have money. Yeah, we can't even do that. We'll take the velvet. That's fine. We'll leave it at that. We still need to have enough money for our wages. Let's go up into the Sturgeon lands and see if we can find something to fight. Here we go. You best back. <clears throat> in fact Attack! Now what I'm going to do is send these guys in first. I don't care how many of them survive. Actually, it's better if only one or two survive because then we don't have to level all of them up. It's actually cheaper that way. So we'll fight a 4v5, or a 4v3, uh, sorry, 5v3, jeez. Math is really difficult. All right, let's let them, let's get a few hits so that we can get our medicine XP. And then when they're done, they're going to come clean these guys up. Oh, they all survived. Wow. Make it happen, boys. Yeah, I'm not upset if any of them die. Oh, wow. Five levels all on that. That's perfect. So we can turn it, we can immediately turn it in. Send it back. 2400. We are in really good shape now, just off of that. My dad can be your dad. Uh, what mod makes the party use stuff like wood while traveling on campaign map? Um, I've never seen that, GH. I don't know. Yeah, I've, I haven't heard about that one yet. Hey, Glockhart. The solo conquest is done. I just need it's just a matter of editing, that's all. Yeah, the solo world conquest is, is completely done and recorded. I just need to finish editing it. That's the, the biggest that's the hold up right now. Like uh after I get off of this stream, I'm gonna edit tomorrow's episode. Hopefully. I'm not like falling asleep. Alright, these are decent prices. I don't want to sell in the green, but we'll sell average. Yeah, we can sell. Oh, the salt is actually pretty good. Raw silk. Yeah, those are decent too. So we'll make we'll make a lot of money off of that. And let's see if we can get any good trade goods here. Got jewelry. 
I think we'll buy all the jewelry. We'll buy all the velvet. Hmm, wait a second. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's do it. Uh, if you have your mouse over morale states it, it's weird. So, uh, I'm not sure if you're referring, referring to food variety. So, food variety, there's nine different foods in the game. If you have all nine foods, you get a big boost in, in loyalty. I'm not sure if that's what you're referring to. I, I have never seen anything that uses anything other than the food variety. Like, there's perks and other stuff that can show up in there, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure. We make a new guide after 1.2 is out fully. Yeah, Jeffrey, I'm working with Flisson on quite a few different guides. Like, we've got uh, unit testing done for infantry. I just need to, to script it in voiceover, and then we'll have that done. So we did all the foot troops, the high-tier foot troops. So that'll be good. That's done on 1.2. Okay, that's not a good price. Wow, beer is really expensive up here. We'll sell some of it and then we'll just buy it back cheaper elsewhere. All right, that fur looks pretty good. Yeah, there's some good stuff here. Tools, wow. So they haven't had any attention up here in a while then. That's all we, we don't have room for anything else. Wait, do I still have... I still have a looter. Oh, that reminds me. I was supposed to keep buying... These, these horses. I think we're spending around 230, 240. So step horse is fine as well. Something else. It's, yeah, gee, it's just probably from a mod then. The only thing that I can think of that might have changed something. I don't know if you're using Banner Kings. Banner Kings might be. I don't think so, though. I'm not sure. Uh, Huckleboard, do you need par Paradox games? Yes, I play CK3. I've d I did a World Conquest video on that recently. That one's pretty good. Uh, I play EU4. I've got like 5,000 hours in EU4. That one's uh, a really fun game. And then I started to learn Hoi4, although I didn't get that far into it. But yeah, yeah, I've, I've, I've gotten into the Paradox games. All right, we're moving, we're moving. Oh, yeah. We're checking for quests. Anything that's that's reasonable to do. Now what is... Yeah, we already did this. Let's go to Ball Guard. And we'll, we'll try and pick up quests along the way. Don't really want to fight up here too much because the snow makes you super slow. And it's kind of annoying. Right, let's get out of Sturgia. Sturgia, uh, sorry, Hoi 4 without black ice is lame. Are you considering? Yeah, we'll probably use workshops. Hey, Bennett Stone, happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, I, pl I plan on, um, I have Victoria 3. I've got about 20 hours into it, so I didn't really get that into it. I didn't think it was that fun. Uh, which country is your favorite in EU4? Uh, hands down any of the Japanese daimyo especially um see there's two there's one on the on the south south western coast that I really like to play I don't remember the name I it's been a while since I played it so I'm trying to remember um Oda oh, Oda is really fun that's probably the favorite but then there's one further south that I like to do as well yeah those are those are both a lot of fun all right we can make some decent money off pottery here 
in the tools. And they're still at average price, so that's fine. Yeah, I haven't I haven't gone back into Victoria 3. I'll probably give it another year of updates before I get back into it. I just I was pretty disappointed with it. I was really looking forward to it when it first came out, and then I played it and just I couldn't get into it past maybe 10 hours or something. Just was not about it. Oh, this linen looks pretty good. Uh, Bannerlord, it's definitely got to be Batania. I like Batania. The archers are so much fun to play with. And I, I do like their infantry. They're not... They're very underwhelming, which is, to me, is kind of fun with the... You know, from a challenge perspective. Yeah, this is going to be edited into a, into a video once it's all done. It'll be on the Let's Play channel, and then it'll, it'll get turned into a, a big video as well. Come on, ladies. We will valiantly ride through this. Oh, no, they didn't even... They don't even care anymore. Alright, we got... Something out of that. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of leadership out of it, at least. Why does this thing keep popping up? Go away. Alright, let's do Epicrodia. So what we should do, let's sell off some of our trade goods. Alright, we don't want to go into light green, we'll keep it in the dark green. That's a good, oops. Keep it yeah, we got we got a really good trade deal on that um the velvet. That was really good. Still gotta sell this stuff, don't we? And then oh they don't have any animals. Hmm. Uh, I'm probably not gonna upgrade these, and if I do it's it's not gonna be for a while. So just as a rule of thumb, just so you guys know. And this will be in the next video that 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 we uh, Flissan and I are working on. If you do the math on how effective units are relative to how much their wages are, you are way better off maxing out your party size and then upgrading them. So max your party size out all, even if it's all tier one, doesn't matter. Get max party size, and then if you can afford it, upgrade the troops. But if you were to match the wages for say like tier six to a bunch of tier one. The tier one will absolutely wipe them off the map, like a hundred percent of the time. So it's better to have volume than to have a bunch of low tier that are really good. Unless you're going for like horse archers, like whatever stuff like that. You know that those are that's the obvious caveat. But it's much better to have a gaggle of of uh, you know <laughs> a gaggle of sword sisters than to have you know two or three elite sword sisters. So let's go. We haven't gone to Batania yet. Let's check check out what's going on up here. Uh what should be next for Bandalord? That's a tough one. It's that's hard. I mean There's a lot of things they could do. It'd be nice to to see them do like a map a map add-on. Maybe like a DLC if they put a lot of money and attention into really adding content. Because I know you can't really do it for free. You know, you spend all that money on, on development. So if they did it at least as a DLC, I think they could they could afford to put the time and attention into making more late game content, making the map bigger, more factions. Yeah, DLC with the boats or something, making adding some kind of diplomacy. I don't know. I, why do I keep clicking on that? All right. Yeah, veteran short sisters are really expensive. There's no way we're spending money on that. All right, fur is really good here. I'm already getting tired of doing this trade stuff, though. Man, we got to get to 125. That's going to be brutal. All right, whatever. We got to keep the money flowing. Actually, can we buy horses? No, they're too expensive. I don't want to. Do, I don't want to do that. 
Wool looks like it's a pretty good deal here. Play as well. Well, it's okay. Let's at least go. Oh, wow. Vlandia is already taking him out. Gotta love it. Yeah, look at that. Vlandia snaked all the way over here. Well, that's going to be, as usual, the superpower to fight against. So, uh, what didn't you like about Hoi 4? You know, the games felt too short for me, the campaigns. I, I got so used to uh, EU4 and CK3 where, you know, you can spend weeks on a campaign. Hoi 4 just felt a lot more limited. You know, because you're only playing a couple decades and then you're done. So that's the part that I didn't like as much. I think that's why a lot of people actually like it more than the other ones, because you can kind of sit down and, and play a campaign in, uh, you know, a day or two. So I don't know. It's just I got so used to the other Paradox games. It's not that I don't like it. It's just I couldn't get into it in the same way that I did the other games. You know, you get so invested in your country because you spend all that time building it up. And it's just, it's over, you know? All right, raw soap. We'll take some of that. Some pretty good prices. We're getting a little overburdened. Dimitri the Lover. We got level five here. So let's start putting stuff into here. Let's go, I think. Leadership is nice to have, but it doesn't really do us any good. Let's go charm. Waited for the ad holding fees for minor factions. I, yeah, I don't know how that would work. That would be interesting. Maybe they, if they expand a certain size, they could form their own kingdom, like an, a legit kingdom, but I don't know. Yeah, Hoi 4 is about min-maxing the long campaigns. I agree. Yeah, it's, like I said, it's just a different play style. I'm, I'm not used to it, I guess. I just need to adjust more. It, I, I did have a lot of fun with it, though. I really enjoyed the army composition, you know, with other ones, you just pick which units you want to use, whereas that you're actually building the units. So it's kind of interesting in that sense. All right, I think what we're going to do is uh, this is enough trading for me for a long time. Let's let's go back to our homelands or where we want to keep our homelands anyways. And then uh, we'll start doing quests in that area specifically and we'll start building up a, a crew. That was a nice volley. They are just completely ignoring us. Alright, don't hit my ladies. Uh, Captain Fish, it's gotta be, without a doubt, Supreme Commander. Yeah, Supreme Commander is my favorite strategy game of all time. Alright, pretty easy. We're not really getting that much renown. That's why I wanted to get the trade uh, um the trade skill up, the perk. Let's see what we're at actually. Maybe we're not that bad off. Yeah, we're barely at 19. Jeez. Uh Total War, yes, Total Wars are fun too. I haven't gotten into a Total War in a while. Uh, I didn't really like the way they went with, I think it was Thrones of Batania. It, it felt a little bit too arcade for me, and so I stopped playing after that. But all the ones prior to that, so much fun. All the Shogun, I played I played the Shoguns, you know, Medieval, Empire, Napoleon. I played all those. Really, really fun. Oh, nice. We can get some pretty good money here for some of this stuff. Let's sell off a lot of the trade goods that we have. That'll that'll liquidate some of our money. We can start expanding our, our troops. And we got all this crap that we don't need. And then we also need to buy horses. They don't have though. Yeah, they don't have any good ones here. Let's keep going. Company of Heroes. You know, I I, I prefer real-time strategy as opposed to that one feels more like a real-time tactics. I don't know if that makes sense, but um yeah, I definitely prefer strategy over tactics games. Yeah, dude, Supreme Commander was was definitely my favorite game for a long time. I used to play the, you know, single player, not so much. It was the online stuff that I played. You know, back in the day, they would do tournaments. Had a lot of fun doing that. 
early we uh, earlier we are not that far in yeah we had a little bit of a setback too oh here we go better draw he'd be pretty good for leading a party let's see how much he is Six eighty. Do we want to commit that much? Yeah, I think we do. And we don't have to keep him on a. I, we could just leave him in the town. He's got one handed. I guess we can give him a shield and just leave him in the front as a meat shield. Hopefully, he doesn't die. All right, you are definitely not getting a horse. Right, what does he have? He has one-handed, a little bit of polearm, athletics, no riding. Yeah, I think maybe just give him like the worst shield in the game, and then some kind of one-handed. Yeah, I'm not spending that much money on this crap. You're gonna get some leftover stuff when we get it. <laughs> has the raw dog in started yet? Not yet. Not not yet, but it's probably not too far off. I don't really want to fight a cavalry yet either with this crew. I know we kind of lost a little bit. All right, we're getting back into the area. Let's start doing some quests and we can really expand what we have. We need to get horses as well. Yeah, Midland Palfrey. Here we go. And actually, what I'm going to do is swap these out. I like to have all of the same unit, uh, the type of horse. It's just easier to track. So we'll do that. Caravan guard, I don't want to do that. We really need to find somebody that's got some scouting, so... That's going to be, I think, next priority on the list. Alright, we got rid of most of our trade goods, so that's good. And let's make sure we have all our foods. Yeah, we got all nine. We can stock up a little bit. Make sure we have at least two of everything, and let's keep going. Female companions, that would probably make sense, right? <laughs> veteran, I don't want to, I don't want to pay for the veterans. That's, oh, that's the tier, yeah, I don't want to pay for tier 5. No, no, no. They don't provide the value yet. Let's just get rid of the clay, it's just weighing us down. Uh, which wife do you tend to pick in your games? Personally, I just get whatever's really low low level so I can sculpt them how I want. It's going to depend on the game. Yeah, it's different every time. This game, we're going to probably go for Rigea's daughter if she's not already married. And if she is already married, we need to find a way to make her not married, if that makes sense. Let's get rid of the mule, go Sumpter, get a couple more Sumpters, and then... Uh, we, let's go find some more troops and also quests. There we go. Finally deliver the herd. Got Maris and we were just there, but that's fine. We'll go back. Uh, did I already get that achievement? I don't I don't have that many achievements in this game, mostly because I'm using mods. Yeah, it's kind of hard to, to go back and play without mods. Um, I, there is a mod that allows achievements even if you're running mods. Well, good day. So I could probably just use that, actually. All right, let's turn in the sheep. Got a pretty good amount of money. Let's also get a few more troops. Actually, there's a quest here. Is there a good one? Well. Yeah, we can do this one. All right, two bands of brigands. Oh, that's a healthy party. All right, let's do our best to get them split up because 18 is we'll, we'll definitely take losses here.
Alright, they're kind of spread out. Let's get them spread out even more. Here we go. Yeah, this should make a pretty big difference. Dimitri the lover puts his ladies ahead of himself. Alright, that should be fine. Let's let them get a little closer. Oh, and our guy without a weapon is clumped in there for some reason. I was hoping he'd be separate and we could just use him as bait, but he's he's clumped in there. Alright, they're hitting the firing squad. We should be fine here. Any tips on surviving after declaring your own kingdom? Yeah, make sure you have enough money you can declare you can pay for peace. Peace is very expensive when you're on your own. But if you have enough money to survive for maybe like a year or two and just go to war with one person, that'll give you time to expand and then you should need to pay for peace anymore at some point. You can just deal with the wars. But in the early stages, yeah, you have to you have to be able to isolate one kingdom and just take stuff and expand that way. Otherwise, you're going to have a you're going to have a rough time. Now, let's get this guy outfitted with some weapons. A pickaxe, that's garbage, but uh, I guess it's better than not having a pickaxe. What type do you usually main? I, I like to go archer heavy in general. But that said, I mean, just the variety. Variety is fun. Yeah, I don't like to go too much to one all the time. So sometimes I'll do like an infantry only. That one's that that can be a lot of fun. All right, here we go. We are not fighting 20 though. That would be a disaster. We can take 9. Yeah, we'll take 9 on. All right, they have a cav. We got to be careful here. All right. Have you seen Pax Day? I have not. No, what is that? Max tier mercenary troops are bad. Yeah, mercenary troops in general are just not good. That's kind of why I'm using them. Just more more for challenge. Yeah, if I had the choice, I would not use mercenary troops. They're, they're good if you have the mercenary troop wage perks. Because then they're really cheap. And you can afford a lot more of them. But if you have all the money in the world, just don't don't use them. Just buy, buy regular troops. Why are you hitting my horse, man? Oh no. You savage. You savage, man. He's gonna kill the horse. Alright, let's get out of the way. Oh, nice. They took out the calf. Alright, let's get our, our companion in there. Hopefully he does something. He just ran by that guy for no reason. These sword sisters are actually doing a decent job. Yeah, kind of kind of impressed. I played the very first Witcher a long time ago. I haven't played anything after that. You know, I have a hard time getting into games with storylines, to be honest. It just... I don't... I don't know. I usually play games for the for fun mechanics, not so much the story. Uh, I feel like the Witcher is, is good with both, but... Um, they're very well known for their storyline. Alright, let's sell a bunch of this stuff. Oh, actually, let's get this guy an actual weapon. So now he's got a falchion. Yeah, nothing we need to upgrade here. Just trying to see why our... Inventory space went up so high, but the female troop mod <laughs> that would be funny, huh? Dimitri the lover with a female only that would be really interesting. And then maybe companions have to be female as well. Uh, GH, no weapons, there uh, combat's not allowed for the main character, just one of the rules. Yeah, I, Baldur's Gate. 
I'll definitely get into that at some point. Probably next year. But, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that game, too. <clears throat> Alright, we, we still need to find somebody that can handle our scouting. So, let's keep an eye out for that. Alright, quests. We need quests. Well. Alright, what if we hire some people? Oh, nice! The Sword Sister followers. That's the low tier, if I remember. I can just look at what we have. Yep, that's the one. Okay, so we can pick up more. So we've got 22 troops now. We can definitely pick this up. Yeah, we'll take that. And then also, let's get some horses. So everybody's got a horse. No, not everybody has a horse. We need to keep a little bit more cash because our, our wages are kind of high now. Alright, let's escort. Uh, if you didn't know, you alt and click on the thing you want to follow and they'll follow like in perfect. They'll match the speed and everything. Uh, would you say you prefer to create your own storyline? Not so much. Not so much. I just... I find that I don't have the patience to follow the story sometimes, and I, I half the time I just click through, and I just do my own thing. I just want to... I just want to get out there and, and have fun, and uh, explore the mechanics and, you know, pick the part... Pick, pick the game apart. Like, figure out the best way to level stuff up, pick out what the, the optimal strategy is. Just... I just like taking things apart and analyzing them. And I feel like the story gets in the way of that sometimes, so. Alright, we should... We should be okay here, but it's kind of tough, because... Um, I want to try and take out... As many of these horse archers as we can, but the problem is... We may not... Oh, we're getting kills. We're getting kills, actually. Yeah, I think we're okay. There we go. Now, what we'll probably need to do at some point is bring everybody in and tightly pack them together because we're, we're not going to have much luck stopping the cab. Yeah, like this? Oh, wow. She... How did she survive, man? She got nailed in the head, it looked like. Alright, they only have three horse archers. I'm gonna I'm gonna go anti-cav now. Let's go anti-cav. So we're gonna go as tightly packed as we can, and then that should allow us to stop stop in the tracks. And we're still gonna get shots off against their archers. It's just not as many. Yeah, so like when somebody comes in like that, they're gonna get they're gonna be in trouble. Let's speed this up. All right, we got it. We didn't lose anybody. Wow. Actually, did our allies do okay? Yeah, they only lost one. They'll be fine. All right, no upgrades. Y yeah, no, you're right. You're right. That's that's true. I don't think of it as much as, like, a storyline, but yeah, you're right. It's kind of like its own narrative. Oh, why are you changing your... You going back that way? All right, I guess we're going back that way. Hillman. So these aren't, even, these aren't even the regular ones that ambush the caravan. This should be a pretty easy battle, though. Move, move. Alright, ladies. Don't let me down. Dimitri the lover needs the money, man. I feel like a pimp. We're just pimping these ladies out. <laughs> Make me money now. Because we can't do it ourselves. I wonder if you managed to play X4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. X... I, I haven't played enough X4, but I, I played a decent amount. 
faction war simulation. Yeah, that's that's the thing with X3. The mods did a pretty good job with the faction war simulation. That was a lot of fun. But yeah, I I I, I think X4 would be fun to get into. Wow, we didn't get any kills there. Jeez. Well, we didn't do a good job there. There's the Raiders. <laughs> Dimitri the lover with his own... Yeah, Everyone, basically. Forward! Move! Forward! Forward! Move! Yeah! They're stuck on something. Yeah, maybe it's the Allied Cav. Let's see if we can stop this guy so we can get get a good shot on him, maybe. Come on, body block. Body block. Hit the tree. There we go. <laughs> Alright, we're getting not too many kills, but a little something. Alright, here we go. Pretty traffic jam. Hopefully they get some easy shots. Got two. Yeah, we can't fight, but we can definitely get in the way and just be annoying in general. Oh, good shot. Right, this guy's coming in too fast. Slow him down. Oh, she got hit in the face. I saw that. Well, there's one one less lady for Dimitri. I think they're mostly archers, right? No, they have kind of a mix. It's fine. I think we just keep keep shooting, and we'll be all right. Somebody get this guy. Oh, we lost another sword sister, didn't we? Yeah, we lost two. Uh, you do any board games or tabletop games? I, you know, I haven't in a long time, but uh, the last big one that I played was Settlers of Catan. That one's pretty fun. Oh, that guy got destroyed. Completely demolished. Alright, try and slow this guy down so we can get shot, but that's not gonna happen. Actually, let's... We'll just keep it tight so we can slow this guy down. Or you just bust right through. Former shield wall. Oh, it's so painful fighting without an army, or uh, fighting without being able to do personal combat. Like little stuff like this. This this should have been over a long time ago. All right, Soldiers! all right, we got him. Somebody got him. We got some pretty good rewards there. And our companion will get a better sword. You can punch them. <laughs> yeah, this guy's running out of troops. We need to end it like now. Dude, again? We just fought? We literally just fought one. Not even a day ago. Oh, this is this is getting tedious. And it sucks because we can't, like I said, we can't really fight and help. Move, move, move. That's not Soldier, what I want to, let's get them stretched move, out. Forward. And then behind these archers, so that they're the target, and then we can get some easy shots off.
Did we lose? We just lost two more. Wow. Like that, we lost two more. Gee, how many archers do they have? No, they have a lot. I was gonna say we can just switch to melee and try and trap them, but no, we need we need the range. Oh, good shot. Good shot. Yeah, we just lost another one. Crap, man. I guess we can get some of those pikemen, but I don't... They're not good for... Lit they're literally not good for anything else, the pikemen. Uh, no, Tom, no tactics yet. I, I didn't put any points into it either, so... It's gonna be hard to level that up. We'll, we'll do it later, but... I wasn't planning on uh, auto-resolving too much. Somebody? There we go. There we go. Who do they got? They got a one horse archer left. And it looks like a cav. Okay, what's the fastest you hit Clan Tier 3? Um, I've done it in like six or seven days, something like that. You could do it pretty fast. Are we allowed to have gang alleys? Yes, but we can't fight personally, so it's going to be hard. We'd have to have companions take them out, so that's... It's going to be hard finding people that can do that. Companions are just not that good at combat. So I'll probably skip that in this campaign. All right, medicine, we got it. So we'll take... Preventative medicine? Yeah, let's take preventative medicine. Alright, they have zero troops left. Please don't send another caravan or a raider party, man. This is this is getting kind of silly now. That's like the fourth one we fought. Alright, there we go. We finished the quest. On the bright side, we did get quite a few items. Let's let's give our companion a spear so at least he can he can work on cab if we need him to yeah we don't we have to oh we got a lot of sumter there too we might actually be hurting penalty yeah but we i, I think we should hire troops rather than rather than selling stuff so Hired crossbow. Why are they so cheap? Uh, maybe it's because there's only one of them. These, these are the good ones. These are the ones. These are where we want to be. They got a bound crossbow at level four. Yeah, that's that's the way. That's the way to go. This is not 1.2.5, no. The the patch today I skipped because RTS does not work. No, so, and I didn't want to do this campaign without it, so I, I skipped it. I have done a bandit only, yep. Uh, Mike Nike, if you go to the Let's Play channel, look up, um, look up Amir Timur. That's a, that's a bandit only. That one, that was actually a really fun campaign, too. So if you click on my channel and then go to, I think there's a tab just for channels you can see, or the main the main tab, you can see that I have three different channels. Look for the Let's Play channel, it'll be on there. And then look for Amir Timur. Oh, you know, what was that guy's name? <clears throat> Barrel chest, that's not what we want. Alright, back to the Southern Empire. That's what I meant to do. I've been meaning to go back down there. 
Uh, mercenary only until we get some land. Yeah, once we get our own land, then we, we can hire troops. But up until that point, I think we'll just keep it as mercenary only. All right, let's go back. Like I said, I want to get over to the... Oh, who are they getting sieged by? So they're fighting the Empire now. And we are getting a decent amount of steward XP, so that is helping quite a bit. Charm is capped. So steward, medicine, charm, they're all capped. Let's do leadership next. Probably put a few points into trade. N not that I want to, but we probably should. Ooh. What is our party cap? Yeah, we can fit. Now, the only problem there is we don't have enough mounts. So let's get a few more mounts. And then... Let's just keep buying stuff. Yeah, as much as I hate it, we do still need a little bit more trade XP. That's too much. Yeah, we can't afford to do that. Let's get rid of the jewelry. And if we can pick up no, I still there's no good there's no good uh what do you call it? There's no good quests here. Oh yeah, we'll do that for sure. We need the money. Yeah. Are there any games you play where you got into the storyline? Yeah, I would say Infantry Forward! Kingdom Come Deliverance is one of those. Arrow. It was really fun. Forward. Forward. Like back in the day, I played Final Fantasy. Those Forward. were really fun. Forward. I definitely Forward. got into the storyline in those. But, you know, sometimes you just want to get in and play. You don't want to sit there and read or listen to dialogue for, you know, one or two hours. You just want to get in and do stuff. But at least that's how I am. So... All right, let's send our companion on a bit of a flank. We can draw some of them out. And then see if he can get... Oh, he smacked him. He's going to get He's gonna get destroyed, though. No, he didn't. He survived. Yeah, we've got too many archers. we got too many range units. They're going to get crushed. A good companion? No, he's not good. But he's not terrible. He's going to be leading his own party. He's got medicine and steward already, so that helps. But he's he's more of a placeholder. Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> That's funny. I haven't heard of that in a long time. Alright, here we go. We gotta get... Another help with brigands. But we can't take that one until we clear. But we, he's gonna be too far away. We gotta go back. Here we go. We can take that. Wave got no... Yeah, Kingdom Come is very underrated. It, it's amazing. I have a uh, short. I have a couple Over. shorts on Kingdom Come. Archer, and I I don't know why. There's so many people that comment like, oh, what game is this? Yeah, I've never seen this before. Forward. Forward. And it's like one of the best. I would say one of the best medieval first person games. I mean, obviously, Bannerlord's right up there too, but I don't know. This one, uh, Kingdom Come is, is really fun if you're looking for a good single player experience. Infantry! Uh, Mike Nike, thank you so much for joining, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate the, the support, man. Oh, they didn't even get to our... <laughs> they didn't even get to our companion. I was hoping he would get some action there, but he got destroyed. The Kingdom Con shorts. Hey, British. They helped so much. Nice. Yeah, I basically just cut up the, the guide that I did into smaller chunks and threw it out there, because I, I don't know much about shorts, so I figured I'd just try it out but um all right hired crossbow we can level up but i don't want to do that yeah i still want to keep them i want to keep the wage as low as we can we got legendary head wraps that sounds completely useless but we'll take it been watching your videos for a while gotta show some support i appreciate it man it really does it really does go a long way so 
the combat in Kingdom Come Deliverance weight is really wonky. So the the last challenge that I did, I did a, a one life hardcore all negative perks with no armor, and I had to try and do every single quest, and and, and I, I tried to max out all the stats. So I maxed out every single combat skill, and I can tell you without a doubt, it's it's one of the most the wonkiest combat systems I've I've ever played in a game. And I didn't think that way for a long time, but now that I did this challenge, I know for a fact it is. Like, people, if you fight an enemy, they'll teleport through each other to, like, lock your character up. It's so obnoxious, man. I hated it. But the, the combat itself is, is good for, like, the one-on-one -on -one type stuff. Alright, we still need somebody to do scouting, so we could pick up this guy. We've got money for it. Assuming he's not too much. Yeah, it's fine. We'll, we'll take him. And what are you good at? Bow? Um, we don't have a bow, but we can maybe buy a cheap one. Let's, uh, no, I don't really care if this guy's got a bow yet. You know, we can we can do it. Yeah, we just sell some of the trade goods. Let's go Ranger Bow. Throw him a couple arrows. And then he'll be good. So we need to assign this guy. There we go. Now we're not completely blind. That says, hey, Rubio Nubio, what's up, man? That says a lot for somebody well versed in Tail Worlds combat. Yeah, the thing with Tail Worlds with with Bannerlord is it's it's more of like how combat works in real life, right? If you swing your weapon, you can swing it in any direction you want in real life. In Kingdom Come, it's more like playing a mini game than it is a free flow combat. If that makes sense, it, it, like if you if you play like one of those indie games where they have mini games for stuff, that's that's exactly what combat's like. It's not free flowing. You can't just do whatever you want. You're locked in together. It's preordained what your attack is going to do. It's also it's like very scripted. So yeah, that's uh, you know for better or worse, it, it is it is what it is. But that's that's one thing that I noticed. But just the the world of Kingdom Come Deliverance is is well worth it though. Like all all the skills you can do, I love sneaking around. Stealing from people. All that stuff is so much fun. Alright, this guy wants prisoners. Let's definitely do that one. That's a really good quest to do. Wait, did we have... Oh, I, I think I... I got rid of them all. Whoops. Alright, we gotta be kind of careful here. We're starting to get a little bit... Um... We've got a very big overhead, and we don't have a whole lot of money and, and a good way to make money necessarily, so. Mess with us. All right, we'll definitely take these guys out. Uh, no, Hendrik, this is no, no RBM on this one. No, I think RBM would have been fun, but I think it would have taken too long. Oh, I forgot to take this guy's horse. Oops. Boom! Stand apart! Yeah, we gotta take the guy's horse off. Right. Yeah, we're not getting any any injuries on that. All right, no horse for you. We got no. That's not what I meant. Whoops. You best back. So the goal right now, we're just trying to get up to clan tier one so we can join. Um... Wait, to make sure we deliver it. Yeah, let's put this guy leading that group. This guy's going to be in his group by himself. Uh, yep, yeah, clan tier one so we can become mercenary. It'll be a lot easier to make money. So that's that's kind of the grind we're on right now. Hold fire! Fire! Loose for me, 
Station! Infantry! Make a shield! Infantry! Forward! Move! Forward! Forward! Move! Let's get our guy out there pretty far so he can at least have a chance to attack something. Alright, do your thing, man. And by that, I... I mean, don't get smacked in the head twice. <laughs> well, he didn't last too long. Hey, Tombi, uh... You, let's see, PayPal link. You know, I haven't done PayPal in a really long time. No, I, I don't have a link set up. I thought there was one on the Streamlabs thing, but I, I honestly don't know. Yeah, I know what you mean. No, don't, don't worry about it. Maybe uh, I'll, I'll get it set up by the... In the next, um... Yeah, Xander, yeah, I've got to burn the background. I'll, I'll get I'll get it set up so you don't have to deal with YouTube. I know, YouTube's... It's kind of crazy how much they take, but... That's the platform. I, I appreciate that, though, man. We need a lot of prisoners. We we need nine. Or we need ten. We need nine more. We, we need ten in total. See if we can get a brigands. Yeah, perfect. We can double dip. Uh, we need to sell some stuff. We're going to run out of money. Jeez, Louise. Okay, there we go. We're we're good. We've got we I guess we were just saving up money. Alright, let's uh let's try and find some bandits. Be a good one. Uh, I don't want to share with this, but let's just auto resolve. That'll give us at least um Yeah, so we only need we only need one more group. There we go. I, we may not be able to get them in time. They're going to get out of range. Mess no, they off. didn't. Oh, nice. All right, we can do it. Hey, Stoke Legacy finally caught you live. I appreciate you showing up. Yeah, I know it's a uh, holiday, so I figured Soldiers! maybe some people got nothing much to do after Archers! family goes away and whatnot. Move! Inf move! So I'll stream. I'll probably stream most of this weekend, too. Everyone, infantry! Speaking of which, I should probably try and conserve my voice a little bit. Last time I, I wrecked it pretty badly. Uh, you useless sack of poo. <laughs> Any day now, ladies. There we go. Alright, we got three injuries. That's pretty good. Alright, we'll take it. So we need five more. Yeah, some some of you is not the holiday. Exactly. Yeah, that's the other that's the other part. Alright, these guys are getting hand me down, so they're getting decent gear. And for this one, we are gonna go workshops, so we'll take sweatshop perk. Minus ten percent food consumption is just not it's just not good. Or not good enough, anyways. You're hooked to the solo clan will conquest. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm surprised how many people are enjoying that because I know it's it's a big grind. So, is it worth it to do these small quests? N well, so I didn't do any quests in the solo world conquest because you can't really pick up quests as a solo person. They say you need more units. Or they won't. They won't physically give it to you. It, it's kind of funny because it's like you can take over the whole world by yourself, but they think you don't have enough units to you know clear out a little bandit hideout or something stupid. So, yeah, most of the time I skipped it. Um, I'm doing quests now because I can't do any personal combat. We have no s combat skills whatsoever. So we have to rely on our troops, and it's a lot harder to do it. Let's drop these guys off. Because they are slowing us down by quite a bit. So we got five. Let's see if we can find another, maybe another brigands quest somewhere. Daughter found. I'm not doing that. Alright, we're just going to help him. Oh, nice. We actually got some kills out of that. We got three more. Actually, auto resolve is really good for getting prisoners. I feel like they, they do better. Uh, in one country, our holidays. So I know in the US, it's right now it's uh, Thanksgiving. 
basically it's just a holiday where you hang out with family and eat as much food as you want <laughs> which is in general for the u.s it's a pretty good holiday. it's a pretty good excuse right yeah i think you'd lose your cows heading to that exactly yeah they're they're crazy i don't want to do another escort merchant caravan actually we have more troops now we kind of have a critical mass it, it may not be that bad You know, let's just double check. No, we don't have anything upgrade wise here. So let's sell it all. We're getting a lot of grain. We'll keep it. All right. We do have nine food still and everything, but let's actually get up to three in each. Even if we're paying too much, I, I really want to make sure we're getting XP. That, so if you're going to do mostly commanding troops, this is one thing to keep in mind. You have very few ways to earn XP. Like, generally, you can get your character up to, like, level 25 in the first less than a year. You can do that if you're doing combat. So mounted archery, you get a ton of XP. But right now, we're barely level 6 because the only way we get XP is through leadership. When our troops get kills, same thing with tactics. We get a little bit of stewardship every day, medicine, if and when we lose troops, which isn't that often. Anything for charge. It's just, it's hard to get XP. For your main level when you're doing a, a build like this so we'll spend the money on that specifically because it's the only way we can really get meaningful xp uh what did you use to create the database a dark shadow i used it's it's a thing called notion so if you go to notion i think it's notion.so uh it's free anybody can use it it does, they doesn't doesn't charge anybody any anything for personal use um, it's kind of complicated to learn, but once you get the hang of it, it's really, really useful. I highly recommend using Notion. I use it for everything, man. I have my, my planner on there. I track business stuff like, uh, to-do lists, expenses, income, etc. All that stuff gets tracked on there. So you can do a lot of stuff with Notion. And then obviously for YouTube, tracking what I'm doing on, on each video, as well as, you know, databases. So highly recommend Notion. We're not selling the prisoners because we need it for a quest. Don't forget watching whatever sport your family's into. Yeah, my family's really heavy into to sports, uh, basketball, football. I, I got into playing sports, but I really never got into watching them for some reason. So I, I never, if I can avoid it, I, I avoid watching sports. All right, we got three more for you. We need two more, though. So we're still short. Hey, Taylor, thank you so much. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for the $5 donation, man. I really appreciate that. Thanks for all the great guides. Well, I'm glad they're useful. Uh, what version of Bandlord? This is like 1.2.4. It's not the hotfix one from today. E-Boy of Sweden. It's it's the, the old one. Not old. I mean, it's what? Two, three weeks old? Something like that. All right. Would love to find a group of anything at this point. We just need to turn this quest in. I'm going to auto-resolve this. Oh, yeah, we have to because these guys are jumping in anyways. All right, they're all dead. Unfortunately, we didn't get anything. All right, we just need two troops. You best back off. Archers, move! Start the foot move! Alright, they don't have any cap here, so this is good. Let's actually get our guy. Yeah, we'll just leave him out front. He can stay there and block. Oh man, the firing squad. Alright, get in there. You're gonna you're not gonna get any chance to get a kill here. If you don't go now. No, it's too late. <laughs> no kill. Alright, we got three. Nice. That's exactly what we needed. Well, one more than we needed, but that's fine. Your family watches Formula One. That seems like a fun sport to watch, actually. I would probably watch that. I don't know that I would sit there and watch it the whole day, but I, I generally, I'll watch highlights and stuff, but, you know, sit down and watch the, a whole anything, I generally don't like to do. Even, like, I'm really heavily into to MMA and uh, to a lesser degree boxing, but I won't sit there and, and pay for a whole thing and, and watch, you know, four-hour or five-hour thing. I just don't have time between the kids and, and running the businesses and channels and stuff. It's just, it's just too much. 
Right, let's get this going. Archers are satisfying, yeah. A uh, question involving finishing a kingdom off. Taking the South Empire. Uh, how long does it take to conquer this, the whole map? So most of my world conquests are between the 50 and 60 hour range. If I were to speed run it and use exploits and all that stuff, you could probably get it done in like maybe 25 to 30 hours, I think. Maybe you can do a little... little I, there's some strategies you can use that's even faster, I'm sure. I've, I've seen some people do it in like 10 hours or something, but yeah. I haven't been able to get that to work personally. Alright, this guy needs to get taken down. Oh, he hit the tree. Shoot him. Useless. Alright, we need to get involved because... These ladies can't hit anything if it's not on the ground and, and not moving. Totally useless. Nice. We slowed him down enough and our guy got the block off. Alright, he got hit a couple times there. Oh, nice. I'm kind of surprised they got that. Let's go turn this in before I forget. It's been a that's not what I meant. And that only gave us 415. That was bad. And we lost our merciful trait. Don't care. Definitely don't care about that. <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, Arch Nebula, I think I missed the the question there um nobles join the northern empire oh so yeah that's that's a tough one so generally if clans are you know taken out of a kingdom, they will try and find another one to join. And if they're, ooh, what is going on? If if they're making money, uh, if they can make money by joining another kingdom, they will do it. Or if that kingdom is short on nobles, they'll they'll do it. So, yeah, it's it's kind of tough. It's kind of tough to eliminate them all the way. You could start executing, but then everybody on the map's gonna hate you. So you just kind of have to bite bite down and do it i would say if you're if you're ever fighting and this is a good piece of advice for anybody like if you're trying to start your own kingdom or whatever play defensive in the very especially the beginning of a war always play defensive take those defensive sieges as much as you can because you can really milk it we're gonna that's what we're gonna be doing a lot in this one actually this campaign is going to be a good uh blueprint for how to how to do like a normal campaign so when we start fighting, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be probably uh, pretty useful. So, uh, yeah, not allowed to fight ourselves. Correct. Yeah, this is the build we're going for. We're going heavy into social and intelligence, and maybe a little bit into cunning, because we'll, we'll we'll probably have more levels than we have places to put the points into. So. Uh, it says Mountain Blade Warband under the video. That's weird. Let me switch that. Yeah, that should not be. Did I type the wrong one? Uh, does it not let me? No, there it goes. Oh, is it doesn't even have a game. I think YouTube tried to identify it and it didn't even... It couldn't do it. All right, here we go. Thank you for letting me know. Yeah, it's it's fixed now. It'll say Banner Lord. All right, there we go. What else? Who's your favorite fighter? All right, in SoCal. Hey, how you doing, by the way? Um... Damn, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Yeah, there's there's a lot of, I, I yeah there's there's a lot of people that I really enjoy watching. Uh, I, I I would say styles that I like. Justin Gaethje styles fun to watch. Dustin Poirier really like their styles. M you know McGregor his styles fun to watch. 
So that that type, you know, the ground game's fun. I don't understand it as much because I did mostly Muay Thai personally, so I don't understand the ground game as much. So I can't appreciate it in the same way, but. All right, we're good on food. We don't need to go too crazy. Let's just make sure we have some. Uh, yeah, we're going to become a vassal right away. Yeah, as soon as we can. Hey, random person. Uh, traits desirable. You know, the thing about traits is it's not really well implemented in the game. If you have certain traits... Where are we? Yeah, if you have certain traits that match what the person you want to communicate with match, then that's good. Uh, outside of that, it really doesn't do anything. So, like, if you're trying to marry somebody and they have honest and you don't have honest, it might be a little bit harder, but really it's... it. In my experience, it doesn't make that big of a difference. So yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about traits at all. Uh e boy, since I'm here, every single video, Banner Lord. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, it's it, it's good to see that people notice that. I do put a lot of effort in, and there's a lot of channels out there on on uh on YouTube that cover gaming that just kind of they're they're pretty lazy. They just throw stuff up and no testing there's no rigor to their work they just kind of go and um not not that it's wrong but it is it is nice that people nice. notice the difference so i appreciate it all right we will do this one this is a good fight for us and we'll take the fight in the town so we can get the what do you call it the militia to help us so it'll, it'll make it a little bit easier Uh, yeah, we'll be a, we'll be a mercenary at tier one, hundred percent. We, we want to make money. It's really hard to make money otherwise. So let's get everybody up the hill. We have to deal with these. archers, move! All right, this is actually going to be tough. We may not be able to get there in time. Yeah, we're, I, I really don't want to get into melee range with these guys. And our allies are just going to get completely smashed right now, I think. Oh, no, they're not. They're doing okay. All right, can we take out the cab, maybe? No? Uh, I'm just going to give them the... I'm going to do the old Sunza, because I don't... Looks like we're winning, but... Our guys are just kind of being weird. All right, let's slow... I'm gonna try and body block for our troops. Oh, he just, we got juked hard. Oh, wait. Oh, no. <laughs> no, our guy died. That's so funny. Wow. Yeah, he got destroyed. Right, we're losing a few people. We got a lot of kills here, though. This is good. Yeah, we lost we lost our, our companion. He died. Man, what the heck? I mean we didn't spend much money on him, but it's kind of funny. Uh, we'll definitely take all the loot and we wanna we wanna strip this guy because he's dead now. You can't use it. You're not getting buried with it either. Yeah, we're gonna sell all your stuff off. It would bury you naked in the in the countryside. Later, nerd. Well, that sucks. Now, <clears throat> for this one, you can take the money, you can take half the money and get more charm, or you can take no money and take a bunch of charm and relations gain. So, I think where we're at, let's just take the money. Yeah. We still get some relations gain, I believe. Yeah, we still get charm in, in a little bit, but... It's not that big of a deal. I think we need the money. Buying GF. Long time lurker tuning in. I appreciate it. Thanks for showing up to the live stream. Yeah, and for the kind words. I appreciate it. He probably didn't even get buried. Yeah, we'll let the let the birds feed off him. <laughs> Dimitri the lover doesn't care about men. Uh, followers. Yep, so we can replace some of our losses. Perfect. We, that means we do need a few more mounts. Not for 
27. No way. Not definitely not that. Actually, we we don't need too many. Oh uh, yeah, we, 37. We got some pretty good armor actually. Not looking too shabby. Who's the actual deserved emperor? I mean. Pro yeah, that's a tough one. Probably Regea. Probably Regea. I mean, Lucan and Garios are kind of. But then, but then women weren't supposed to be back then. I don't know, man. It's, it's a tough one. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if if you go off a of hereditary, you know, keep it in the family, Regea makes the most sense, but between Lucon and Garios, I would probably say Garios, you know, military over finances, although I don't know. Sometimes though they can go hand in hand. Let's sell all this stuff. Yeah, we should be making pretty good money here. And we're still good on all the stuff that we got. Oh, we got a she wolf here. You know, I the only reason I took this is so annoying. Uh, the only reason I took that companion was because we were going to use him to to lead a party, but we don't really need it. I, we definitely don't want to lose the scout though. The scout's going to be pretty important. Uh, how do you deal with negative comments? Uh, Sutter John, I usually either ignore them or I give them like a, some kind of sarcastic comment back. Yeah, I, I generally don't care too much. So in my experience, I care about people's comments if they are accurate and I know I messed something up. Like if somebody just is being an asshole, let them be an asshole. I don't care, right? People, it's just life. That's how people are. They're trying to get a reaction out of you. But if, if somebody move, says something move, that's like everyone. legit, and I know, okay, move. yeah, I did actually mess that up. Um, then it's kind of like, yeah, it's a little bit more painful, but it's more because I know I could have done better. It's like a self-reflection kind of thing. You know what I mean? So, yeah, but comments wise, just let people say what they're going to say. Who cares? All right, we're good there. Ira, yeah, I think Ira would be would be pretty good. We're, we're probably going to try and track down Ira and, and make her our wife if she's not married yet. I think that would make the most sense. Because if we can't marry Regea, then the next best thing is to become, you know, she could be our mama. <laughs> she be our mother-in-law. That's kind of funny. Put the scout on the horse. Yeah, well, I mean, it's if he dies, he dies. It's, it's not that big of a deal. The scouting for this campaign is really not that, not that important. It's more of a convenience thing. All right, ladies, come on, start shooting. All right, we're just gonna try and breeze through this. All right, how far are we? We're actually right there, so we can we can definitely join Regea very soon. A lot slower than I'm used to, but you know, like I said, we're kind of doing a normal campaign here. So Regea is at war with Western Empire, Empire still, so we just need to take another maybe one or two fights, and then we can join. I think for these small ones, let's just auto resolve them. Yeah. Hopefully, we don't lose people. Oh, we got an injury, which is fine. That'll help us. <laughs> yeah, we need to get medicine up to 75 as soon as we can, because that's going to help us uh, raise our XP very, very fast. Uh, what ideas do you have for future campaigns? Cobus, I, I kind of blew through most of my Bannerlord ideas. I, I, I'm sure I still have some in my Notion database I can look up uh, for some interesting ideas. Like I was going to do a peasant only world conquest, something like that. I know I still have in the back of my in my head to do. Something like that. But yeah, I, I, I've i got other games that I've got really interesting campaign ideas that I want to really, that I'm really interested in doing. So I, uh, I'll probably just do some basic Bannerlord campaigns. And the next one, maybe I'll do like a story based one for Bannerlord rather than like a, a full on challenge. So we'll see. All right, we can buy some more Midlands Palfrey. Let's get this. 
up to so that everybody's writing. Yeah, so 36. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to filter these out because I, I want all of the same. It's so hard to, to do the little mental math and see if you have enough mounts to cover everybody. And actually, when, when stuff's cheap, let's actually buy up to maybe five or six. And if it's expensive, we'll just find it somewhere else. There we go. Yeah, our Stuart XP is going to really skyrocket here. Have you done Bandit Only Run? I did, but it was modded, and it wasn't like a legit challenge. Uh, Bandit Only would be pretty doable um i don't think it'll be that challenging actually but yeah it that could be another one uh, one thing i know uh i saw another channel did this a, a while back i i had thought about doing it a long time ago and i just never never really materialized but doing a oh, companion only like a family kind of uh run i think something like that would be pretty fun He's going to get gobbled up. Yeah, let's just go over here. All right, wages are still somewhat high, so we do have to be kind of cautious. This is why I don't want to... I didn't want to upgrade any of our troops. I, I think I saw a question earlier why you're not upgrading. Um, they're really expensive. And when you're not making good money, it's pretty hard to you're you're kind of forced into a certain play style. You have to fight all the time to to be able to afford them. Otherwise, you're just gonna you're gonna be broke. We're gonna lose somebody on this one. Oh no, we didn't actually. Interesting. All right, we're right there. Yeah, we're forty nine point something. So we we just need to sneeze on somebody and we'll get half a, a renown and we'll we'll be able to join Regam. Yeah, like I was saying, uh, this is uh, definitely not min-maxing this campaign. This is more just kind of a chill. Uh, the if you to min-max something like this, if you're doing it a little bit more straightforward, I, I would probably go horse archers and just go around taking easy fights, and then you can really stack up the XP quickly. Wait, that still wasn't enough, was it? All right, we gotta fight one more. We got another level. Let's start putting it into leadership. So we have Stuart, Medicine, Charm. Now we'll do leadership. And then we'll probably max out trade after that. Oh, we're still not losing people on these. This is interesting. Yeah, we got we got clan tier one. Alright, let's go join. We just need to find anybody in the Empire and then we can join. Yeah, I'm definitely not paying to get into the keep. We need a, a Genghis Khan playthrough. That would be pretty fun. Hey Hugh. Good to see you again, man. Yeah, that would that would be pretty fun. Okay, so I'm assuming all their nobles are somewhere up here for the war. That's my guess. So let's head up there, see if we can find somebody. <laughs> Rag and Bab wants us to join. Nope. Our heart has been stolen already. All right, let's go down here. Hey, Kopas, thank you so much for the donation, man. There's 360 Hello Simp Gaming Guides. <laughs> it's a... Uh... It's not a name I'm proud of, but, uh, you know, you got to do what you got to do. All right, here we go. We caught him right as he came out. So 120, that's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. We'll take it. And right away, we we're at war with these guys, so that's not, we got to be careful of that. He's pretty fast, too. 
I think it'd be fun to do a one culture per troop type, like archers or only Batania. That's an interesting idea. Yeah. You could you could really min-max that. Just take the best from each culture and then and then kind of mash them together. Yeah, usually I'll 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 get a kind of a critical mass of being champions and then you fill in the rest with whatever, you know. It doesn't really matter whatever their unit you use, you just need bodies to block at that point. But uh, I usually get like Empire Cavalry, they're they're pretty yeah. durable, so I usually like to use them. Yeah, Batania Cavalry is terrible. Simping to Brigade is the strat, yeah. Oh, we lost somebody. Alright, we need to get rid of our prisoners because we're getting a little overburdened. We can definitely take some quests as well. <laughs> I, I don't really want to hire too many people. Let's not do that. I, I really want to save money. Let's get a decent amount of money saved up in the bank. Uh, having, you know, two, three grand at a time is, is not what I'm used to. It's not very comfortable. The idea of using the worst of all cultures? Yeah, that's that's an interesting idea. So the war's down here. I don't think we can really do much there, though. We don't have a big enough army. But one thing we could do is we could join an army. We, we, we need to keep picking off these small groups as we can. Just so we can afford our troops, because we're going to get a little bit of influence each time. It, it all is going to add up. Alright, this guy, our scout, did get another level. Let's go Forest Kin. Yep, that'll give us a little bit of a movement. Uh, it'll avoid some debuff when we're in the... See if it's giving it to us. It is not, even though we have no cav. All right, well, terrible is math. All right, lost another one. Oh, no, that was an injury. All right, let's take these. Playing like an NPC party. Yep, that's pretty much what it is. I mean, we're going to do... We're going to be a lot more active than an NPC. Oh, there's a big fight here. Now, what I want to try and do... They're going to get destroyed here if we don't step in to help. So let's try and distract them. If they if they all group up, this this group's gone. So we have to try and figure something out. And it's also giving our, our scout some XP, so that helps. See they're they're kinda jittering back and forth. It, oh, they lost their Yeah. They lost their mercenary. There's only twenty four people in there. What are you waiting for? They're waiting for the siege camp to finish. Uh, no, it doesn't make sense for us to get in there. Auto resolve is going to completely trash our units. So we'll let them go. They're going to bypass. Oh, crap, 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 crap. It's because that is so stupid. That is so stupid. We weren't even in a battle. The Ravens are hungry and I would not keep them waiting. That is so dumb. We we got the debuff. We got the stupid debuff because we were um we we technically joined a battle but we weren't actually in the battle. But then it still gave us the the movement speed debuff so we can't get away. That is ridiculous, man. All right, we're going to have to sacrifice troops to get away. It's like almost our entire party. Man, this is so dumb. And we lose all of, Yeah, dude. We're that set us back so much. Holy crap, we just lost a lot. 
that was extremely expensive. But on the bright side, we helped them take a castle. They they would have gotten destroyed if it wasn't for our help. So it's all for Regea. This is part of the simp. You just got to do what you got to do. Oh, that's an interesting party. Can we take them out? Yeah, they're they're the the actual hidden hand troops. Oh crap! Now we're gonna we're gonna get caught. We'll have the the movement speed debuff as soon as that battle ends, and then we're gonna get stuck. Are you satisfied with the, the way the game turned out? Yeah, I would say Bookman. I mean, it's not perfect, but you know what game is. So I I think it's it's got enough there to to keep you playing and having fun for me, anyways. All right, we're gonna have to spend money to recruit again. God, that was so stupid. I hate when that happens. I didn't know, because I, I, I knew we weren't going to actually fight it. I just wanted to get them started in the battle, and then we could back out. But unfortunately, it just didn't work out that way. They stayed the whole time. Or uh, we It actually did give us the, the debuff, even though we didn't stay the whole time, is what I meant. Let's sell some stuff so we can make some of that money back. We probably have hurting penalty. No, we don't. 31. Alright, we need to... Okay, can we fight this guy? Without that big group joining in? No, I don't even want to go near there. We're... It's just going to be all bad news. Alright, we need to make money. Yeah, I need to focus on doing that. Train right. the troops, we'll take it. Yeah, we'll take train the troops. That's worth a lot of money. Yeah, we'll probably go after Ira, George. We'll probably go after Ira. <laughs> Why'd you sneak away? Yeah. Everyone, move! Yeah, it's like like the Galadriel campaign. All right, what happened to our borrowed troops? Oh, we don't have a. There we go. That's why. Right, we do have to be careful here. They have more troops than we have on our borrowed, so we need to make sure at least some of these guys split off. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, it's going to be a, a 5v2 and then a 5v1. This is perfect. We'll, we'll be able to turn that quest in in, in one, uh, one fight, I think. Let's put our archers on hold fire real quick. Alright, don't let him out. Don't let him out. Beautiful. Yep, we got it. All in one. Perfect. So let's go ahead and upgrade and turn them in. How much? 2436. Beautiful. So now we're back up to 5k. That should help quite a bit. Deliver the herd to Epicrodia. Is that a good idea right now? It's up there. Mm, yeah, we could, but it's probably not going to pay it that much. So I don't know if it's really worth it. How That's many animals? Good. 10. Yeah, we can do it. That's fine. And we need to find we need to find some more troops too. Now we're getting killed here. All right, so they, yeah, they took that castle. They're going to lose this castle down here, though. Onika, that one's for sure gone. Yeah, this one's locked into the, the pike tree, which is not great, so... It's because you stayed some time for a bit in the siege preparation. That that could be it. Yeah, maybe if it, maybe it didn't really matter. Maybe it didn't matter if we started the battle or or got to that that starting screen. Okay, well we yeah I don't want those troops, so let's try and find something else. 
Yeah, I would love to take fights like this. Not against Sin Cab, though. That's not going to work. So we'll take little fights on the way to the next town. Let's just keep picking people off. Oh, wow. That hurt. We lost three people there. And we got to be careful. That, that guy will gobble us up really quick. Wait, didn't we just take a quest? Why am I going this way? Yeah, let's not do help with brigands. Let's just check for troops here, and then we need to we need to get a move on to the, the destination. Man, hired pikes again. No, I don't want it. I don't want that. Now we can't sell the cows. Or we'll get hit pretty hard. Oh, did we we lost a lot of our food? Yeah, we need to we need to get our food groups figured out here. This is getting a little lazy with that. But I'm thinking maybe let's go up to 10 each. Yeah, we need to find the rest. Well, yeah, we're short too. That's actually really bad. Like I said, we it's the only way we're getting XP right now, so we have to keep that up. So let's head up to Epicrodia. Probably Seniopa next. Team Bandits, they've got only one cab. We can take that fight. You best back That'll give us a decent amount of, of renown. Uh, now what I'm going to do, they like to, the cab likes to circle off to the left. So let's actually set up a nice little ambush for him. Move! Start the port! And we'll go nice wide so that we don't accidentally get hit by one of his stray javelins. Yeah, he's going to try and circle off to the left and it's all rocks. So we, that should help. We don't want him getting out. <laughs> He just launched that into the wall, like, out of frustration. And somebody needs to kill this guy, come on. No, I guess not. Alright, I think we need to help with the front then, if they're not going to do their job with the back. Let's distract the javelin thrower at least. Oh, nice. Got him. Alright, well, we definitely didn't hire her for her melee skills, that's for sure. Slow him down so he doesn't get char good charge damage, at least. Oh, I missed. Oh, she blocked. I'm kind of surprised she blocked that. Our guy's getting some pretty good XP. And we got four influence. That's worth, what, 400 and something? So that's a couple days of wages. Yeah, that's really good. These little fights, kind of annoying, but we have to do them. They're going to help out a lot. Yeah, they're pretty accurate uh, at close range anyways. I mean, they're crossbows, so I guess it's not too surprising. Right, we're not taking mercenary macemen. And let's check out the food situation here. All right, we need grapes. We don't have beer. Uh, date fruit, that's the one we don't have a lot of. So, but we have, we're back up to nine at least. Hey, Mark J. How about a shield on your back? Yeah, the, the problem is they don't let you take two shields in. So you're like, if I try and put a second shield on, it doesn't let you. 
you have to if you want two shields you have to pick one up in battle so that's actually a good idea yeah i'll try and remember next time i'm in battle if we come across a shield on the floor that would be the way to do it just pick one up off the floor all right epic rodeo let's turn this quest in Yes. Oh, 1800. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad at all. We're not doing escort merchant caravan. Not especially not now that we're we've joined somebody. 170 scouting. Wow. I think we're at 75 or we're at 85. So he's not terrible. He's got three one thing to keep in mind, he's got three cunning. He's at level 14, so he'll get Four cunning at level 16. And by the time he's 16, he'll have four points into scouting. It's not terrible. I wish there was a way to see. Well, I know I can do it if I use the mod, but let's not do it. You, if you go, like, you can't see what his stat distri distribution is. If, if you have the um, character reloader, you can actually do it. Just go into edit hero and you can see what it is, but it's fine. Is charge yeah charge damage is definitely allowed 100 percent but we're not going to be able to put a whole lot of points into writing because it's really hard to level up without combat skills so it's probably not worth to do too much of that elite hired crossbows i don't want to buy the expensive ones but we're sh we're really struggling to find troops so let's pay for them We need to go find more quests. Let's see what this guy has. It's probably turning in um, prisoners. Yeah, they need manual labors. We'll take it. Let's see if we can find prisoners. Halt there. Right. He, are you out of your mind, dude? So what happened there is this guy was not an enemy. And then within a split second, he turned into an enemy because he joined that he joined the enemy side, and now we got captured by him because of that. That is such BS, dude. That is BS. It's bad luck, is is really what it is. We have to we have to sacrifice another 12 to get out. Ah damn, man. I really, really hate that. And now we're hurting penalty is massive. That is such bad luck. Really, really bad luck. And there's there's literally nothing I could have done about it. Like, he, they changed their allegiance literally as I got right on top of them. So, how about no fiefs conquest? All fiefs go to vassals? Uh, interesting. Yeah, you could do that. That actually wouldn't be too bad. The biggest downside there is you wouldn't get any of your... Um, you wouldn't get your influence, and so it'd be a little harder to control votes, but yeah. Yeah, the timing on that is, is crazy. I don't know if the AI does that because that's just how the AI is, or we just got unlucky. We're not buying caravan guards. Oh, man. We're going to have to dump troops. Yeah, we're they're faster. We have to. Not troops, we have to dump our mounts. I really don't want to get rid of mounts, though. It's just throwing money away. So, 4.7, we're still fast enough. Let's go to Pen Canuck. Alright, sweet. Why are these guys so far up here, man? There's nothing up here for you. Go, go, to, go do your war. <laughs> go do your war, man. Leave me alone. Oh, the AI... They'll just come out of nowhere and start chasing you. All right, Sword Sisters, veterans. I mean, I I don't know what else we can do. We're just losing troops left and right. We have to do it. Simp and eight easy. Yeah, that's true. Damn, dude, that's so annoying. That's really annoying. All right, date fruit. We need to get the date fruit going. Let's only do five though. We need to conserve our money because we're gonna blow through this pretty fast. I think. Now, this one, for sure, we're going with the troop wages when you're in a party. That's definitely the way to go here. Eight, 
it's it's pretty hard in the early game when you're using mercenary troops because they're so expensive it's hard to get enough money like you need money to make money but then if you don't have money then how do you get it right so it's it's kind of one of those things it's gonna auto resolve this yeah whatever Uh, do you know if the trait to be blunt applies to two-handed axes and maces as well as one hand or not? To be blunt. I'm not sure which one that is. Is that the one that gives you plus blunt damage? I think it's two-handed. Um, I, I'm not positive on that. Yeah, I, I'm trying to remember which one that was in. Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Uh, no, no, no. It's it's going to be only one-handed. Yeah, it, for sure it's not going to work for, for two-handed. I mean, you never know, but I would, I'm would i pretty confident that it's not. I haven't specifically tested it, but I, I would feel pretty confident saying that it does not work for, for two-handed. Yeah, we're why are we going into the enemy territory? I have no idea. That's not a good idea. What I think what we'll do is let's go to Vlandian territory and let's just let's just farm up. We need to spend some time away from the enemy nobles because we can't compete with them yet. We just need to. I, I don't care what what they're doing. As soon as we join them as a, a vassal, then we can start getting involved in that. But for now, we just need to survive. There's there's not really much else we can do here. Uh, we can do quests out here. Let's see. Oh, Sargo. Wow, interesting. Batania took Sargo. That's pretty interesting. The same way bow reload doesn't work for crossbow reload. Yeah, probably. It, it Also, I think they fixed that one. I think they fixed it. Uh, shield bash kick only solo conquest. You can't... You cannot shield bash or kick a horse. <laughs> um, so that that probably wouldn't work. Unless everybody you fight is dismounted. But yeah, that would be brutal. That would be absolutely brutal. All right, let's see if we can pick up... It's probably brigands. Yeah, perfect. So we'll double dip here. And I clicked the wrong one. Mess with us. And again, I'm just going to try and speed through some of the grindy stuff. So that's done. Let's see what else. I'll try and hang on to some of the, these prisoners in case we get one of those... Um, all right, Brigand's quest. In case we get one of those quests at the... like a mine. Where you gotta turn in the, the landowner needs manual laborers. Alright, what quest you got here? In and out. Not gonna do that one. Oh, was that Durthurt? I think I saw I think I saw Durthurt over here. We gotta give it, give him. <laughs> we gotta go harass him a little bit soon. Uh, Danner Morris, thank you so much for the nine ninety nine donation. I appreciate that, man. Love your videos. Keep up the great work. I appreciate it, man. Thanks for showing up to the stream. Hope uh, everybody's having a good holiday or soon to be weekend. Regea took the fee for herself with a split council. Well, she's greedy. What can you say? All right, are there no bandits? Did we kill the only two bandits in the area? Yeah, there's there's literally no bandits here. All right, let's try and find something else. I don't mind a carav caravan ambush. That's a... Don't have enough troops. All right, what, can we hire? We cannot hire those because those are not good ones. Oh, 
man. We we gotta find good troops, but the problem is it's gonna take a long time to fight. Yeah, look at that. And then uh, it's too far. We can't fight him because it's too far away from the objective. Man. All right. Well. Oh, nice. It just popped back in last second. All right, let's fight this one in person. I don't want to resolve that one. There's not really much we can do here to affect the battle. We just kind of fight it. Let's, uh, let's delay these, the front line. I think that'll help a little bit. Uh, the mine quest, I thought we'd turn that one in, but maybe, no, maybe you're right. Yeah, maybe you're right. We can go back there and turn it in. The, the problem is we're, our movement speed is going to be really slow, so it's going to be kind of a tough one. All right, this guy's out of javelin, so I just let them do the thing now. We'll focus on the horse, make sure he doesn't get an easy charge. Oh, come on. Easy target. Somebody hit him. I don't want to lose my shield. We need a little bit. Actually, no, we don't need it anymore. <laughs> oh, he's in the water. He's in the water. Take him out. Oh, man. They hit very, very weakly, unfortunately. There we go. Nice shot. That was our... This, uh, this companion is actually doing pretty good. Every fight, he's getting kills. Yeah, we can charge people. We just don't do enough damage, and we to get good charge damage, you need a high um, writing skill. So that's it's not going to be a good long term strategy. But you know, for a little bit, little bit ticky tack shots here and there, you know, that'll add up. Uh, speaking of which, yeah, manual labors six days. I don't know if we can get back there in time. We still need three more troops. Let's try and finish this one, and we can head back there and turn it in. I guess the last one we did only gave us four hundred. Dinars, so it wasn't really worth it necessarily. Oh, come on, catch him. No, he's out of range again. Crap, dude. You best back off. Alright, is this we can maybe catch this? We need to rally. We um try and push him in back this way. Nice, we got it. Uh, these guys might actually outrange us, so we got to be careful here. Yeah, that archer definitely outranges. us. Well, let's let's move up. We'll send the auto. We'll send them in as an attack order, so they can get closer, and then we'll try and distract. The problem is they have a pretty high likelihood of hitting our legs, and I don't really want to go down here. But we'll at least distract a little bit so that they're not completely destroying our our ladies. Your brother was able to marry. Yeah, so you can marry any of your family members off. The the problem is you lose control of that character because they they go to your the the king's clan. So you you gain a, a big amount of relations, so it helps with that, but it doesn't really help with anything else, unfortunately. And you, yeah, you lose one of your, you lose one of your companions. Any day now. There we go. All right, we lost one of our sisterhood followers. But we still, yeah, we still don't have enough. Maybe we can head back. I, you know, it's it's not really worth it though. It's not really worth it to go back that way. I, I'd rather just stay here. We'll pass up on it. 
We'll see if we can find the same quest here. I'm not doing deliver the herd to Carbenseth. Let's um we need to find some units. We need to go find some more. Hey chicken, welcome back. Dim Dimitri up there thinking of the hero taking all the shots. Yeah, seriously. The the cringe master. Now we're probably not going to be recruiting anybody. Uh, any prisoners, so I'm not too worried about that. Normally it's really good to do, and I generally recommend Stout Defender. Most of our battles are probably going to be offense, so let's just take this one. We'll get a little bit of morale, but again, I don't think it really matters. Alright, in and out, we don't want to do... Yeah, it's just caravan guards. That's all we're getting. Isn't she? Um, there's there's a a me the old meme, the grumpy cat meme. This lady kind of reminds me of that. Like the the head's slightly tilted, and she just looks grumpy. <laughs> yeah, we're still simping. We're gonna be simping for a long time. So I think we'll pass here. Let's just get rid of the prisoners. They're really slowing us down. And then, food-wise, we're good. We still have a we still have a big hurting penalty. We need to get rid of that. Let's let's hire some people. Our we're, we got plenty of money. We just need to find. We just need to find pe people that we can actually use. We'll take a hired spear. I don't think they're good, but we'll take them. It makes sense to get some decent companions for the front line just to sacrifice. If he's not too expensive, 500, we'll take him. We'll just throw him as a meat shield in the front line. Alright, he doesn't get anything else. We'll buy him a shield, so at least he's not a sitting duck. No, we don't have troops for that. Yeah, let's let's keep trying to find troops. We need to we need to hire some draft animals. That's not gonna work. All right, so they're giving stuff away. Gallant sword sisters. We don't want that. That's like the worst one. They're tier five with with light crossbows. It's so bad. All right, so that quest timed out. It's fine. Here we go. We get another 10. So now we can start building this back up. That looks good. Do we give Regea her daily foot massage? We haven't met her yet, actually. She's... The one time that we went by her, she was in a siege and we couldn't say hi to her. <laughs> yeah. Uh, does it still treat them as dead? So Mike Knight, I think that it still does. I don't think that was fixed yet. Yeah, when you kick them out, it says they're lost. And they're, they're just like flat out dead. It's kind of funny. Hey, Mad X. Haven't posted for a while. I've been I've been editing. Mostly been posting on the Let's Play channel because that's I'm trying to get ready. Um, yeah, the, the, the new format the, or the way I'm trying to work on the channel is... It's going to kind of come in bursts, like I'll probably put out three or four videos in a week and then I won't post anything for maybe two or three weeks. It's going to have to be that way because in order for me to, to get the videos out that I need to get out, it's just kind of how it is. But um, the volume should, if you if you look at it over the course of like a two month period, the volume should be about the same. It's just going to come more in spurts. So we're not really finding too many troops out here. I mean, we did find some some of the Sword Sisters, but let's let's maybe move back towards our our home area a little bit. And again, I think we're good on this stuff. Horses were okay on. 
Yeah, we just we just need to find we just need to make money. I mean, there's nothing else to it. All right, let's go to Sedan. Yeah, mer mercenary only would be pretty hard to do a full campaign on just because how hard it is to find good mercenary troops. But, you know, for the first stage of the game, I don't mind it. It, it slows the pace down a little so you can kind of see a, a few different things rather than just speed running the whole thing. Uh, we got our seventh point into social. Uh, let's keep going leadership. Let's keep, yeah, I think we keep doing that. Is World Conquest easier on Warband? I I haven't played Warband yet, so I'm not sure. Have you considered hiring an editor to lighten your load yet? So Mike Nike, I actually, uh, my wife helps me now. I've been training her for the last few months. That helps a lot. Although it's tough because, you know, between, you know, her and I both watching the kids is kind of tough. Uh, and then I have one more person that should start helping me in the next maybe two three weeks something like that so yeah i would say early next year will be a lot better i think as far as like content output i, I think I'll, I'll have a better time uh let's take this guy as well it seems like the archers are doing pretty well for us so let's get this guy back there with a bow and arrow Oh, his throwing's really good, but I, I don't really want him. Well, you know, we could put him in the front line. Yeah, I guess he's a front liner for now. How does your wife feel about this simping? Uh, she didn't know about this campaign. <laughs> yeah, this this one will keep this one under wraps. No, she wouldn't care. All right, we need to do something. We're going to blow through our money again pretty quickly. Another thing we could do is we could join some people. Okay, well, not anymore, I guess. I was going to say we could join some armies and just do that, but that's usually a good way to, to lose your, your whole army. Because the, the way the AI is, they just always get wrecked. All right, which quest do you want me to do so you can get rid of this stupid point? All right, there we go. We could do an escort. Sword sister. All right, we got a few more sword sisters. That's fine. Now we do need to pick up a few more horses. No, we're not going to have enough still, but that's all right. We're, we're, we're gonna get some work done at least. We'll, the nice thing about this is when we fight those big parties of uh, cavalry, they do give quite a bit of influence, so we'll, we'll make money. The quest itself, like the 300 and whatever per day is, is peanuts compared to what we'll make for the influence. So that's really the main reason to do this. How long are you going, Wally? We'll probably go, let's see, what time is it? Eight, it's almost nine. I'll probably go another two, three hours, something like that. And then the long streams will start tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to do really long streams. Uh, probably another 12 hours. I'll try and do 12 hours a day for three days, maybe, in a row. And then we'll see how that turns out. Alright, there's not much we can do to, to really interject here other than... Positioning our troops well, so we position them here because they're gonna want to. The enemy's gonna want to rotate around these guys, the archers. So when they when they come through, they're coming through here. And we get easy shots. If we move these guys up to match our allies, then they're just gonna circle around. It's not gonna be the same. So we'll leave them back like that. Can't stand joining an army. I know it's it's rough. Trying to level up stuff that'll impress Regea. Not really, not really. So the what we'll end up doing is is helping her in combat. We'll help her with, you know, maintaining or expanding the empire. Really, our job, 
thing. Because the AI does a half decent job at sieging enemy thieves down, but they do a horrible job at defending. So most of our job is going to be defending, right? We're going to help keep whatever the AI takes. That's going to be our main focus this campaign. So, but I think it's going to be useful for a lot of people because they get stuck in that part like, okay, I got a thief and then I lost it two days later. So this campaign is all about, that's exactly what we're going to be trying to avoid here. So hopefully, hopefully it's helpful. Now we lost only one person to injury. No big deal. We're getting really good XP off of this for sure. Yeah, this is going to be a good battle for us. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. I I was editing the, the video where I got stuck on the horse and died in my solo. So it's nice to see the AI doing the same thing. I don't feel as, as big of an idiot. Uh, let's go ahead and give a charge command to our two melee troops. I don't... There's probably hardly anything left anyways, but... Alright. Uh, and it's over. Alright, we didn't lose anybody. That's all I really care about, but we got... Was that 700? Almost 800 dinars from that worth of influence. I got some decent upgrades as well. The lack of music is unsettling. Yeah, the, the problem with adding music right now is I can't separate it later when I do the editing. So when I use this footage for, say, like a guide or you know, a heavily edited video or let's play. I can't, um, I can't take the music out. So when I make my fast cuts, you're going to hear like chunks of, of a song, but not like one continuous song. So I, I can't really record with music on anymore. It just doesn't work. And, and also most people play their own music in the background when they're watching streams and stuff. So I, it's just, it doesn't conflict with that. I would just leave it off. Alright, actually, yeah, let's go inside and see if we can pick up some more No caravan troops. Is she any good? Ooh, she would actually be a good caravan master, but I don't think we want to do that. It's gonna... we don't have money for it anyways. Wait, how did we get so low on money? Holy crap. Alright, we need to sell... Yeah, we gotta liquidate a lot of stuff. There's no way we need that much... Rain. <laughs> Dimitri's lover. <laughs> All female missionary, yeah. Alright, another one will get good influence off of this one as well. So our mercenary contract got cut. We were at 120 before. Now we're only making 100. Cheap bastard. Oh, I mean, uh, I mean, my my precious queen. Soldier war war. So loose formation. All right, same thing. I'll probably speed this one up mostly. Slow down when the archers get back here. Set up a second audio track. Yeah, I could do that. Probably in OBS. I just haven't... I, I don't know how to do that. I, I could probably look it up. And then I just delete it when I get into the editor. Have to go now. All right, take care, buying. I appreciate you showing up. Thank you. Yeah, have a, have a good rest of your day or night or whatever you are. <laughs> you need to get a Brigea. Yeah, seriously. Did we? Oh, you know what? This person, this uh, companion is mounted. We need to dismount. All right, we need to help. Uh, I think we just lost. Oh, we lost two sword sisters. It's good though. We need we need them to go down in battle because we. It's gonna give us our medicine XP. Oh, shanked him. Good job. They're getting whittled down. Oh, what a hit. Oh, I couldn't hold it. Oh, I got him anyways. Nice. I'm 
you dare. Yeah, these guys are getting crushed. We didn't lose anybody yet, still. So. Three left, let's just speed it up. Is he out? No, he's coming back. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So that's that's gonna help a lot. 7.8 influence. Yeah, that pretty much pays for our party for a, a day at least. East Coast America. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty late right there. Hey, Ivan, watching for three hours in the background. Where are you from? Sorry, I'm from the uh, west coast of the U.S. Yeah, I'm in uh, Southern California. First time on the channel. Well, welcome. I appreciate you showing up. Yeah, it is. So I'm in West Coast. It is just about 9 p.m. So it's not too late. Still got plenty of uh, time left. Also, I need to get rid of this guy's horse. I keep forgetting to do that. Yeah, you don't get a horse. Just that guy, right? Dimitri the Lover gets a horse. Athletics, let's give probably melee damage. I don't think it really matters too much. And this was our scout. So we need to we need to pump up this scouting. From Europe. Okay, nice. Yeah, I think usually Europe's about what, seven to seven to ten hour time difference depending on what part something like that so you guys are probably just starting your day i'm assuming yeah 6 a.m yeah well it's all, almost the weekend for you guys hang in there <laughs> i think we have one more place to stop i don't want to get rid of the prisoners because we can probably find a place that has that quest so we'll, we'll hang on to them a little bit longer It's only got four troops left, so this is going to be kind of rough. Hey, Tree, how are you? Ever get tired of setting up companion perks with every new run? Yeah, when I do those big ones where it's like um, 100, 150 companions, that one, that's really tedious, man. It's, it's pretty tough. It's, it's definitely fun, though, but, yeah, it's tedious. All right, we're going to have to take the brunt of most of this because the caravan lost most of their troops. So we got to be a little bit more careful on this. Let's see if we can slow a bunch of these guys down. Yeah, cause traffic jams like this. It's really easy for them to get picked off, to lock their horse. Whatever we can do to help. Man, they, they're just getting destroyed here. Was that ours? Yeah, it was ours. We lost a hard crossbow. Which isn't too bad. It means our wages will be a little bit less. Because that guy was super expensive. Pretty much got this under control. Speed it up. Alright, we actually lost two there. Hmm. Yeah, unfortunate, but... Had to be done. So we have quite a few prisoners. Really should probably look for... Yeah, okay, no, they got good, good gear. We should probably look for a place to drop these prisoners off. So we're going to look at mines, clay pits, another raid we just got. Oh my god. We literally just did one like two seconds ago. 
Uh, Mystic Assassin, it's a it's a mod. It's called RTS Camera. It allows you to speed up the in-game if you want. Alright, this is going to be a pretty easy map, I think, because their cab are going to get stuck in a lot of different places. But with that said, I don't like our position here. I feel like it's it's not a good one. Let's get up on the hill so we can have... They have pretty good cover. Yeah, if they come from this direction, we can't really shoot them until they're already on us. Oh, wow, we're losing a lot. Lost our companion. Actually, this map is pretty bad for us. Oh man, we're losing, we're losing a lot of troops. Yeah, it's it's because they don't have a clean shot until they're like right on us. We lost our companion too. Two companions down. Why are they? Like the one we just did, the last two were no problem. Now we're really struggling. It's just the, the map. What I should have done is move far away, like somewhere over here. Probably would have been ideal, but we're already in the thick of it. We just got to deal with it. Hey, Butters. Hype to catch a stream. Watching the Solar World Conquest. Yeah, that's a, that was a fun one. I'm going to try and get off early enough on this one so I still have energy to edit tomorrow's episode because I don't have one ready yet. I was out all day with the uh, holiday stuff. So I'll try and get I'll try and get tomorrow's episode done still. We should be good here. Everyone, attack! Yeah, just that guy stuck down there to go get him, please. Nice. Yeah, we lost three, unfortunately, but what can you do? All right, we're getting pretty good money here. Yeah, 500 on 303 on the negative. Uh, let's give back one of these so we can take a more expensive one. You watch it as soon as you wake up? Nice. I, I was kind of shocked at how many people like that campaign. Yeah, it's, it's doing really well, so uh, I'm happy. Once I do the edited video, I think that's going to be a lot of fun too. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot to work with there for sure. It's it's a it's a very interesting campaign. All right, you need to go to Epicrody. It looks like. Wait, what? I have never seen that before. They can get stuck on hideouts? I didn't know I did not know that. Interesting. I didn't know they could get stuck on hideouts. That's kind of Oh wait, what? Are we get we're getting memed on here. Yeah, I don't think they were supposed to. We won the battle. Dimitri the lover wins. What the heck? <laughs> I guess we just took a hideout out? I don't know, that's weird. Oh nice, it gave us all their loot. We'll take it. <laughs> yeah, that's a new bug. I've never seen that before. Is he still stuck? No, he's not stuck. Alright, cool. Yeah, that was bizarre. Really, really strange. Right, we need to stay really close because these guys are going to get attacked by any bandit group at this point because they're so small. A thousand units. That's quite an army. Please be the end. Alright, we got it. Oof. Alright, we don't want to turn in the, the prisoners. Let's go find... Oh, this might be it right here. Yeah, anytime you find a mine or... Uh, what do you call it? The clay pits? I think there's... Is there one more place that has it? 
Yeah, iron ore, silver ore, and the clay pits all have these. Yeah, manual labors. So we can do this right away. Yeah, mind your own business, dude. I don't, I don't give a damn what you got to say. All right, so let's turn all these guys in. We're going to get quite a bit of money from this. 6200 bucks. Yes, please. And I didn't see what we got for Escort Merchant Caravan. This one gave us how much? Yeah, it doesn't say how many days we were out. Oh yeah, it does. Seven days. Okay, so we got seven times almost 400, so about 2,800 roughly. That's pretty good. So we went from being broke to having a decent amount of money. Yeah, we'll, we'll take it. Let's head back. We need to, we need to recruit some people. I think that's going to be the next priority. Any other resource specific village quests to be aware of? Um, that's the big one that I know of. I would say knowing which ones you can combo together. So for example, the hunt brigands is pretty good to, to combo with that as well. Cause you know, they'll spawn or it helps clears also bandit base and brigands quests. Those both cancel each other out. So it's good. Uh, let's see. The bandit base quest, you can sometimes find two quests for the same bandit base. So if you do that one bandit base and clear it, you get reward for two quests. So that's one thing that you can do. Um, I, I honestly don't do a ton. I don't do a ton of the, the quests. So I'm probably not the right person to, to talk in that regard. Let's not do another escort merchant caravan. I kind of want to do something else. We got outriders. It's going to be... I don't know, do we want horse archers? I kind of don't want horse archers, though. I want to get some melee troops. I, I want to find more of these hired spear. Or actually, the, the maceman would be more appropriate, because when they upgrade, they'll not be useless. Yeah, exactly, Copaz. It's RNG. Yeah. I mean, I guess it, it helps if you know, because then you can kind of look out for it, but... Even more escort merchant caravan. Mercenary Maceman, these are the high tier. They're tier 4, or tier 5. They're really expensive. And definitely not at all worth it, so... <laughs> it's tough, man. The mercenary units are so bad. Probably gonna lose troops. No, I guess not. All right, let's go visiting a, a few places, see if we can pick up quests and also finding Oi. troops to hire. Alright, so we'll pick up another brigand quest. Alright, these aren't that good. We'll skip that. Sword Sisters. We'll take the Sword Sister one, that's fine. Uh, we need to do the brigand quest, so I don't want to be slowed down by anything. 2400, so he'll make good money there. We need to we need to stock up on, on food again though. I think five for now is fine. And then we'll get rid of a bunch of this grain. 29 on 30. So we're actually we're actually right there. So we have enough mounts. Hey butters. I appreciate that, man. Thank you so much for joining. That means a lot. Been watching the videos too long not to sub. I appreciate it. I appreciate the support. Yeah, right, Oliver, right now we're using only mercenary troops, uh, but we're not gonna stay that way the whole time. It it would be real I mean it's doable, but it would be extremely tedious. So uh, actually, now that I think about it, there is a way to do it there. It would be just fine. Like, you can use literally whatever unit you want, and it wouldn't be a big deal. But, 
It would, it would make for a pretty boring campaign, so we're not going to do it this time. All right, let's see what else. I think uh, I think also the salt. Does this place have it? No, that one needs tools. Uh, I was supposed to be doing help with brigands around Chinopsis. Why did I leave Chinopsis? Whoops. Yeah, let's go back up there. Oh, I was trying to find troops. That's why. Yeah, if we can find a few more. I think those are the tier four. Yeah, those are tier four. I would love it if they were cell swords instead. But we're not going to have that option and we do want troops, so we'll take them. We need we need something for them to ride. Not going to happen at this town. The horses, yeah, it's for the it's, it's to speed up the troops. So if you look right here on the party speed, you see the footmen on horses, the plus 0.73. If we didn't have those horses, we wouldn't have that extra bonus. So it really makes a difference, especially when you have a lot of the AI the nobles they they pretty much are all riding cavalry like they'll they'll all have like 20 or 30 percent of their party's cavalry so their their movement speed is pretty fast so you almost have to have everybody mounted to, to be able to keep up there's no way i'm paying 400 for a spare mount so that's not going to happen All right, here we go. Let's just take these guys out real quick. Nice, another little group. Can take them out. We've got no. And I don't care for sharing it because we just want to clear the quest, anyways. There we go. All right, if we can... Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. Our our expenses went up a lot. It's because of these. They're so expensive, man. They're so expensive. 18 wage. It's insane. If we have regular troops, right? Let's say we just have... Yeah, regular troop tier 5 are only 18 wage. They're only uh 12 wage. But these mercenaries are 18 wage. They're they're not only more expensive to hire, but they're more expensive to maintain and they're worse in combat. Like they're Yeah, they're they're bad. There we go. There we go. We'll definitely take that. Uh this guy seems pretty good in combat. We can take him. Right. Alright, no horse. We'll give you a shield and feed you to the wolves. Yeah, they're so useless for 18 dinars, but that's part of the challenge, right? It, it, we're not able to do a lot of stuff that 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 i would normally recommend doing like fighting solo and just stacking up cash so you have a couple hundred grand and then and then hiring a real army rather than doing this slow progression but you know this this is the way the game was actually meant to be played so i get it oh wow 538 that is a massive massive party wage um for where we're at in the campaign so we need whatever we need to do yeah, we got to take those escort merchant caravan quests just because the the enemies that you fight based off of it are going to be really nice. It'll give us a lot of influence. Yeah, let's do escort merchant caravan again. Ooh, cell swords.
We'll take them. They're low tier. We don't have a whole lot of money to spare, but... 370, it's expensive. Hey, Lazen, thank you for all the content. I pre Yeah, no problem. I appreciate you showing up. Hope everybody's enjoying the stream. It's uh, I know it's been a rocky start, but we're getting there. No, 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 follow him. Oh, nice. And actually, we do have a, a pretty healthy Forward! amount of melee troops now. So what I'm going to do is... Let's go loose formation, keep them on the hill. Melee troops will get up there nice and close. We'll go shield wall and keep them stationary so they can trap the cav when they try and charge them. Like this guy, see how they just stop? They just completely stop and then they get they get dumped on. So that's what we, that's what we want. We want their we want them to hit the formation and then just get completely stuck. Oh, thank you. Lovely. Hey, Juggle. Good to see you again. Alright, they seem to be bypassing. Let's... Let's actually get our melee troops up here and we can help. Alright, Veteran Sword Sister, one of them died. I don't mind that. They're really expensive, and I kind of want them to be cold. They seem to be only targeting our archers, so let's get our let's get our melee troops inside the range, and then they should be able to, to deal some damage. Ideally, we'd keep them all in, in a tight formation, but they still have a decent amount of horse archers, which is not, not good. Yeah, they, they've already reworked the mercenary troops once or twice. And yeah, this is what we ended up with. <laughs> Alright, so we lost another veteran sword sister. So that's that's like 36 dinars and wages we just don't have to pay now. <laughs> and we get, we get really good uh, medicine XP because they're high tier. I think we're holding pretty well. We're, we're taking a few losses, but, you know, there's not much we can do about it. When you have that much cav. Let's speed this up a little bit. taking a lot of people out but we need the medicine XP anyways yeah! all right oh yeah we can bait this guy in nice he wants a piece he wants a piece of Dimitri the lover oh you got a piece of something there we go all right so four losses Mostly the troops that we don't want anyways. So the Sword Sister, that's the tier 4. I'd rather have all tier 3 if we can. If we can help it, that'd be ideal. So this is actually not a bad thing. And it's going to give us more medicine XP. Almost 10 influence, it's pretty good. That's a lot of money. And then more prisoners, we can find somewhere to drop them off. Uh, is there any... Uh, so somebody plan to get married to... Yeah, Nicholas, probably Ira. Just because she's related to Rigea and, you know, it's like one of those those simping fantasies, I guess. If, if you're going to simp for Rigea, you want to get as close to her as you can. <laughs> Should be our, our mother-in-law. Technically. Oh man, these guys got pummeled. There's only three left.
So, oh, nice. That's what I wanted to see. So, the low tier Sword Sisters. And we got pretty good money from the. Oh, wow. Wait, how did we. I'm trying to figure out why our money went that low. I thought we had a bit more. Did I spend it on something? Also, we're we don't need this much uh we don't need this many Sumter horses. So let's clear that out. Let's just go to 20. That'll give us plenty of room when we start losing people again. We need more middle and palfrey, free, but we don't have cash to do that, so. Rigay is too perfect to marry, yeah. Hey Godfrey, you caved and got a PC. Nice. Congrats, man. That's that's pretty exciting. Yeah, it's always getting getting a new PC, booting it up for the first time is is a, a very fun experience. It's a fair compromise, that's true. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what the heck is gobbling up all our money. I know our our wages are pretty high, but is it really that high? Seven. I don't want to just throw them out because we we could get XP for them when they die. They they give quite a bit of medicine XP, so we'll we'll leave them. But yeah, we need to we need to lighten our our daily expense. That is so expensive, man. We might have to fire people soon. All right, where's this ambush? And what we'll do is let's actually get ahead of the ambush and fight it separately so that. I don't want that. I don't want that group being drawn in. If they, there's only three left, I don't want to lose the mission. Okay. Yeah, I think these were all supposed to be in group one. Now, one thing we could do to limit casualties is we could... Oh, that might be funny, actually. All right, we're going to do it. We're going to sit up back here and hopefully some of them run off the cliff. That'd be pretty funny. Oh, he did it. <laughs> yeah, some of them are going to run off. This isn't the one that, that's really high up, though, so... Alright, they're getting stuck over here, so let's get our, let's get our melee troops over here. They're just sitting ducks. This is gonna be really easy. Oh wow. Dimitri the lover, man. You gotta you gotta put in some work. We're getting pushed around here. Maybe we'll get we'll get back on a horse or something. Oh, somebody else fell down. I saw him. Yeah, there's somebody else down there. Oh, he's gonna go. For sure. Oh, I was gonna say he's definitely going down. Oh, he's down. No? Oh, he turned at the last second. Let's pull our melee troops back because they're getting a little wide. Yeah, we're yeah. There's there's those spots you, that it's pretty decent on this map. I wanted to see if we'd get any of them to to dive off of it themselves, but now they're just gonna be stuck down there a bit. Alright, let's charge them in again. Oh, nice. We can catch some of them. Yeah, you guys are toast. Oh, three of them. Yeah, you're not going anywhere. Good old body block. All right, let's pull the truce back again so they don't get too far out. Are they all still down there? Yeah, they're just they're stuck down there. I wonder if we can get can we get shots on them down there. Not really. Soldiers, move! 
Okay, let's move away and let them come up because they're stuck down there. If we get far enough away, I think they'll come back up. Yeah, 1.2.5 came out today. I'm, I didn't upgrade because the the RTS camera doesn't work on that, so I didn't want to. I didn't want to play without it. Infect archers, move, footmen, move. Infect Actually, let's just give our infantry a charge command. I don't really care what they do. There, there's only a couple horse archers, anyways, so. If they're chasing, that means they're their shield's facing the right direction at the very least. It's fine. And hopefully they draw some, some fire from these guys instead of our archers. Alright, this was a pretty good battle. We lost a few people. Cell Sword, Mercenary Macemen. Unfortunately, we didn't lose the Sword Sister Veteran, but oh well. Yeah, they had a lot of people here, actually. This was a big battle. I didn't realize there was that many. So pretty good, maybe 12? Yeah, we got 12 influence. That's going to pay off a lot. And then prisoner-wise, again, we're going to try and find a place to drop them all off because we're going to need it. Actually, let's see if there's anything along the way. Oh, yeah, there's one. Please be it. No, it's not the right one. Draft animals. We need to find... Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can find another one. Yeah, he's still going to another one after this, too. Alright, we're gonna keep... Oh, you know what? Let's sell... Let's sell loot, actually. Yeah, we, we need every bit of cash we, we can get right now. Yeah, we're so strapped for cash. It's... It's kind of stressful. Oh man, they got another one. Don't die, don't die. And it doesn't pull this guy in. I was hoping it would actually. If we could just auto resolve it. But it's alright. 39. We'll have we'll have a pretty good fight here. And I'm just gonna charge my infantry on shield wall. And see if they do okay like that. And I'm gonna I'm gonna group my archers up a little bit and loose formation, see if that helps them. Maybe if they're tighter together, they'll they'll do better. All right, the boar got destroyed. Oh man, it's very chaotic. Hey, Burner Bob. No, you're good. I, I can't do any personal combat, and there's not a whole lot to adjust on these battles anyway, so it's fine. It's a good time to catch up on chat. Um, would you ever do a Realm of Thrones spotlight playthrough? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I I will probably do... So I've been doing a lot of mostly vanilla campaigns lately, and I kind of went through a streak of doing only modded campaigns, like, I don't know, six months or seven months ago. So I'll probably... I'll probably do a modded campaign next. So I think that would make the most sense. I, I really want to... I miss playing with RBM. I'll probably do an RBM mod next... Or a campaign next, so... Oh, we're losing a lot. Oh, nice. The veteran sword sister. We got one dead. We're farming that medicine. That's what we're doing here. We're farming medicine. We we need to get rid of people anyways. Our wages are way too high. We, we don't have the ability to pay for them. So... This is just what we need to do. Wow, we actually cleared him out pretty fast. That was a lot. Um, yeah, we only lost those three. That's fine. Another 12 influence. Yeah, horses are allowed to charge people. We just don't have we don't have the skill or the perks. You need you need a decent amount of writing to be able to do that, and we just don't. Uh, we'll put the final point into leadership. So we're capped. These are the four core skills that we want to do. 
Uh, we'll probably do a little bit of trade, definitely do engineering, but we're not sieging anytime soon. So maybe we'll do tactics at some point. I wouldn't even mind putting some points into roguery just for the battle loot. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Hopefully they don't get caught. Don't get caught, dude. Oh, you got caught. I'm just going to auto-resolve this because that looks really annoying to fight. Uh, we lost somebody again. Seriously. Alright, we got some tier 2 troops. Let's get rid of them. And then we take the prisoners from the tier 3. Oh, the hat looks nice. Oh, there we go. Dimitri the Lover looking fly. Dude, that's such a cool looking hat for him too. Can you imagine him like as a pickup artist? He's just going into the bar like this. <laughs> so what do you think of my cool hat? All right, let's see what we got here. Plus 10 recovery after each battle. I don't think it really matters. It's going to be. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. That that perk's not that that important. Oh, I want to check this out. Uh, he's going to go back. I, I got to check it out, though. If he gets captured, that's fine. Tools. Are you serious? We don't want to give you tools. Did you go in here? Oh, he went in here. I guess he didn't go in there. Whoops. All right, whatever. Uh, there's a clay pit up here we can check. Let's go check for the... Yeah, we want to find a place to turn that quest in. 37 raiders. Oh, wow. Oh, you know, he must have got captured by that. That's a big group of raiders. Draft animals again. Jeez. I think the salt, the salt also does it, but I'm not sure. I'm not positive. No, they don't have it. Well, if we don't find it soon, we're going to run out of cash. So... Nicholas, thank you so much for the donation, man. Did you see the new Napoleon movie? I haven't seen it. I've seen a bunch of videos on it, though, and it looks it looks pretty good. Yeah, I do plan on watching it. Yeah, great hat. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, speaking of great hats, right? Napoleon's got a pretty famous for having a pretty cool hat. Um, yeah, the movie looks pretty good. I mean, I know it's, it's not a, a perfect historical adaptation, but it looks it looks good. And I do like Joaquin Phoenix as an actor. So I'll, I'll definitely watch it at some point. Uh, we need to pick up another quest because we're going to just flat out run out of money here soon. I think it might make sense to fire these just to reduce our wages. Um, maybe we'll wait until we're desperate, but yeah, it's we're kind of close to being desperate. We need to get a good quest soon or we're we're gonna be taking on You got a problem. Oh we're, we're gonna be losing money. Alright, 18 is pretty good if we can catch him. And I know we're chasing pretty far, but we need to head this way anyways. Can we lose somebody? Nice, veteran sword sister, we lost another one. We're like <laughs> we're rooting for for them to die. All right, let's just get rid of these looters. What skill is the fastest to level up? I would probably say... Riding or bow, in my opinion, are, are two of the fastest. And they level up together, which is kind of nice. Uh, you, can, you can reach 275... Like, I, I usually get 275 writing when I'm doing my solos uh, in the first, like, month and a half, maybe. Maybe it's a little sooner. I, I can't remember. But, yeah, it's 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 pretty fast. So, there, I don't think there's anything else that levels up that fast. Not even smithing. Actually, they nerfed smithing recently, so it's, it's kind of hard to level up now. Bandit base. Art of the trait. Again, dude. Somebody give me that quest, please. We need it. Mechalavea is the next closest. War on Sturgia. I mean, we're going to have to do it, so. 
All right, we got to be careful. We're, we're heading up into enemy territory. Oh, they got a quest. All right, I really hope this is it. Manual labors, we got it. All right, so we're saved. We're good on money. Mind your own business. We're going to get at least eight or eight or nine K here. Yeah, nine K. Beautiful. All right. So money wise, we're good for a while. So we could do discarded weapons or party morale. Party morale is pretty much pointless. Let's go discarded weapons. At least we'll have one way of leveling troops up fast if we need to. Why are you not? Oh, this drives me nuts. Does that? I don't know if anybody else gets triggered by this, but like having this exclamation point, I really don't like having it there. Uh, favorite non-crafted weapon? A Tanner. Um, probably the noble longbow. If you're talking about like a melee weapon. The, the Falks, even the, the non-crafted Falks are pretty good. The, the, the Executioner Axe is pretty good too. I would say one of those two. Um, and if I'm going mounted, I definitely like the Noble. I think it's, um, what's it called? The Noble Spear or something like that. It's one of the best thrusting spears. Those are really good for couch lancing and, and attacks like that. So Yeah, exactly. Wages are crazy for us right now. That's why not up upgrading anything. So if you look at our, our party wage, it's 565 a day. We have no way of earning any money. So we have to, it, it's, it seems like we have money, but it burns really fast. So we need, we need to save up a nice little nest egg and then we can afford to, you know, take people. Uh, we got, luckily we got a decent amount of loot as well. All right, we need to... We gotta buy some more food here. We're starting to run low. Yeah, we need we need to we need to get more. I gotta do a better job of doing that because Stewart is gonna be one of our like I said our our main focuses here. Actually, we got a perk, and then this one. Travel speed with higher party morale. We're almost there. Yeah, we'll we'll have that pretty soon if we keep fighting like this. The upgraded ones are pretty crappy too. Yeah, they are. Not having a helmet is is pretty bad. Uh, hired pikes are not good either, and they're extremely expensive to maintain. So. I was going to say we need a few more mounts, but we can't really afford them. I, I would like to start raiding some villages because that's a really easy way to stack up influence. And it's it's fairly low risk. Not raiding, but at least taking out the militia, I mean. So we'll force them to give us goods. Oh, they didn't even put up a fight. Nice. So D Dimitri the Lover is also... A bandit. All right, we don't want to go anywhere near that. This is being sieged. I don't know if it's us. I don't think it is. No, it's... So they're at war with two people now. Yeah, once we switch over to becoming a vassal, we are going to have a pretty hard time with, influ uh, with cash up until the point where we get a fee for two. So... Uh, just Star Wars. Yeah, there's a couple. If you check the description, there's a couple uh, mods on the list. It's very minor stuff. Just quality of life. Like speeding up the campaign map faster than what they let you do. Speeding up in uh, battles in game. Now, oh, look at that. The hidden hand. They're trash. All right. If if we can get this fight, I would love to do it. I think we can do it. Yeah, Sorry. nice. We got him. Sorry, I don't think I know you. No. You are loot pinatas. Oh, look, they got sword sisters as well. Well, I think our sword sisters are better than your sword sisters. Recruits, warriors. All right, it's all infantry. Infant move! Archer, forward! Loose forward! 
Alright, we are attacking, so they're probably going to let us take the initiative here, but let's just make sure. Yeah, they are. Alright. So let's get a move on. So for sure, we're just going to sit back and pick at them until they get tired of getting shot at, and then we'll... The lazy, I don't want to work face. <laughs> I suspect they're going to have a pretty effective shield wall here. So we'll get a couple of volleys off and see if we can get some damage in, but we might want to split into two groups. Yeah, so we're still getting hit. Sturgeon warrior. All right, let's do this. Let's reposition ourselves move. a little bit. Archers, move. Forward. See if we can get a little better flank here. So we'll move our infantry there to hopefully keep their attention this way, and then we can get around their flank. Nope, they're going to move. Forward. Forward. move. So we need to move our infantry Forward. as well. If they charge... No, they're not going to charge. Form a shield wall. Let's go shield wall again. Well, at least we can take out that sword sister. There we go. Yeah. Take that useless pile of garbage out. Oh, nice. They're separating their their militia out. Their infantry. All right. We need to actually... F this is going to seem counter counterintuitive, but we have to fight together. We need our, we need our sword sisters in melee. Otherwise, we're going to get creamed right here. So we'll pull them back. Let's go shield wall. Sword Sisters, once they're in, we line formation and charge everybody. We just want to have a critical mass that they, they can't even get attacks off because we have too many troops. The Sword Sisters aren't going to get too many shots off in the back because they're blocked. So, might as well let them, let them do, the, do their job. They do okay in melee. I mean, they're not terrible, I guess, as long as they don't get hit in the head. But that worked out pretty well. Only lost two. We fought mostly in melee range. So I would say that's a pretty successful fight. The guy with the commanding fist. <laughs> you talking about this one? It's kind of funny. The hidden hand. Alright. You are a prisoner, I think. Or do we let him go? I don't really want to go back to drop him off. So let's just let him go. Because we can get... Yeah, we can level up our charm doing that, so we might as well. We got prisoners we can sell. We got lots of good loot. Everybody's got lots of loot. Yeah, look at that. Our little red ta ragtag band. Actually, how many people can we... So we're maxed out on companions. Yeah, we, I, I'd like to keep that maxed and hire as many as we can. Now this one, 100%, it's, it's got to go Warlord. This is like one of the best perks that you can get in the early game when you're a, a mercenary. Really, really important. So plus 30 influence from any battle we fight. So if we're making 100 influence per... Oh, they chopped our freaking thing way... It's down... We're only making 70 infl uh, seventy dinars per influence now. Come on, Regea. You can't do me dirty like that. That's the problem, right? If they, if they know you want them, they're like... They can do whatever they want. <laughs> this the simp simping thing went bad on us. All right, give us the goods. They want to fight for it, so we'll fight them for it. Hey, Jensen, how are you? Uh, do you have to be army leader to benefit from tactic skill, or does it apply to auto resolve? Or are you just part of the? Army? Yeah, so. Tactics works for the troops under the control of that person. So let's say, for example, if you're in an army with 10 different parties, every party has a leader and that leader uses their tactics for those troops. So, for example, if you've got one person that leads 100 units out of 1,000 and they have tactics of 300 and everybody else has zero tactics, then only 100 troops in that army are going to have good tactics and everybody else is going to have zero tactics. So it's actually really important to have as many troops under the high tactics people as you can. 
All right, let's... I don't even know what... Are they going to charge us? I don't think so, but let's see what they do. They are and going to charge us. Well, that makes move. life so move much easier for us. We'll go nice and wide move. with our line because we don't have to worry about getting flanked here. Yeah, this should be a pretty easy battle. Let's actually tighten that up a little bit and move them up so that we're not block we're blocking as little line of fire for these guys as possible. Or these ladies. And as soon as they hit line formation charge. I gave the wrong I did gave the card charge command of the wrong unit. That's my bad. Yeah, it cost us a couple of units. Oops. We should not be losing units to militia, but oh well. Sell sword, yeah, I didn't want to I don't want to lose the two or three units, but I goofed. We got leadership 75, so we'll get another perk there. I will take a little bit. Also decrease taken range damage. Yeah, we'll use that. Now, I don't want to be around here while we have the movement debuff. Let's go back to Epicrodia. We'll sell... Actually, I wonder... If they have another one, that would be really nice. No, they don't. Actually, I don't think you can donate Militia. I think that one has to be Bandit Troops. So these guys all need to be... Oh, nice. Party wages, 540. We can take on a little bit more. Yeah, it's it's scary... I don't like doing it, but we kind of have to at this point. We need to. Uh, we need to make. We, we need troops to make the money, essentially. So let's get rid of all this stuff. We're, we're, I mean, we're making okay money. We're not in bad shape. We'll take another horse too. Do you, yeah, birth, birth and death is enabled. Correct. Yep. We actually uh, Tong. We actually already lost somebody. So one of our companions died. CW, I haven't watched it yet, but I I do plan on watching it. It looks good uh, from what I can tell. I watched a few YouTube videos. Like they, um, one of the history channels interviewed the the director, and they went over a bunch of stuff. It was pretty interesting. So recommend playing with any mod. Yeah, Nicholas, if you look at the mod list that I'm using right now, I don't play any campaign without these mod lists. So I specifically did not take the update today because one of the mods does not work, and I don't want to play without it. It just slows the game down too much for me, so. Uh, good job editing the Solo World Conquest. Thanks, Jensen. I appreciate it. Yeah, the dirty tricks. Yeah, there's a lot. The, the, um, I would say the political intrigue from that campaign is, is pretty useful. I would say some of the other combat tactics, maybe not so much unless you plan on doing a lot of solo stuff yourself. Uh, what do we got here? Party leader plus five. Yeah, we're going to definitely take the party size increase. Don't forget the grain. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we have a lot of grain. Yeah, because we just took a bunch from that, that city. Do you have grapes? You do. Let's take some... Yeah, we need to stock up on stuff, so let's do that. You got no meat, but you have animals. Yeah, we can cut up we can cut up the sheep. And then sell the hides back. And now we got a little bit of meat. We're missing one. What are we missing? Grapes. Olive. We're missing olives. Yeah, we need to find olives somewhere. Hey, Mikey, uh, mercenary only because they're really bad and they're very expensive. So it just it makes the, the start of the game a bit more challenging. And I'm trying to make this it's kind of an easy campaign, to, to be honest, um, at least for the amount of hours that I have in the game. So I, I try to add some stuff just to make it a little bit more challenging, but not make it so tedious like the last one that I did. So because if you look at these, these guys are 
on average, what are they like? The, so, for example, the tier 5, normal units only cost 12. These mercenaries cost 18. And they are also like four, three or four times more expensive to hire. So it's just, you know, it just adds a, one more thing. Once we get our own thieves and stuff, then we'll, we'll be fine. We can hire our own troops. But up until that point, we'll be using the mercenaries. That's one thing that's tough right now is maxing out your party size. Because you can't dictate what troop types you get, right? You you Whatever they have is what you get. So 37, but it's going to be mostly cavalry. So it's kind of scary. Let's see what they have. Oh, it's not mostly cavalry, actually. So, I, yeah, we can we can fight this if we can catch him. Yeah, we're faster. Stop this. Uh, let's. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait till daytime because it's really hard to see and it's a pain in the butt to edit these things when it's nighttime. Is he? Wait, did he go? Right, that should be fine. Oh. No, I don't. I don't want to fight with. They're gonna take our. Oh, nice. Oh. Okay. No, dude, you're not even close. You're not even close. Go away. Oh. There we go. There we go. Now we're good. I'm <laughs> late by two hours. Are you going to stick to your faction troops? Yes, Prodigal Dog. It's going to be... Well, it's going to be whatever we own. So if we own a thief, a uh, certain type. And in the beginning, we're pretty much only going to have Empire. So it'll mostly be that. We, I mean, it, it, we could keep it all the same faction troops. It, it doesn't really make a difference. We, we can make it work either way. Now, this is pretty interesting tactics-wise if they push into us. But I don't think that's what's going to happen. Good to see you enjoying Banner. Yeah, Banner Lord. I don't really ever get tired of Banner Lord. I've I'm almost at five thousand hours in this game, and I'm still, I still get interested in different campaign ideas. Now, granted, if I was just playing a straightforward campaign, I'd probably get a little bored. But there's so many options in this game that you can find a way to make it. For me personally, I can find a way to make it interesting just by adding extra rules and stuff. So that that tends to help. They have a single archer, and it's a sword sister. So let's let's go ahead and slaughter her real quick. Strasbutia. Uh, let's see what uh, the. It's easier for me to say Kogdila. <laughs> so I'll, I'll say that. All right. I don't know when they're gonna come in, so let's just let's get up here. Keep our our units nice and tightly packed. Actually, we need to pull them down a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Alright, somebody take out that sword sister, please. She is so useless. Oh, somebody... What? <laughs> you shot one of ours. That's funny. Oh, we can speed it up a little bit. Uh, can you run with my little band? You know, I tried to do it last time and it crashed on me. The I spent like, I don't remember what it was, like five or six hours making a whole custom line. And then when I went to hire him, the whole game crashed. And I couldn't get it to undo, so I had to undo everything. It was such kind of depressing <laughs> how much time I spent on that thing. All right, I'm going to actually give the charge command with the archers too. They might need to get in here because their infantry are pretty strong. Yeah, our infantry are not doing well here. At all. Alright, now we need to pull back because we destroyed most of them. We need to go shield wall nice and tight. Oh, you got him, didn't you? Yeah, you did. You bastard. Mercy. So we lost some of the expensive... Melee troops, that's fine. I guess that at this point in the campaign, I wouldn't mind having all tier 2 and tier 3, just because I could. I still feel like I'm fairly effective with them, but they're not going to cost... They're not going to bankrupt us, so... Oh. 
Don't kill my horse, please. Yeah, we're really struggling to stop these guys. What the heck? There we go. Oh, but he turned around. Oh, come on. Why are they not getting stopped? Oh, that guy's toast. No, Sword Sister's getting stabbed in the head. This is so painful to watch, man. These mercenary troops are so bad. They're so bad. Okay, so we're having trouble with them not getting stopped. And I'm not sure why. We have we have a really you know what I'm gonna do actually? Let's combine everybody into one group. And let's just shield wall everybody's gonna be really tightly packed maybe that'll make a difference there we go we got one all right here comes the last one you're gonna make us wait huh all right let's go wide oh come on come on so annoying oh somebody beamed him all right there we go so we lost only five. That was actually really good. I don't mind the mercenary mason and getting lost. Sword sisters of the tier four as well. So we're losing high tier, which is which is actually good for us. We get more, we get more medicine and all that. Hey, brand the undead. Uh, ban the undead. Sorry, I was uh trying to focus on that battle. But first time catching the stream. Welcome. I I appreciate you showing up. Is tactics good for companions? Yes, if they leave their own party, yeah, it's good. <laughs> Let others do the work. Good luck with that. I, I doubt they'll do a good job, but you could try. Yeah, the horse horse took a beating in that one. Now, we'll let this guy go. Like I said, we want the charm XP. We got nine levels off of that. It's pretty good. So we are... Yeah, we're, we're kind of losing some of our higher tier, which is good. We got a lot of upgrades there. That's really good. Don't know any easy tactics except army of horse archers. I, you could also try Fian champions. Just get a bunch of them, as many as you can. You you do really well with Fians. <coughs> they um, they wreck everybody. Fians. You, you could generally win battles where you're outnumbered like two to one without taking hardly any if any cash half the time you won't lose a single person so banner the desert wind increased troop movement speed is pretty good we don't really take ranged attack damage too often most of the time we're we're having to deal with cavalry that's kind of like the big the big issue that we're having only 2,700. That's not that much. I thought we'd be making more money than that. And let's let's cut up the cow. We need the food. Yeah, they, that one gives six. It's pretty good. So we're doing okay. Yeah, Kylan, we'll probably go after Ira. Just because... This campaign seems to di to dictate it. <laughs> no, Kate, we haven't gotten... <laughs> How you doing, by the way? Uh, we haven't gotten the foot massage going yet. She Last time we, we met up with her, she was, uh, she was a little busy with the siege, so we couldn't really do anything. Can we pick up... No. Not good troops for what we're trying to do. Uh, let's let our companions heal up for a sec. They're at least on their feet. Let's go with that. So I I think what's happening here is these big armies are probably drawing a lot of their big parties. So we should be able to come over here and just raid everything. And that's an easy way for us to earn influence. So. 
A siege camp is a perfect time for a foot massage. They wouldn't let us though. It blocked. We couldn't even talk to her. <laughs> they completely blocked us out. Let's wait for daytime. Alright, give us all your goods. You want footage of the footy massage? Yeah, that's that's uh that's gonna be rough. Archer move! Stand up all move! Forward foot move! Forward! And actually what I'm gonna do here is let's Forward! actually hold these guys so move! they don't have a flank, and I'm hoping they just attack the infantry. And then we'll have an easy flank on the shield wall. Yeah, exactly like that. Except for that one guy. I don't know what he's doing, but he's gonna get he's gonna get smashed. So we'll get an easy flank on him from the archers. They, our foot troops won't fight as effectively, but yeah, it's pretty much over. Let's just speed it up. GG. Yeah, didn't lose anybody. 6.5 influence, like I said, we just need enough to pay for our troops. Nice, I actually got some upgrades from the from the militia. Yeah, we sw <laughs> simps are <laughs> and then goose simps to strat gaming. <laughs> just woke up, nice. Uh, the run's going okay, we had some rough patches in the early stages, but it's it's going a lot smoother now, yeah. I spent too much money on troops and then got captured and it had no money. We had to trade for a, a couple weeks, but we got back on our feet, got some troops, did a few quests, and now we're we're doing okay. So here, let me leave this for... I gotta close the window. It's kind of cold here now. One There we go. Uh, percentage composition wise for well rendered army in terms of infantry, archer, cab. I, I would probably lean heavier on archers. So like 35 to 40% archers. Uh, between cab and archer cab depends on your personality or what, what, what you're going for. But you could probably do another like 15 to 20% there and, the, and then another whatever's left over can be uh, melee infantry. Yeah, Jack's I watch I watch most of Jack Sather's um videos. He's it's pretty interesting. Yeah, his his video was really good on Bannerlord. That's that's how I found his channel actually, was through that video, the Bannerlord video. Yeah, he's he's a he's a cool guy. Very, very entertaining to watch. Okay, let's go further north. There oh wow, look at this. They took one, two, they took a lot. They took from Batania, they took from Sturgia. And I think this was originally Western Empire, if I'm not mistaken. So they took from them, they're taking from everybody. Well, we'll have to do something to keep them in check later, but for now, there's not much we can do about it. Let's go raid this. Right, this would be a good battle. There's a lot of people here. Alright, again, they're going to come into us. We have a huge advantage in, in ranged troops. So what I'm going to do here... Is let's slide left so we can try and deal with most of their archers before their their melee troops get into range. So we're just gonna kind of slide around, and I'll also we'll put the main line and shield wall. These guys are already in their formation, and let's try and slow these guys down. We can distract them as best we can, keep them from hitting our line right away. We don't we don't need to do too much distraction here. It's it's more just trying to preserve the troops that we have. I mean we're gonna win this no problem, but if we can do it without losing too many, it's even better. Infantry, for me. 
All right, line formation. Let's go ahead and get in there. Melee troops can get in there. No big deal. I think we have enough. They don't have enough here to really do much melee wise. Once we get in range, once they get in range, they're gonna get smacked. So I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, they're getting they're collapsing. Let's do a general charge. We'll do the Sunza and we should be good. All right, don't let them out. Pick your shots. We'll charge him for one damage. See if we can... Oh, nice. Shot him in the throat. Alright, there we go. So, 46, pretty good. Almost 10 influence. And it was very low risk. We only had one injury. Hey, Heretic. Uh, I would say it's it's come a long way. Yeah, especially if you haven't played a year, it's, it's come a long way. Yeah, sorry. I think I missed that. Um... The, definitely 1.2 changed a lot as well. I would say if you can get on 1.2, that's probably a good patch to come in on. All right, we got another level. And now we got to figure out what to put this in. Just not really doing that much trading, though. I It's... It feels bad to put points into trading, to be honest. But this one's pretty good, too, if we're going to do mercenary troops. Minus 25%. You get another minus 25 up here. So minus 50 for them is, is pretty good, even though the units aren't that good. Yeah, let's just do trading. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Give it another 100 hours, then. Yeah, seriously. That's how it is. 100 hours to do two campaigns. Ooh, that's a big army. Yeah, we don't want anything to do with that. We don't want to fight Rag and Bad because we'll get smashed. So if they're sending armies over here, that means they're probably going to get stomped over here. Taking tile. Look how... F <laughs> okay, so there's there's nothing around. They're Why are we even at war with these guys? It doesn't even make sense. We're so they're so far away. It's hard to say when 1.2 is coming out of beta, but I think they're getting close because they are starting to release hotfixes. Uh, but they just released this hotfix, which makes me think they're probably at the bare minimum going to be another month at least. But it might might be more. So I don't know. It's hard to say. So they took Tyal, which is completely isolated, and it's the wrong culture. So it's I mean. That's such a waste of time. Come on, Regea. I'm simping, but you're pretty dumb. <laughs> you are pretty dumb. Alright, let's take these little groups. It's our move! Loose forward! Forward! For forward! Infantry! Charge! All right, four influence is fine. So money-wise, yeah, we're still doing okay. We're still doing okay. We're not making a whole lot though. We're we're kind of just treading water at this point, and that's not a good thing. I I do want to keep progressing, but one thing that I want to do is besides selling loot, I really want to get enough horses so that everybody's on a mount. We need to be moving as fast as we can. It's it's going to be really important. It's all the silly clan leaders getting bad advice. That's true. They don't they don't know how to simp. Hey, C bet. Uh, small chance that they have for Christmas. Probably not. Yeah, I'm not sure if if you're asking about videos. I I have a couple videos coming out on the main channel. Yeah, in in uh, December for sure. Actually, I, I probably will get one, at least one out this month for this channel. And then next month, I'm going to get one out for the the, the main channel, the, um, the heavily edited channel. I'm going to get that one out before the end of the year. And probably I will start the Kingdom Come Deliverance 
on in December on the Let's Play channel. So I've got a, a full campaign already recorded on that, so that one should be ready. Uh, my wife's more than halfway through editing that one, and it's that's a long one. That's like a 80 hour, 70, 80 hour campaign that took me to do that. I had to, to max out all the skills, so. Yeah, but that was a good one. Make the arrows fire at night. Oh, that looks cool. Yeah. Would you consider quality of life? I probably wouldn't because it's still... I don't think it's enough light to still light up the whole battlefield, you know? But it does look cool. Yeah, I, I do like the look of it. Despite it being historically inaccurate. So, Tyal, she granted to somebody. Who cares? Alright, we don't want to take that. Mm. Yeah, Midland's Palfrey is still super expensive. And I, I think <clears throat> I think we keep looking for quests. Oh yeah, there we go. So we'll take this quest and then let's go see if we can find a escort merchant caravan quest. And then we can go back there to turn him in right away. That'll be another 10 grand. That will make a huge difference. Associate captured by bounty hunters. Tough luck. I ain't helping. This could be an interesting one too. I think it's probably 17 cav. Oh man, that's that sounds annoying. But these, actually, now that I think about it, the Elif Theroy are the ones that don't have the the shield. All right, let's take control manually and narrow this guy down. Are we faster? No, he's way faster. Yeah, so we definitely have to do this manually. All right, we got him. Sorry. Yeah, Kingdom Come Deliverance is so much fun. It's 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 one of I I don't want to say it's my my favorite game of all time but it's it's up there. It's definitely up there. Are they going to charge? Infantry move! Move! Former shield. We got to be pretty careful here. This is this is kind of a risky fight actually. I know we we outnumber them by a lot but their unit composition? Yeah, we need to actually... We actually need to not be... We're going to go shield wall. We're going to get a lot more done in shield wall than we would if, if we're shooting at him. Like, no, no question about it. Oh, point blank just blasting them. Now, what I'm going to do is move these melee troops back so that they're connected. Yeah, we just want to have a big mass of units and that should help against these cav. Yeah, it gets to go get stuck in the ball. No, you're not getting stuck, are you? Let's go ahead and provide a little bit of protection for these guys because they, they have some pretty pretty beefy cav. Take some of the sting off of the charge. Alright, there's another one down. Ooh, ouch. It, the problem is we don't have units that have pole arms. If we had pole arms, this would be a trivial battle. The problem is. Pole arms on mercenary are really bad because they're the, the pikes, and those units are bad against anything other than cav, so. Are they going to keep charging it? Because we need to deal with these archers. Yeah, we are losing a lot of people. Uh, mostly injuries, though, so. Alright, let's actually... Let's actually deal with them now. We're starting to get hit pretty hard. Yeah, the, the problem is as soon as we unfurl, you see how they, they start picking us off easily. That's that's why I was trying to avoid doing that, but their archers are being kind of annoying. 
Alright, we can probably mitigate some of the damage just by blocking. There we go. That'll help a little bit. Alright, come on, get that last archer, please. Alright, got it. Back to shield wall. Yeah, if you're fighting against mostly cav and you have a lot of archers, you can still counter the cav by doing this. It's it's still doable. It, we have such a small amount of infantry, it it's not like if we had a 5 or 400 unit army, this would be no problem. You know, right now we're just kind of dealing with it. Oh, crap. Is that a cons guard? That's a cons guard. That's not good. Well, we're going to get smacked every time that cons guard comes by, so let's... Let's deal with him. Yeah, hopefully we can get shots off on him. Oh, man. That cons guard killed like three people all by herself. So we lost a veteran... We lost two of the tier fours, and we lost six of the ones that we didn't want to lose. But we, we, yeah, we filtered out some of the higher tier. That was a very costly battle. Yeah, our cav actually good now. They're they're better than they were before for sure. Yeah, cav cav was bad before. They're much better. Oh, troops in the water. That would have been good. Yeah, that's a good point. And it wasn't that far. It's it's tough because once you start taking damage, once they start charging you, you're better off just standing still at all costs. But yeah, you're right. We probably could have positioned in the water at the beginning of that. That would have been a, a good move. So we'll let him go. Ten levels of charm. And actually, let's let's change out some weapons here, or not change out, but we'll add in. Oh, no, no, no. We're going to sell that mace. You, you ain't getting that mace. Yeah. If it was a, a kind of a crappy mace, then we would probably just sell it. Or uh, uh, let him let him use it, but... Yeah, we need the money. We need the money more than he needs it, so... 1900 That's That's a lot. Yeah. We will put it to good use. We are out of olives still. Yeah, only olives. We need to go find some of that and also some grapes at some point. Hey, Baba Abi, missed the half the stream. It's it's going to go up as a VOD afterwards, so if you want to go back and watch it. You remember them charging into Archer Formation and still dying? That still happens if you have enough of them, but right now we don't have a big enough party. We You know, we had, what, 50 people there? So, they were kind of pushing us around a bit. So, Charm, this one is... We'll probably go for double Persuasion success, but it doesn't... I don't think it makes a big difference either way. And we're still looking for the quest. Army of Poachers, that one's... Yeah, we need to, we need to find bandits, so... Preferably, we find Escort Merchant Caravan, but... They're not really giving us... It's not really an option. Sword Sisters is a tier 4. We're trying to filter down to tier tier 3. Yeah, it's a tier 4. We kind of need to do it, though. No, you know, we're fine. Let's stack up some cash for a little bit. Let's spend some time doing that. Uh, why do you not have a weapon? Yeah, sort of. We're I'm doing a no combat. So no personal combat. We're just going to be leading troops the whole time. Because we are Dimitri the Lover and that's just not how he, he rolls, you know? Yeah, it's. I just did a campaign where all I did was combat because I did a, world, a solo world conquest. And so I've, I figured I'd mix it up a little bit and do the opposite. Um, I kind of miss leading troops. I really like the tactics and stuff and, and moving people around and doing stuff in the heat of battle 
manual laborers. So we got two of these now. We just need to find the right quest to get get the good ones, the good bandits. Actually, let's take these out. These are you kind of back off. easy XP. We need it. All right. Uh, later, Tiago. I appreciate it. Have a good night. Hey, Spart uh, Spartanian. How are you? All is in the city? Oh, I should have gotten, but yeah, we'll, I'll, I'll grab it. I'll remember next time. Archer, stand apart! Infantry, loose mummies! Move! Forward! Infantry! Light formation! All right, putting them in loose means they can shoot through each other's formations. So you won't ever block your formations if you put them in loose, and you don't need them in you don't need them in line or shield until they're close. So sometimes you can just leave them like that. Nice five influence for a battle like that is is a no brainer, and we do need those for the quest, so we'll take them. Hopefully we can get a merchant caravan. The only problem with that is they may try and take us into enemy territory because sometimes they do stupid things like that. But if not, we'll have a backup plan. Let's just start taking these guys out. I think we can auto resolve this. Yeah, that's fine. Vladiv. Oh, they took Vladiv. Interesting. So they are getting a foothold up here. Okay, they're just going to go ravage the countryside, I guess. Mess with us, and we'll sell our lives dear. <laughs> Still injuries. That's so funny. Six looters wouldn't even get close if that was a real battle. Let's take these guys out. We're not looking for a You don't see the daily foot massage. I know. We once we once we become a vassal, that's when that starts. <laughs> right now we're just mercenary. Yeah. We haven't we haven't earned the right to to massage her feet yet. How, how much longer gonna be live? Uh, let's see, 10, 30, probably another hour, hour and a half, something like that. And then I actually, I need to, I need a little bit of time to edit. I gotta edit the, the Let's Play episode for tomorrow. So I need to do that tonight still. And then I'm gonna get up tomorrow kind of early and then start the stream earlier. And then I'll stream for about 12 hours. Should ban the level 25, uh, 275 medicine perk in this campaign. Well, that's kind of one of the few things I was going to go for. I wasn't going to try and keep a, a huge army, like having... Uh, I was going to try and have a smaller, highly elite party and fighting with with the other, you know, fighting with Regea. Because you know how bad the AI is, right? So if I'm commending my own troops, at least I'll, I'll have decent ones. All right, there we go. Any tips on key bindings? You know, I, I just use mostly the default. I think there's maybe one or two keys that I've re remapped, but I don't remember which ones they are because I've had it that way for so long. When's the next uh, Project Zomboid live stream? Uh, good question. So I'm still doing that. I'm about four months in on that, that campaign or that playthrough. So I'm still recording it offline. I just um, I figured I'd, I'd work on, on the Bannerlord. You know, I know these get a lot more attention, so... I'm trying to do the the project Zomboid. the project Zomboid's kind of a boring one to be honest. It's just grinding stuff right now. Um, but when I do the next big challenge, that one I'll I'll stream a lot. Hired spears. I don't remember these guys. They're tier three, and they will also go up to. Yeah, you know, let's get the hired spears. These seem like pretty legit units. They'll they'll give us the the protection against cav that we need. And then we can also turn them into different units later. Now, what was I supposed to get? Olives. Yes. We got olives. Now, we have money. Don't want to spend 400 for a Midlands Palfrey, but we're going to do it. 
we need to make sure our movement speed is, is nice and high. Somebody say, somebody say Zomboid. Yeah, they were asking about it. Um, I, I'll probably post screenshots of that campaign as it progresses. The thing is, it's going to take a really long time to finish it just because the how grindy some of those skills are if I want to max them all out. So I'll, I'll probably just post updates. So we need 14. We need four more to do this quest. Actually, I forgot to check and see if they have it. Caravan Ambush. We could do that one, though. Yeah, we'll definitely help with this one. Late game project zombie can get pretty boring. Crazy goals. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, pimp, that's exactly what I'm... I, well, not exactly. I mean, I'm, I've got respawn on, so it's kind of hard to clear towns. They just come back, but... Um, yeah, my, my goal with that run is to just max every single skill. And that's that's kind of a daunting task in itself. And then there's a couple other things I wanted to do. Uh, I'm Sanity Steve. How you doing, man? Uh, would you say your go-to favorite game of all time is? That's a tough one. Yeah, it's it changes for oh, time, you know, based on what's going on. So, I mean, Supreme Commander was a really good game for me for a long time. Dota 2, probably for a while. Bannerlord, recently. EU4 for, for a while. Uh, X, X3, Albion Prelude, and Terran Conflict, those were really fun for a long time. It just depends. Yeah, it depends on kind of what, what my mood is at the time. Now, they're going to start getting a little crazy with the Cavs, so let's, let's pack it in tighter. And what I'm going to do, I'm actually... Yeah, these are kind of boring to watch, so let's speed this one up. They're getting actually creamed as well. Yeah, we do a little get out of here. Yeah, we didn't lose anybody. Nice. Spears got four kills. That's not bad. All right, these guys are worth a lot, so for sure we'll turn them in. Let's go turn that in. And then we have another landowner needs troops down south. We can do that one as well. Only 2,400. Man, you guys cheaped out. I think it's because we had a lot of looters in there, but wow. Do we like RTS games? Yeah, yeah, for sure. But I, that was my favorite genre for most of my most of my life. Yeah, I for Age of Empires, I played... Two, three, four. Um, I mean, we're t even back to like Command and Conquer, Dune, like the original, the World. Of, uh, sorry, War Warcraft Two. That was a lot of fun. Played those way back in the day. And then, I don't know if any of you guys played this game, but Total Annihilation. That was like one of my favorite games when I was a kid. Such a fun game. You best. And then, you know, obviously Supreme Commander is the, pre the the one that came after. So that was a lot of fun. Boomer, loose move, move. Yeah, RTS games Put are back, some of my favorite. I, I don't care for like the StarCraft and WarCraft 2 type games anymore. Those are a little bit... A um, little simple. I, I prefer something with a bit more... Um... I, no, that's maybe not the right word. I was going to say a bit more depth, but I know those games are pretty complex too. I, I just like things that have a lot more scope, right? You can zoom out, you can have, you know, 2,000 units as opposed to, have, you know, a unit cap of like 100. It's kind of annoying. Alright, these guys just didn't do anything this match. There we go. We'll let our infantry go in the cleanup. A uh, CK3 Conquest. Yeah, I did a, a CK3 World Conquest somewhat recently. Um, if you haven't seen the, the new channel that I made, I, I did a video on it too. That one, I, I 
spent a lot of time on that one. Uh, I'm gonna do more CK3 videos next year. Absolutely. Yeah, I've got a few video ideas lined up already. Tempest Rising will be as good as Command and Conquer. Yeah, Command and Conquer was fun. I like I said, those types of games. I, I let's just say that I I'm really hoping for more Supreme Commander style, where you can zoom all the way out, zoom all the way in. You can have really long range artillery. Uh, you know the maps are massive. That type of real time strategy game is is my style. I I know it's not everybody's because it's it's kind of all over the place, but I, I just really, I don't know what it was about it. It just, I really had fun with them. And now there's like StarCraft clones that are coming out and I just can't get into it. I, I've, I've played those types for such a long time. It just doesn't interest me anymore now that I can play these other ones. So workhorse, no, I think, I think we'll just leave it. Our, our money is really in a good spot right now. As long as we don't hire too many high tier troops, I think we'll be in good shape. Let's take this quest. Hi. So who are you? 14 prisoners. Yeah, I don't I don't care. So let's head back this way and hopefully we can find some quests that'll help us out. You got a problem? Let's just send him in, whatever. What do we lose? A search sister? Yeah, that sucks. Oh, Sins of a Solar Empire. Yeah, that I played that one for a little while. It was fun. It wasn't my favorite, but I did enjoy it. How about Civilization? So I played Civ 4 and Civ 5 quite a bit. Have not played Civ 6 yet. It's fun. It's... I mean, I've got several hundred hours into it, but it's it's not it's still not the same. The turn-based stuff, I prefer the real time more the over the the turn-based. But you know, they're not, I'm not saying anything bad about the game. I, I still enjoy it. Like I said, I played it for I don't know, two three hundred hours in each of them. So, all right, that's good. We're keeping. We're keeping a good pace in our Stuart. We're leveling it up pretty nicely. Medicine is slow, but we're gonna get a big jump when we hit 75. Tuned out for a bit, came back. Dimitri now has that drip. Yeah, he's he's got a pretty nice uh pretty nice hat. He can definitely pick up the ladies easier now. <laughs> All right, you know, we'll take the army of poachers. Let's do it. It's almost nighttime anyway, so we won't have to wait for it. Yeah, we don't want to negotiate. We want we want prisoners and we want loot. Don't have patience for Civ. It's funny. So the only way that I play Civ, that or the way that I enjoy it the most, is when I turn the um, the time all the way down so that it's like. It really, really slow paced. I like the long, the long and long term game and slow paced, rather than you know the game's over in eighty turns or hundred turns, whatever. I like it to be you know a couple hundred turns. Post the updates on Instagram or Twitter. So I haven't used Instagram or Twitter. I think I made an account when I first started YouTube. I have yet to use either of those. Like never in my life, I've never tweeted anything and I've never done anything on Instagram. So. I'll probably not post anything on there still. <laughs> I need to hire somebody to do that for me because I have I just have zero interest in social media stuff like that. I know it's useful for getting info out there, but I just can't be bothered with it. Make a Civ game with 20 Civs. Yeah, seriously. It's it, I, I like the epicness. I don't know. But that's why I like the Paradox games, right? Because you get the whole world map. There's hundreds and hundreds of countries to pick from and fight i don't know that's that's my style these guys are just getting smashed 
absolutely getting smashed. We're not going to lose anybody, I think. All right, beautiful. We'll take it. I don't know if we can use these guys. I don't know if they're counted as bandits or not, but we'll we'll try and turn them in. We need 14, so we still need two more. Reggae for life. Hey, Kyler. Yeah, seriously. Marathon speed. That's the one. Yeah, thank you, Anton. I couldn't remember it. People in Bandlord aren't big on social media anyways. Yeah, I think it's it's more of like a uh, a mature crowd. You know, not, not people in high school or middle school or whatever. And um, people with professions and families and whatnot. Not not everybody, but I, yeah, I think the majority are. So that, that probably makes a plays into it. I just don't I just don't have time. I don't have time to do it. I don't I don't really have an interest either. Um, if I do post stuff on there, it would it would literally just be stuff that I would post on the That's channel. Close. You know, updates on a guide or you know, oh, I got a video coming out in a day. You know, stuff like that. But it's like I could just do a YouTube post and and accomplish the same thing. So I just end up doing that. Called us old chat. Yeah, everybody here, you're you're all old farts. <laughs> Welcome to the club, man. Now I don't feel so bad. I'm not the only old one in here. <laughs> oh, it's it's fun being older though, man. It's fun. Maybe maybe not like old old, but you know, it's fun being an adult. Alright, what do we got going on here? Yeah, we could we should be able to get it from here. We'll we'll just turn Wait, it in. No, no. We're not getting the the high value. Oh. There's 13. I don't think we can catch him though. 5.3. Yeah, he's way too fast. That's all right. Another day. AARP members. Yeah, seriously. AARP represent. I got to make an AARP guide, right? Awesome so you can figure out how to get your benefits. <laughs> It would it would be applicable to the audience. Deleted Facebook two years ago. Yeah, I haven't I haven't logged into I I could probably count on one hand how many times I've logged into Facebook in the last ten years. And usually when I log in, it's on accident. Like I see an email and I click on something and it logs me in. It's like no, I just wanted to see what that post was about. I didn't actually want to log in. <laughs> All right, five point one. So let's go turn this quest in and just be done with it. I don't want to fail it. Why are you so slow? Back off, stranger. Unless oh, you interesting. It's a raider. <laughs> he wants to fight. Yeah, he's... That guy's got balls, man. I wonder why he was so slowed down. Maybe he had a lot of pack animals or something. Thri yeah, thriving marketplace to sell stuff. I've heard about uh, I heard about that too. And also, it seems like a pretty good place to advertise for businesses. I, I don't have anything to advertise, but if I did, I guess it'd be a pretty good place. Uh oh, Garios, that's not good. Well, sounds like you need to stop messing around. Oh, they lost it back to. F wow, that's so sad. They lost the fief back to to Sturgia. Like Sturgia's in wars on three, like two two different fronts, and they couldn't manage to hold it. That's pretty bad. Never seen a party one. Yeah, it was. So this was a leftover from I think one of the raiders, because it it wasn't like the normal unit. It was a ransacker, so it's like a spawned in unit. All right, hopefully we can turn in everybody. It may not let us though. Okay, it does. So we're good. We'll, we'll get the money. It's not going to be that much. 885? Are you kidding me? You are such a cheap bastard. <laughs> Why did we even do that? It cost us more money to walk down here to turn it in than we got out of that. That's crazy. Will you end the series by leaking reggae as OnlyFans? Uh, interesting question. I don't even know how to approach that. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, 
<clears throat> I think Dimitri the Lover won't even have access to her OnlyFans, so... Alright, she actually looks pretty good, but I don't want a horse archer. Whoa, her face is busted though, what the heck happened? It's like she got slapped and then it just stuck that way. What else? Mid yeah, we can we can stock up on Midland Palfrey here. Let's do that. Is running in circles to starve the enemy armies considered as cheesing? No, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Older people tend to be less frugal. Yeah, that's true. And and probably more interested in saving time than, than saving money, necessarily. That could be an interesting battle if they don't have a lot of high tier. Let's see what they got. They do outnumber us slightly, but it's all recruits. Yeah, we're going after it. That's a... Let's uh, if I can click on them. Oh, all right. Sorry, I don't think I know you. So, uh, I'm not gonna lie, that guy's voice does not match his face. That sounded kind of weird. <laughs> I love the face they make. That's so funny. The, the, sometimes the, the characters in this game remind me of Five Nights at Freddy's. Like those, um, Freddy, Freddy Fosbear or whatever. They're like animatronics. <laughs> like a really crappy Chuck E. Cheese. Funny. Alright, what are they gonna do? Are they gonna post up on a hill? Yeah, we can do the same. We'll we'll post up on a taller hill. And then you wish you didn't. A smack of distortion? Yeah, seriously, and it just never went back. He's got no elasticity in his skin, it just got stuck. The lover never has access to OnlyFans? Yeah, that's true. Oh, interesting. They're actually charging us. Oh, wow. Killed one, too. Wow. I've never seen them do that. They just struck out on their own for a sec. Right, let's, let's face them... They're kind of charging. They're like cycle charging right now, but Move. not actually committing. Move. All right, hopefully we can get some shots. There we go. Yeah, we can get some shots on the cav. So we do have some pole arms in here, and I'm I'm really hoping they use them. And then we can. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there's one down. No, you can't even down them. Uh, and next time they get stuck, I'm going to give a charge command, see if that helps, because th that, that guy should have been dead. Oh, good shot. That didn't help. Raise your shields! I'm wondering... They're kind of burning our ammunition. Archers, move, move! Infantry, move! It's pretty effective, though. Archer, hold fire! I'm actually gonna hold fire here. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go, there we go. There we go. So, when they get stuck, it's better to give charge command. Alright, are they gonna do it again? Yep, they're gonna do it again when they're charging. I don't want to give the charge command. I can't even... The, I haven't played with this. Like, most of my experience in 1.2 patch, when they added it, has been playing solo. Can you hit him? Oh. 
But, uh, yeah, it's kind of annoying. Like, if I wanted to move these guys on the hill, I have to move out of the way so that I don't force the attack. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we got the body block on him. Nice. Alright, let's start getting shots on him. This is just taking way too long. Yeah, we need to... We need to get something done here. Get to the bottom of the hill. Alright, so we'll start shooting again. Now, if we're on the hill, we should have an easier time dealing with their cav, I think. Alright, let's push up. Oh, no. He's not gonna catch him. I think we get a push. We, we already burned more than half our ammunition. We got to get close so we can actually hit our shot. Alright, we are hitting some shots at least. No, they keep... They're like faking. It's interesting, they are keeping their they're keeping their unshielded troops in the back. So kind of effective. Alright, let's get him out in the open a little bit more. Right, let's pull back a little bit so we can get a few more shots. We need to go in. Here we go. So we'll we'll have a nice flank on these guys. Wow, they're actually destroying our infantry. I I should have I should have brought the archers up. Let's hold fire and get them in there because we need we need the numbers. They're just stacking on us. That's the problem. Yeah, we I that that was a mistake on my part. I should have had the archers go melee and get in there. That that cost us a lot of troops. This guy's gonna get stuck. Oh no, he's not. Hopefully. Hold fire! Die! Fire at will! Oh, you gotta hit those shots, man. You gotta hit those shots. There we go. Yeah, you can't. When they get stuck on a wall or a rock or a tree, you, you can't afford to miss those shots. I slowed him down. You can do it. Yeah, this is this is just painful. Oh, he hit the tree. Man, they're so bad at hitting cavalry. They're so bad. You have to, you have to have a pole arm. Dude, what? How is he pushing through? There he goes, alright. That took way longer than it should have. We actually lost a lot of troops here. So the hired spear, we pretty much lost all of them, just about. Mercenary Maceman, that's fine. They were expensive. We didn't lose the ones that I was hoping to lose. Yeah. But 17 influence is a lot. We'll make a lot of money off of that. Is taking over alleys worth anything? It can be, Aninda. You can you can make some decent money short term. You, you kind of have to have some combat skills to do it, and we don't we're not allowed to fight, so can't do that. All right, eight more charm skill. Prisoners. We could take these guys and just donate them. I don't remember how close we are. How close are we to allied settlements? I thought we were really close. 
Yeah, we are. So let's just take him back and donate him. We'll get a little bit of influence for that. Yeah, we're not allowed to use these troops, but that doesn't mean we can't use them for something. We'll get six influence. So about... Minus five. We're making a thousand. We're actually making good money now. Yeah, so this is worth like 1,200... Uh, 1200 dinars. That's pretty good. Not bad at all. Uh, not, not quite 200, sorry. A little less than that. Alright, what do we... What do we need to do here? Actually, before I do that. No, I was going to give some of our uh, companions maybe a pole arm. But we don't have any good ones. We need ones that will stop Cav. Let's just dump all this stuff. Some of these things don't have a good sell price. We'll hang on to it for a little bit. All right, looks good. 5K. So yeah, we're we're doing pretty well, I think, in terms of money. Are we saving these? No, these are regular trips. We need to we need to get rid of them. Blaney's OP. Yeah. Yeah, Vlandia Banner Knights are pretty good. Their, their couch lance is, is pretty nasty. So we did gain another level. We're at level 11. Actually, it's starting to move faster now. So that helps. I think it's it's because we need troops to level up this guy. Uh, since we're not you know doing any combat. <clears throat> we're mostly getting it based on how many troops we have. And in the early game, we had... You know, we could only afford 5 or 10 troops. And now that we can afford a little bit bigger party, it's it's starting to move faster. So let's go another point into trade. Oh, we're clan tier two. We can do it. All right. And that also means we can pick up somebody. I uh, don't want her though. Let's get, let's get somebody that's got, um, yeah, we don't, we don't need a mounted companion. I'd rather have somebody on foot. All right. That's not it. Alright, where's Regea? We need to do some simping. Bloody, they're way up there then. Oh, she's captured. Yeah, she's a prisoner. Oh no. <laughs> no, 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 no. This can't be. We can't break in. We cannot break into the castle yet because we don't have... Clan tier 3. I think you need to be clan tier 3 to even have a chance of getting in, so that is unfortunate. Oh well. Alright, let's go to Faisan. When she when she's out, then we can try and we can try and join as a, a vassal. Or uh yeah, as a vassal. Sell swords, we'll take it. Alright, that looks good. I'm gonna make me click through them all again. Alright, what do we got? We can't we can't free her. I would love to, but you you physically can't get into it. Um if the only way we could do this is if we uh I mean, we could technically do it if we... Hmm. We would have to leave uh, being a, a, a mercenary for her. 
so that we can get in as a friendly and then try and do the, the prison break. We can try it. Let's go up there. I miss her. <laughs> yeah. Free her and oil her feet. That's that's lovely. I mean, we do have... We got grapes. We could let her stomp some grapes or something. Okay, here's a good... I think we could do this fight. Yeah, it's all infantry. Oi. Let's wait till daytime, though. I don't really want to fight it at night. They're just gonna run back. <clears throat> Are you really simping if you don't risk it all for her? That's a good point. That is a good point. The thing is, to be able to do this, we have to unsimp, right? Because we, we can't be a, a vassal or a mercenary to be able to get in. But it's I think it's probably one of those things where you break the rules and it's okay. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Oh, I can't. It won't let me put him up there. Yeah, it's it's blocked. Infantry! Move! Let's move this shield wall over here. She'll yeah, she'll understand. Put forward. All right, we need to move back so we can get a few more shots in before the lines collide. Infantry! All right, gotta get him in. Let's hold fire and get him in there. We need we need all the melee troops we can get. Yeah, the the speed at which they would shoot and reload is way worse. Uh, we would have way worse results than if we just hold fire and charge them in. All right, stop it. Stop shooting. Don't shoot. Oh man, is it a cell sword? Is a good shot. Yeah, cell sword. So they got javelins. All right, we lost. Oh, nice. We lost our veteran sword sister, the last one. So that's she's gone. Lost one of her cell swords. That's fine. A true simp cares not what other think. That's true. Is dragging formations during battle a mod? No, no, no. It's it, you can do that in the base game. So we, yeah, you need to click, hold it, and drag it, and then release it. There's certain formations that don't really work well with it. So make sure you're doing like a line, shield wall, or loose formation. Square doesn't really let you do it. Circle kind of, but not really. So make sure you're using those other formations, and they it should let you. All right, let him go. So we're, we're almost to 100 charm. That's pretty, uh, I think it's pretty quick. No, we're going to sell that pylum. The thing is really expensive. I, I would like to burn through this influence so we don't, we're not just losing money for, for nothing. So let's see if we can get up there and do that. They may not even let us in the castle, though. That's the problem. You have to have a certain clan tier, and then you also have to have a certain amount of relations with the owner, and we haven't really had any interactions with Sturgius, so we may not have what we need to get in, even. Oh, that's a good fight for us, but we're not going to make it, and there's a 91 right behind it. So we came up here. We took Vlediv. We took Tyal. We lost our army, we lost Blitty, we lost Tyal. <laughs> Regea, what are you doing to this empire, man? What are you doing? You're better than that. <laughs> oh boy, this is actually really bad. We might die here. If this guy collapses on us, we don't really have anywhere to go. This guy's faster than us. 
We gotta get rid of prisoners. Let's at least get rid of the tier one and maybe the tier two. We keep a skeleton crew, that way we're at least slightly faster. Alright, the hidden hand, I was worried that they would come down on us, but they actually not, so that's good. Yeah, we'll be fine. If that hidden hand decided to go after us, we would be dead. Like, 100%, we would be dead right now. Alright, that's that's a fight we can take. It's been a while. I guess we're just going to have good relations with them. Safe scum incoming. Yeah, we have to wait till that whatever was blocking our way it gets out. Archer, loose formation! Maybe it's true what they say about female rulers. Forward! Well, I mean, if you look at like Elisabetta or, Move! you know, what is it? Catherine the Great. There's quite a few female English rulers that were really good. Back in the day, there were some in, in Egypt. There's there's quite a few examples of them doing a good job. Just Regea, just for some reason. <laughs> for some reason, she's she's not very good. But then it's... I mean, all all the rulers in Bangalore are bad, you know? Uh, so, sorry, Lib. Uh, so I hold down the button or mouse click. Yeah, click and hold. Don't let the mouse button go. As soon, so I'll show you right now. So, let's say I want to move my infantry. So I press Archer, infantry. one to select them. And then I click where I want to start the formation. So I clicked right now. I'm still holding. I didn't let go yet. And I drag it to where I want it to end. And then when I get to the where I want to, I let Whoa. it go. And then it, it moves them. Hey, Relent. Good morning. Didn't vote for that. The hard work and quality. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Just being silly? Okay, got it. She may need... Yeah, she needs a... What she might need is a lobotomy, is what she might need, because... She's not... She's not doing too well. Alright, these guys are kind of using this divot. What I'm going to do is leave my melee troops pretty much um, right next to my archers, so when they charge, we'll just have them all charge at once. Man, look at the drop on these things. This is like, what are they, 50 meters? Yeah, it's dropping hard, even at 50 meters. Alright, so we need to hold fire as soon as they get close to us, and we're just going to charge everybody in. And then charge them in. We'll lose a few, maybe, but... Uh, the other option is we could retreat and just use the crossbows to get hits, but I, I don't... That's fine. We're not going to do that. Almost 12 influence is pretty good. <laughs> He's happy about that. Oh, no, we don't want that. Actually, we want the prisoners. Oh, we got a better horse. Step horse, so we can actually use it. That's interesting. Alright, let's see if we can get back up there. She may not even be in there still. No, she's not. Visi brought. So she's out and about. Alright, we can go talk to her. We've got 41k saved up, so we, we have some money. We just don't have a lot. Oh, there's... There she is. Well, and what do we have here? <laughs> Would you care to tell me your good name? <laughs> so, I mean... I'm Dimitri. That's not the right one. Uh, Dimitri the Lover, Madame, may I ask your name? No, no, no. It's definitely... If you know Dimitri the Lover, it's this one. They know me as Dimitri the Lover. Mark it down. You shall be hearing me. Yeah, that's the right one. So, let's see if we can... Oh, is she married? She might be married. No, she's not. She looks like a psychopath right there. She really does look like a psycho. She looks normal right here, but that other picture... Uh, can we not... Why are we not able to talk to her about... 
Did I? No, it's not in that screen. Yeah, we gotta go talk to Brigade about that, but I wish to propose. No. Maybe, maybe the option's not there because we don't have a high enough something for her. I don't know. Help me step horse, I'm stuck. She needs, yeah, she definitely needs a foot massage. But she's not interested in marriage yet, so. All right, let's go up to Visibrot and see if we can talk to Regeo. Did she? Oh. Oh, she was, she was, I got it. So she was actually in an army. She was being carted around. She just escaped. So she's free now. We can go find her in a few days. She'll spawn somewhere and then we can, we can go give her a foot massage. Yeah, we'll, we'll let her step on us with high heels or something weird like that. You need 20 or 50 relation to her clan? Okay, got it. Yeah, I figured, I figured we'd need, we need something. Well, once we join, we should have a better chance. Actually, before we sell, let's actually see. No, I was going to say we have gear. We can throw on a new companion. We need to hire somebody. Wait, how is our food? It's not bad. Yeah, she'll, she'll offer us Ira, the, uh, the Iron team. The problem with that is she's going to want like 50 grand for it. That's like all of our money. So I don't think we can really do it. Unfortunately, that's why. And we, we do have some charm. So we've been leveling up charm decently. So we, we might have a chance doing charm checks. No, I don't want to share this with you. Yeah, there we go. So he, he bugged off. What is our relationship with this guy anyways? 17, not that high actually. Uh, yeah, Division, this will be posted as a series. So uh, this will be Let's Plays. I'll, I'll make a few guides from it and I'll also do one final video where I recap the whole thing and, and do a bunch of editing. Yeah, any anything that I do live stream from now on is most likely like 90% of the time it's going to end up as a, a Let's Play a couple guides, and then one final v recap video. The only time that won't be the case is if I'm just goofing off, like if I play Dota 2 or a f some first-person shooter, like, you know, Hell Let Loose or something like that, just for fun. But mo most things will be, will be edited into a couple things. Charm those toes. <laughs> Man. I can only imagine, like, riding around on a horse... In the medieval times, you know, the cleanliness factor. Their feet were probably pretty nasty back then, so. Love your series, The Soul Conquest. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm glad you're enjoying it. This will this will be just like that. Yeah, I, I edited about 50 to 60% of that stuff out in, in those series. So it's, you know, you're not getting the grindy stuff that you get watching it live. Uh, what is he doing? Are you pushing us? Bowman, move forward! Move! Forward! Move! It forward! Forward! Move! Alright, let's get some shots at him. charge everybody in. Oh man, our companion got dunked on. Immediately got dunked on. Oh, we're actually losing a lot of people. This this should have been an easier fight, but yeah, we're, we're getting hit pretty hard. It's alright, we need medicine. We need medicine. It's the only way to get it. Alright, 
Another 10 influence. Playing along doing only mercs. Nice. How, how, how's your money situation? <laughs> Hopefully better than I managed it because we're just finally getting our head above water. So, yeah, see our, our uh, party wages is pretty low now because we've been losing people. So we need to go recruit back up. Hey, D11 Gaming. New to Band Lord. If I disable birth and death, does that mean I can play forever? Yes. No, you can play forever. Correct. You, you can't have kids. But if you're good with that and you're good with your main character, that's fine. Yeah, you can play forever. So one thing that you can do if you're if you're not playing on the campaign mode and you would do sandbox, like if you're going to turn birth and death off, you can do a sandbox game and then you can choose your age at the end and get extra um, points. Like uh, you get plus four attribute and plus eight focus points. And then if you have death off, you don't have to worry about dying of old age because, you know, you'd be 50 forever. And then you get a, a ton of extras. You, you have a really strong build because you have a lot of points to spend in the early game. So that's something to keep in mind. All right, we could probably marry this guy. I do like the fact that he's got bow skill. That's kind of who I want to build the army with. 586, welcome. Oh, I did not mean to take those guys. Crap. Are those Cav? And they're... F oh, man, these guys are so bad. They're so bad. They have light crossbow. They're tier 4 units, and they have light crossbows. Oh, man. And they're super expensive. That was like 3 grand. Almost 4 grand. Yeah, 30, 3,500. Uh, okay, well, we'll be sacrificing them pretty soon. So this guy, we're mostly interested in bow. Let's go ahead and buy him one. Yeah, you're not getting an expensive bow. You're just going to get a regular bow. A couple sets of arrows. Wait, did we? Yeah, I guess we didn't. We don't have that much on us. All right, that's fine. So our companion will have some stuff to use. Have a massive Bannerlord phase at the moment. Keep me busy the past four days. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> that's how Bannerlord is, man. It sucks you in, and you know, here I am 5,000 hours later, and I'm still doing it. So I get it. Money's rough. You got two alleys. Yeah, the alleys in the early game, if you don't have a huge army, it's it, it really does make a big difference. All right, what are we doing here? We got enough food. Just about. Uh, it's fine. We'll get deal with that later. Dimitri the Lover. We got to find our... Our queen. I think it's going to take her a while to get out, though. Oh, she's in Onira. Well, maybe not. We can go rub her feet right now. Ah, there we go. All right, we're going to do this with style. We're not going to just immediately teleport in. Oh. <laughs> and I like how he's he's got the one leg up. He's showing the bulge. He's like, I am Dimitri the Lover. I am here to simp. Whatever <laughs> whatever you you command, my lady. Oops. Here. We'll show how excited we are to to simp. Alright, so foot massage. How do we do this? Come on! Here like this? Kind of forced perspective. It looks like we're massaging her foot, but not really. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to make... I mean, it kind of looks like we're jerking her foot off, which is kind of weird, but... I guess... Here, there's, there's your massage. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. 
I hit the wrong button. I kicked her instead of talking. All right, they know me as Dimitri the Lover. Mark it down. Uh, what do we got here? We want to propose an alliance. No, well, let's see what they. How, how much do you want for your daughter? Oh, Vasilia. Twenty years old. She looks decent. But that's not who we want. We want your. We want your daughter. I know you're a brave warrior. All right, we're ready. We swear we will do anything you ask. Whatever you're into, we're into, I guess. All right, we get some units from her, which I guess since technically it came from her, we can use them. We got a two-hander, which we can't use. Oh, you know what? We can give that to our new archer guy. Whoops. Yeah, he's got a good two-handed skill. Let's give that to him. So hopefully he'll put it to good use. Decrease taken ranged attack damage. Yeah, that's fine. We, that, that's actually pretty good. I, I don't know you, but thank you for the foot massage. <laughs> yeah. Ultra simp introduction dialogue. Seriously, they need to have a specific dialogue just for Regea. Thank you, my lady. All right, what else can we do? We can talk. We can play a game with her, which I don't want to do because I'm I'm pretty bad at those. Oh my God! What happened to your leg? She seems to be missing some body parts. Yeah, she's definitely missing a leg. Oh, and the what? It's all like fisheye. What the heck happened to the perspective? <laughs> is it just me or does that look terrible? Did I? Oh, it's because I'm in first person. That's why. Okay, never mind. She looks normal now. All right, but she's still missing her leg. All right, let's get out of here. Vassal of foot greasing. Yeah, that's our that's our court position. Oh, the butter. That's true. We could we could vassal. We could like uh, lube up her legs. Okay, what are we doing here? So we don't need these. Dump that. And we did get a couple cav. Technically, they didn't come from our thief, though, so let's just donate them. No, you know what? We'll send them in. We'll send them in to die. We'll send them in to die. Not a big deal. Now, we we lost all of our income. Right, so we have to start from scratch. We need to try and help take a fief or something, or a fief needs to be taken, and then we need to we need to go there and defend it. Glorious is being sieged. Let's head to the front line, see if we can do something. That's a pretty, yeah, that's that's a good target. We need to take this guy out. It's been a while. What are your thoughts on Sturgia only gameplay? I think it's a lot of fun. I've done it a couple times and it's it's really fun. Yeah, Sturgia is fun to play with. It's a challenge for sure, but it, it but they are fun. All right, what is what are we missing? All right, this guy needs to be an archer. Mm, wait a second. Those are definitely not horse archers. Why is it... Why is it putting them as... It's weird. Mounted archers! Alright, I'm gonna just put them on three because... That's where I know them on my hot feet, like... My mess of muscle memory, so we'll just put them on there. We do have some... Oh, that's... Yeah, there's some, but... No, it was right. I'm being I'm being stupid. All right, it's because they had I I got it during the setup phase. They had the wrong weapon out. I I was thinking they were the melee weapons. Okay, so we don't want them to survive. 
We don't want them to survive, so let's let them go do as much damage as they can, see how they do. We'll hold fire for now. Right, let's see how our, our our random cab do. They're probably gonna get stomped, but we'll see. <laughs> he got eye of his ball for off her scent, yeah. <laughs> get a whiff of the toes. Can you throw stones and sieges? Yes. So gummy, there's there's stones, there's also fire pots, which actually do a lot of damage. The little red ones, those are the ones that do really well. It's Sonny, he goes appropriate after meeting, yeah, with Regea. Actually, they haven't they haven't really done much to our cav. We lost one heavy horseman. Alright, let's get some shots off, I guess, if they're gonna. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what they're doing. Forward! Wow. Well, that, that went pretty well. I was hoping they would die, but that's fine. We'll take, we'll take some free kills. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Only half massage. She's only got half the legs. <laughs> uh, doing no weapons. Yeah, th this one we're not using any personal combat, so we're not leveling up this at all. Now, for this one, it's either we do social first or intelligence first. That's a tough one. Let's do intelligence first. I really want to make sure that we get medicine up because this is this is the important one. We need to get cheat death and we need to get health advice these two need to be done asap just in case we have bad luck and die of old age which yeah that would be pretty tragic uh i think on this one let's do firebrand at first we probably will switch it at some point but i think it's a good one to start with that'll allow us to pass policies because we're still able to pass policies. We just can't deal with the the war and, and peace votes. We can't force those. We can force war votes, but we can't force peace votes. If they want to go to, to war, we have to let them, let them do it. Uh, we'll put a final point into trade. We'll probably boost up engineering next and then tactics, I guess. Uh, Jaro, no, I, I didn't take the patch today's patch because it it, um, it broke the mods so I, I decided to go offline so it didn't download the patch it, it has some interesting fixes but it's not a big patch per se but yeah yeah 1.2.6 I think it is I I did not download that patch this is um this is the old I think it's 1.2.4 or something like that so yeah uh Ilya yes you can switch your skills so if you go into here, uh, we need to go to a town anyways. If you go to town, you go into the arena and then you talk, you have to go enter the arena. You physically have to go in there and then you talk to this guy. Nope, not kick him. So you get rid of this dialogue, whatever. If you see right here, there's um, the teacher who helped hone their skills, new habits. If you go through this one, you can, you can reset any of your perks. So like, Let's say I wanted to reset all my pull-on perks. You just come in here and do that. You have to pay money to do it, but yeah, you're able to do that. Is this new? No, it's been in the game for a while. Yeah, for, I don't know, maybe a year? Half a year to a year? Something like that. Nice. Followers. So those are the low tier. So we're, we're getting, we're getting back up. Uh, we're we're running out of money again though or we're going to run out of money if we keep this pace up hey Alexander thank you so much for the, the the grandma tutorial yeah no problem I'm gonna I'm gonna extend that I gotta do the second video in that series soon where you you go from starting with nothing to starting a an empire I gotta do that next it'll be the same start same area but instead of just taking Ireland we'll take over everything on in the mainland of England as well the um the Great Britain. So that'll be the next video. I'll, I'll do it in the same style, though. 
Okay. Sell everything. So the only way we make money now is is loot. So we got to keep fighting. We really need to get a fief though, if we want to have a chance of being able to afford uh, any kind of party. We could start buying workshops too. They're not great, but yeah. You need a Victoria Three military guide. Yeah, I I heard that they changed quite a bit with that. I haven't I haven't played that game in a while. I'm going to do more CK3 next year. Yeah, I've, I've got quite a bit set up for that. I have a bunch of videos I need to edit this year, but... Um, oh, no, don't do it. Don't do it. You got... Yeah, they're getting... They're getting destroyed. All right, we can help this guy catch, maybe. Or we can be too far away. I don't want him to like turn back and then have have to fight this solo. I I don't think we're in range. Yeah, we gotta let it go. It's not worth it. I don't want to have to restart and hire people back again. Yeah, it's not why you, I don't know why you'd go into that. Like, what are you doing? Wait, what? What did we just witness right here? That that was the stupidest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Oh, and it's Iris in there too. Okay, well. The best workshop setup? It's hard to say. They keep changing it. Yeah, it's hard. Have you played EU4? Yes. Yeah. Of, of Untai. I've got close to 5,000 hours in EU4, actually. I've, I've, I have more hours in EU4 than I do in, in Bannerlord. Yeah, I was going to do, I was going to cover EU4 instead of Bannerlord before I started my channel, but I decided to do Bannerlord Kind of like maybe a, two, a week or two before I started the channel. Kind of changed my mind at the last second. Yeah, they're they're getting stomped. There's nothing we can do. Absolutely nothing we can do. So one thing we can do, though, is we can watch and try and get ahead of these guys when they're trying to attack and siege something down. And we can we can help them on defense. I think that's probably the best course of action right now. Make peace with Sturgia. Yeah, you'll, they'll make peace because you lost all your crap. You got nothing left, man. What a, what a waste of a war. That was so stupid. But that's what they want. So. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. Bef it gets old. Yeah, it's kind of like EU4. The way I, I play EU4 is similar to the way I pay, play Bannerlord. I set up a lot of extra restrictions to keep keep me interested in it. Because, yeah, it does get pretty tedious and after a while. But, you know, if you do challenges and things like that, it, it does keep it interesting. Or for me, anyways, it kept it interesting. So I don't know where this big... <clears throat> I don't know where this big army is going, but we need to cut them off. Uh, is Bannerlord more fun than e it's just a different game. It's hard to compare the two. They're they're very, very different. I, I wouldn't say one's better than the other. It just depends on what kind of game you like to play. Alright. They are going no no no, we need to get into Sestadame. They're gonna actually turn and try and chase us now, so. Yeah, these idiots. How many troops? 263, it's not enough. Let's see if they siege. They might actually siege. So with us in there, it's 318 to... They have over a thousand units. That's that's really close. Uh, division, a thousand stat man challenge. The problem with doing the thousand stat man challenge is I've already done, I've already done a solo world conquest without having to have a thousand stats. So it's like, what am I, what else am I trying to prove? You know what I mean? Like I did it without having the overpowered stats. I just grinded out on my own with, with an actual, um, you know, the game. I, I know what you mean though. Th those are pretty funny videos when, when it, I've seen Simo's video, he, he did some really good ones. 
318 is, is tough. I mean, I, I'm, I'm just looking at this purely from an auto, auto resolve. There's no way that this works in real life, in uh, finding it in person. There's, that's not, that's not a winnable battle. But, because you got to remember, we're not, we don't have bow. We can't shoot them off the ladders and get, you know, two, three hundred kills by yourself. So. Yeah, I, I don't know that this is a winnable battle. It's it's I'm, I'm purely looking at it from the auto resolve perspective and nothing else. Uh, wounded troops. No, I think we're going to go influence gain from donating troops because we'll be doing that a decent amount. The question is, is it worth it to lose our whole army? And it's not just the army, it's also the mounts. No, it's not worth it. I don't want to lose all the mounts. It took forever to get them. If it was only one party here, that would be a no-brainer. But versus two, it's it's not going to happen. So what I'm hoping for now is... Actually, we could probably fight this. It's got some cav. No, they're going to group up. I don't think we fight. I don't think we can win even numbers, but we can outnumber them a little bit. I want to see where these guys go. Anything that gets taken from here, like if we take Onika Castle back, we might be on the vote for that, and that would be pretty huge. All right, yeah, this was our scout, so we can we can boost up his numbers. So he'll have a little bit more. <clears throat> he'll be able to level up scouting a bit more. Your lack of saving is impressive. Yeah, I, I'm not going to save scum this campaign at all. It, like zero. If if we die or lose an army, it's we just got to deal with it. <clears throat> if I'm doing like a crazy challenge, I, I I wouldn't mind save scumming once in a while, just because you know, kind of sometimes it's it's a little crazy. But right, we're going to auto resolve this because this seems like a pain to fight, and we're not really gaining much from it. Yeah, we'll gain a little relations. Nice, we got some gloves out of it. All right, now go go siege and give me the castle, please. We'll even help him. All right, so note to self, if we need to back out, we automatically get the disorganized state, so I will remember that this time. Hyzer Tactics only 17, so we don't have any skill points in it. Yeah, it caps out at 18, so we're almost maxed. And you actually get tactic skill by any of your troops getting kills. Not It doesn't have to just be auto-resolve. And I think you actually get more XP fighting it in person in your units getting kills. I have to look back at my notes, but I think it's either the same or you get more in person. So... <laughs> with your fourth wife jeez man that, that's a that's a long life how do you judge stat distribution you just pour it into whatever build makeup y yeah it, there's a lot that goes into it and a lot of it just me playing the game so many times i've got the experience i just kind of know most of the time or what i'll do is i'll go in and i'll use my the database that i made the hero builder and i'll i'll custom craft a build i usually pick the perks that i want and then I back into the number that I need for it. So for example, if I want to get at least 275, then I know I have to have at least seven attribute points and five focus points. Otherwise, you, you physically can't get to 275. So the, I, yeah, it's usually easier to find out what perks you want. And then you you build your character based off of that. You, you kind of reverse engineer the math. All right, here we go. This is a very easy siege. What do we... Oh, Imperial recruit. Yeah, we're not recruiting them. Alright, here we go. Let's get ourselves a, a, a thief. 
console crashes yeah i it's it's good to i i mean i i personally don't care about safe scumming it doesn't you know it's just a game if you're doing like a a speed run for an official website and you're safe scumming and you know splicing it and all that stuff that's that's one thing but you know playing a single player game who cares who care you just safe scum don't safe scum it, it really doesn't matter i know some people get kind of high and tidy about it all right we gotta watch out for that onager it's pretty nasty those and people uh, there's not much we can do here since we can't fight we can help with the ladders but it's gonna be tough I, I don't think they'll let us I don't think they'll let us pull it up because this guy's gonna shoot us as soon as we go to yeah they're not gonna let us do it so it's fine we'll just get back on our horse The only real threat they have right now is that, that Onager. And they're getting hits with it, but we should be alright. Alright, let's speed this up. There's not much we can really do to affect it. Oh, that was bad. They're, they're targeting. I think it's only peasants there anyways. It's not a big deal. I'm given powers over space and time. Why not use them? Yeah, that's true. Are you still editing the World Solo Conquest? Yes. Yeah, I am. I have to. I have to get off here soon so I can have time to edit that before I fall asleep. Yeah, I got to do tomorrow's episode tonight. Still, I haven't had a chance to work on it yet. Cisco, yeah, died unfortunately in a prison break. <laughs> it's the best way to go down. How are our troops doing? Ten, ten kills to four deaths. Not, not great. Yeah, definitely not great. Should we get back in there? Yeah, we don't have a weapon, but we can still have some effect. No, maybe not. They're all dead. Yeah, they're all dead. Nice, we got it. So this has a pretty good chance of going to us. Yeah, we'll take the the militia and we can donate them to the to the garrison. Let's babysit it. Hopefully, Dimitri the Lover. Nice. <laughs> oh, look who did it. Look who did it. Rigae is here to repay our kindness because of that foot rub. She's she's throwing three three weight vote our way. She's digging us. All right, we don't need to vote here. We can just abstain. <clears throat> the D Dimitri the Lover is now landed. <laughs> So let's see what we got. We got our militia. Let's throw those back in. It's a pretty weak looking thief here. Let's turn everything off and just go train militia till we get a decent amount of militia in here. And then we'll, we'll adjust it. She wants you, bro. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> All right, we need to, we need to spend some time just, just literally just sitting here. The so doctor's oath. This is going to help a lot. We get medicine skill XP every time we inflict casualties, so. Yeah, so our medicine skill goes up even when we're just killing them. Now, if they if they come down here, oh yeah, here they come. All right, well. 
I, I'm gonna do, 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 do. Hmm. I, I'm just trying to think I, I don't know if if this army back here is big enough and even if it is they may not even stay to fight so I kind of want to back out just in case yeah let's let's actually back out Okay, no, it's it doesn't matter anyways. They're gonna get they're gonna get attacked. Yeah, that's that's an easy one. So we'll actually help them. Wow, look at that. We have 300 more troops, and it's almost the same balance of power because our our troops are all destroyed. Do you have a separate Let's Play channel? Hey, Ivan. Yeah, we do. Yeah, I do. Um, if you click on the main channel here and go to the home page you'll see a tab where it lists i i've got three channels in total i've got a guides channel a let's play channel and then a new one that i just did a couple months ago where i do like the heavily edited story based stuff so if you if you check there you'll see the let's play channel on there this campaign will also end up on the let's play channel where i edit out you know a lot of the boring stuff and some of the grind all right so actually we want to lose our cav. We want them to die off. So we'll let them go. Be free. Go do your thing. We'll command our infantry and, and a few archers. Yep, yeah, no, no worries. Alright, they do have some horse archers here. Why, why did tables make the character naked? So I think they put your civilian gear your civilian loadout on that one so if you have a naked civilian loadout then that's that's what you're gonna be so forward! Forward! Move! 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 Stand apart! Don't move! Move! man we're, we're getting hammered here this is actually not good. I see a lot of low tier. I think I think that's probably why. But we do have we do have cavalry though. I mean that's a lot. That's a pretty healthy cav. Alright, speed this up a little bit. Never made a civilian loadout. Yeah, it's it's not that useful unless you're doing prison breaks or stuff in the city. You know, fighting gangs and stuff. Man, we're just getting crushed here. We may need to auto resolve this. I, I don't I don't think they're gonna win that on their own. Let's see what this looks like. It's definitely better. Yeah, we were getting completely creamed. Now we're just kind of getting creamed, but not completely. I'm going to let this go kind of slow because we may need to back out and just abandon it altogether if it's if it's coming down to the wire. It looks like we we might be ahead, but not by much. It's getting really close. Yeah, it's less than a hundred. We don't have enough. Damn, that sucks. All right, we got to back out. They still have more troops, though, man. Can we sneak in now? No, we'd have to we'd have to sacrifice troops to do it. Actually, they might be winning this now. How they were losing badly when we were doing it. How are they winning it now? That is bizarre. All right, well, whatever. Xena. All right, well, we helped, sort of. 
All right, that was kind of a weird fight, but uh, we had to do what we had to do. Is realistic mod good? Yeah, I really like RBM. It's it's one of my favorite mods. Yeah, balance of power. That's I had to back out specifically because they they're relying heavily on the cheap troops and they just weren't cutting it. So I was looking at the wrong thing. Oh, I got it. Yeah, I was looking at the wrong side. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I realized that towards the end. Yeah. All right, we defended. We got somebody in our dungeon. Now, what I like to do with this is uh, I'll take her into the party and then I'll go do donate her to somebody else so that we still keep them off the um, off the battlefield. But then we get to get some influence for donating them. Hey, Dan Maurer. Love you guides. Fanny builds. I appreciate that. Thanks for the kind words. I'm glad to hear it was helpful. Yeah, Realm of Floor mods. I got to look into that soon. I I, I, I want to do a modded campaign next because I've been doing a, a bunch of these regular ones. I, I want to do some mods. So, let's go to the keep. Oh, they have too many. Yeah, they just they just dropped off a ton of them. Well, I don't want to. I definitely don't want to just give this this person away. But. Let's get rid of everybody except for the noble. And let's try and donate some wow, I kinda wanna stay though. we we need to we need to help defend. Yeah, whatever. We'll just throw her back in jail. Alright, back in the dungeon you go. So we need to wait until our militia go up. So by leaving it on train militia, we'll get our militia up very, very fast. So that, that should help quite a bit. Have you been following the mods at Rift Real World? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Kingdoms of Arda. That's the main one I've been watching. And then Game of, the Game of Thrones one, Realm, Realm of Thrones. I haven't followed them that closely in a while, or I don't think I've seen any updates in a while. I think Kingdoms of Arda did a video somewhat recently, but yeah, I, I know that one's going to take a while still. Hey, Joffro. Thanks for all your videos. No problem. I appreciate you for showing up and, and saying that. Let's, let's give it some time. If we can get our militia up to a nice number, we can probably leave and have it self-sustaining for a little while anyways. Thordios is probably not going to go to us. Oh, Dimitri the Lover getting it, <laughs> getting it in with Regea again. We're getting the double upvote. Okay, so we went from nothing to owning two. But the problem is, we're probably not going to be able to hold them. Yeah, we need to get up there and switch it. But I, what we'll do is, we're just going to... If if it survives, it survives. If not, you know, whatever. We are at war with Kazates, which is good. I'm hoping that forces peace on this side of the map. And then we can spend some time building up these fiefs. Getting them, getting them in good shape. Yeah, the foot rub is paying off, exactly. Give me one second. All right, uh, let's see. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's perfect. So peace with the West, done. Done, done, done. So now we can secure. We'll go up. We're making money. Yeah, we're making money. We can afford our troops. This is this is perfect. We'll go up there and we'll get this one straightened out as well because they probably have some stupid building being built. And we don't want that. We want to cancel everything. Put it on train militia. 
and get the get the defenses up. That's like priority number one. All right, we don't want prisoners in here because they're just not gonna do any good. But we can sell them. Oh, holy crap. When did we get 250 grain? That's a little bit too much. You know, actually we need to we need to top up on some food. Eight, yeah, we're missing one. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to get it somewhere else. They don't have it here, I don't think. Finally made it to Moody live streams. Hey, Cart Goddard, how are you? Always miss him? Yeah, I know the timings. I'm on the U.S. West Coast, and it's usually a time like this. I'm actually getting off soon because it's almost midnight, and I still have to edit a video after this. And then I'm getting up early to start tomorrow's live stream. <laughs> So it's gonna be a it's gonna be a long three or four days. Workshops were never mega profitable. Yeah, seriously. So the the problem with that, Alexandru, is every campaign is different. So like you could have a wine workshop in Amitatis one campaign, and then you know in ten other campaigns it can be sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. It just depends. It's it's almost better to just trial and error. Or to control the market, you know, buying other ones around you and, and switching them and selling them back. Kind of making a monopoly. That's that's really the only way to do it. But. Alright, this one's still going pretty well. What we'll do, let's go try and pick up the food items that we're missing. That's not going to help. Alright, we do want more olives. Beer, that's the one we're missing. Alright, there we go. So we should be in good shape. Now, we do own fiefs, so we can start recruiting troops from our own fiefs. That is something that we're able to do now. Let's see what we got. Oh no, not the Vigla recruit. They're so bad. <sighs> we gotta take what we can get, I guess. A couple more troops. It's fine. We have money to spare, so I'd rather I'd rather have them. It's what we're missing on Friday. Yeah, exactly. No, we'll leave him. I think we'll just leave him there. All right, so we're at war over here. I don't really want to... I don't think we have enough time to do much over here because, I, like I said, I got to get off. I got to eat a little something and then edit. It's going to take me a couple hours to edit. That means I'll go to bed by 2. I'll wake up and start streaming maybe tomorrow by 10. That should be enough time, I think. Get some sleep and food in the morning. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop off. I, I gotta get off because I, I already feel myself falling asleep, and I still gotta edit that, so that we get a let's play for tomorrow. So, all right, yeah, let's let's end it here. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna stream two, three days in a row. Uh, it's gonna be twelve hour stream tomorrow for sure. And uh, Viglas are good, and you can re re upgrade them to the Cataphract. Yep, but getting them there is tough, and you have to spend horses to do it. I'd rather just recruit. I just rather recruit them when they're tier three already, rather than spend the money on the horse. So, but all right. Thanks, thanks again, Butters. Thanks for showing up, Kate, Alexandru, Lub. I appreciate everybody showing up. I will be back on again tomorrow, so hopefully we'll see some of you tomorrow. And uh, happy holidays if you're in the U.S. or wherever you're doing. And if not, have a good weekend. I will see you guys tomorrow. All right. Have a good night.